Okay. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so it's my pleasure to be here with you. It's nice to see a lot of coaches here. As the uh, president said, I'm very happy to be here on behalf of FIBA Europe coaching department, which is responsible for education of the coaches around the Europe. Uh, so. Before to start, because today you are going to deal with me all the day, I should introduce me in some short words. So I was pretty good player playing for ex-Yugoslavia national team. Uh, great generation, which is, I think, only generation in the history which never lost game under 16, under 18 and under 20. So six NBA players came out from that team because, because we work very hard. So then I was... Uh, I was player in ex-Yugoslavian team in abroad also, Italy, Germany, Turkey, different countries. So from 2011, I'm a lecturer on FIBA as a lecturer on coaching clinic and also a member of uh, coaching staff of FIBA Europe uh, coaching certificate program. Some of coaches are over there, they know uh, about this program. And uh, so university professor and also coach because I was twice uh, head coach of and coordinator of youth program in Serbian Federation and two years ago I was also a member of the coaching staff of Serbian senior national team. Uh, so I don't want to talk about myself too much but I'm saying that all the stuff, all the drills, all information which I'm going to share with you to, today are going to be synthesis of all those stuff. Uh, at the end of the clinic I think tomorrow uh, when I will finish scripts you will have scripts so even I will send to you all materials, drills, because I think that is correct from my side to offer to you also that stuff. So, of course, you should put notes, you should put everything, but you, you will have much more drills on the paper after the clinic. So I will provide and I will send to organizers, they will send to you. So um, we choose because most of you are youth program coaches, as they told me, we choose um, topics which are related mostly to youth program, but I think that I think a lot of stuff we can also do with senior players. So it's not related to age, basketball is basketball. And starting with first 
uh, clinic for today, it's 101, you know, how to improve some situation in 101. Some experienced coaches are saying with 101, start and finish basketball. Uh, so if you're looking for some difficult drill for players, give them 101 full court till 7, 10, 11 points is super. Physically, technically, tactically, this is very good. Because I think that through the 101 drills, we should teach them some principles. We should teach them how to play, how to understand basketball, because it's much easier to teach some players horns, flex, whatever, in 5-on-5, five five, than to teach them how to read the game, how to read closeouts, how to read uh, one -on one situations or individual tactic. Generally, before to start, because this is some kind of introduction for all four topics for today, we can, we can divide basketball in three phases, individual technique and tactic, that means all activities, both offensively and defensively, in one-on-one. So how to read, how to react, close out, offensively, defensively, how to do the stuff. Then we have group tactic or cooperation between two, three and four players. Give and go, drive and kick, help and recover, switching, whatever. And then we have team tactic. So you cannot build team tactic five-on-five five, without knowledge from one-on-one. So that's why I think that 101 is one of the fundamental aspects of basketball game and really uh, out of modern basketball today, in my opinion, too much tactical, too much pick and roll, too much 5-on-5 uh, five five stuff. We should teach kids how to play 101 because if they know how to play 101, they will easily be ready to play also 5-on-5. Five five. Uh, another, um, another way to understand basketball is dividing basketball in four phases. Because if you are looking basketball game, we have four phases of basketball. We have half-court defense, then we have fast break, then we have half-court offense, and then transition defense. In my opinion, when you are going to pick up team defensively, you should start first from transition defense. Because our main goal is to avoid receiving easy baskets from fast break. Of course, offensively, we are doing opposite. Offensively, we want to work on fast break at the beginning because in youth, if you have kids smaller than those guys, so they don't know anything about five on five tactic, but they must run. They must know how to run, how to fill corridors, how to score from transition. So main goal is transition. Putting those information in one on one segment of the game, I think that also we as the coaches, we should make, um, let's say, different folders of one on one situations. So we cannot say, okay, give the ball, play one one We should understand what is the goal of some specific one one drill. So personally, I have folder in my computer, one one drills, and then different stuff. one one transition drills, one one close out of the dribble, one one close out on the catch, one one plus one drills. So you should prepare different subfolders of your drills. And then when you're making practice plan for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, you're going to choose, okay, today my goal 101 close out on dribble, choose one of those drills. So you don't need every time to do same stuff. So this is like practice organization. Then, of course, during the drills, you should uh, have clear goals. Today, uh, there are a lot of information on YouTube. I'm calling young coaches YouTube coaches because they are finding million drills, but they don't know why they are using drills. Okay, drills are super. But if you're eating ice cream before soup is not so good. So ice cream is good, soup is good. So we should understand when and how to put that drill in the context of our practice goals, in the context of age group, which we are working on. So uh, let's start now. I think that, okay, it's not going to be practice. Of course, I'm going to run a lot of drills to show you. Uh, we will stay just a couple of minutes on each drill to show more. Uh, but of course, in practice organization, especially in one one drill, you should be more consistent with drills. So as we are teaching coaches, they know from FSSE, we have different phases of, uh, of teaching. First of all, we should explain. So we have explanation for some drill and for some details. Then we have demonstration. Then we have repetition. Then players should repeat. Then we have correction because in the heart of our job is to correct players, and then corrected repetition. So if you're looking for all five faces, 
we cannot say that one drill can be two minutes, three minutes, no way. I'm not going to say that you should run one drill 45 minutes, of course no, but you should give them enough time to repeat. I think that today coaches are changing drills too much, so then in the end of the day players are finishing drills, but they, they have not skills. So that's why I'm, my principle in practice is different drills for same skills. So we don't, we don't need to change all the time, but if you are working on dribble, for example today, let's make six, seven drills of dribble, but all drills 10, 12 minutes, depending on the level of the players, of course. Depends if you are working with kids, mini basket, or if you are, if you are working with the juniors, because practically we have two levels of basketball, basically, youth program, where you are, and senior basketball. In youth program, we have one goal, only one main goal, to prepare players for senior level, not to win at any cost. In senior level, we have one goal, to win. So we can do everything, switch, zone, blah, blah, blah. But in youth program, we should teach them how to work. For example, uh, yesterday I watched here senior, senior league game, just to analyze and just to give you an information. So in first, from first 20 possessions, 18 times, both teams, they attack on the right side. So that means that left side is, is not so good. They are not confident to drive on the, on the left side. This is clear goal that on the practice, you should pay more, more attention on left side dribble, left side first step and stuff like that. So you as a coach, you should analyze those stuff in order to develop your players for senior level. So let's start now with drills. Okay, at the beginning, first segment, transition defensive drills and of course some warm-up drills. Guys, let's make pairs. Please one big applause for guys because it's Sunday. It's a red, red letter in calendar. Players and their families are sacrificing for us. Okay, let's make pairs. Two players, one ball. Okay, and let's start one simple drill. At the beginning, at the beginning we are going to to combine different aspects of the game. Easy stuff, one player with ball on the free throw line level, you are with him, huh? Yes. Okay, so you decide everything. In this drill, let's say like this, we are working on some basic running techniques, passing, stopping, reading close out and driving. Simple drill at the beginning because we have, we are facing with big problem with today kids because of mobile phones. So till 10 minutes ago, they were on mobile phones. Now you sh they should be focused on five skills. It's not easy, but we as a coaches, we should put, push them under the pressure immediately. Psychological pressure, of course, at the beginning of the practice. So what we are going to do? You are big, you are under 16, under 18, huh? Your group, age group. Uh, yeah, 15. 15, okay, super, you are big. Okay, let's do like this. Uh, you are going to make passes between you with weak side hand. Mm -hmm. If you are right-hander with left, you are right-handers. There are left-handers in the team? No? No left handers? Okay. Everybody with left hand, pass ball to him and run back. You just follow him. Okay. Pass and run. When you arrive on the three point line, come to me. Come, you with me. Okay. Go run. Go run. Stop now. But you as a coach, stop. You as a coach, you must correct immediately. Just give me a ball, please. So when you are passing ball, both guys, they pass like this with left hand. Give me a ball. One hand pass, you should extend your elbow and on the, the direction of the pass. Not here, not here, not high Hitler here. So one direction, extend shoulder level, okay, pass again, pass again, go back, go back, again, one more time. So now when you arrive approximately on the free point, pass to him. I want you to make jump stop, go for close out, okay? I want you to make close out just with one hand, you are not playing active defense. If he is lifting left hand, you are driving right. Okay, then you take the ball, pick up the ball and do the same on opposite side. So, another teaching point here, individual tactic of stopping. When players are receiving uh, frontal passes, direct passes, I prefer to make jump stop. Because like this, after jump stop, they can make crossover step on the left and right side. So, frontal passes, jump stop, diagonal passes, curl moves, screen exit, two contact pass, two contact stop. Okay. Let's try to do it, guys. When you finish, next group starts when they arrive over there and we rotate. When you arrive on this side, just switch offense to defense and go. Okay, let's go. Think about passing technique. Extend, so this guy is not extending elbow. First one is doing like this with, with arm. So we want to finish move. Let's go, let's go, one by one, go. Straight position, straight position. Go, go, guys. 
Just left hand, go, 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 next, next. Stop him to, no, opposite read, decision making immediately. So right hand up, you drive left, left hand up, you drive right. Read, come on. Then in some other part of the practice, you can use this drill as a regular one-on-one -on -one drill. Not at the beginning because they are not ready, but this can be also drill in the last part of the practice, live one-on-one. With limitation, shot for free, only drive, whatever you want. So try to use one drill with different options. Let's go, guys. Read, one dribble, just one dribble and score. No two dribbles, guys, you are big enough. Pass to him, make close out, hop, drive, one dribble. One dribble, regular layup. One dribble, traveling, one dribble, you can see now. Left, right, and then problem to start driving on the right side. So jump, stop, and crossover step. Teaching points here, we are correcting always. I'm not going to stop now. On the crossover step, after triple threat position, they must put ball on the hip, and then from hip dribble, not from here dribble, traveling. So stop, hip, go. Let's go. Follow up, follow up the ball, rebounder, and go on. Come on. Okay, go hop, stop, drive. Okay, stop now when you finish here, okay? No, finish you, and we are stopping because they are first. I'm extend, one dribble, lay up, rebound, rebound, rebound. Let's go, hop, read, one dribble, bravo, arrive over there. With older group, you can add some other fundamentals, especially for guards. You can say to them, after two months, every time on driving, that they should make pass, fake, ball around the body, half around the body. So you are adding fundamentals here. Okay, let's do now another transition defense 101. Stay you over there on the cone level, free throw line level. Free throw line level, yes. You are attacking this basket. Okay, so I want you to be in this position. This is like position to receive outlet pass in fast break. So stay here. Stay here. I want you to see the floor. In the moment of receiving, I want you to see the floor. Just pass to him. Try to sprint. I want you to dribble only with left hand and lay up only with left hand. Try to reach him over there. Go, go, go. Too much dribbles. Go back, go back, please. Go back, please. Here, okay, we can say dri drill is like this. But teaching points, teaching points for this drill. Simple stuff. We have two kinds of dribbles, generally. Give me one ball, please. So we have control dribble when hand is over the ball. So this dribble we are using in half court, in half court offense, in one-on-one -on -one situation, and we have so-called high dribble. High dribble when hand is behind the ball. So we are pushing ball in front and we are running to, to catch the ball. Okay, try to do the same stuff. I think that you can do with three dribbles before you did five. So push ball, hand behind and run. Try to stop him. Go, go, go. Come on, one, two, three, without any problem. So first time he did five. We should correct. This is our job. Let's go, change offense, defense, same stuff. Let's go guys, one by one, one by one. Go on, go on, go on, next, next, go on. Left hand, left layup, left hand. Left layup, left hand. And we are working on weak side hand. That's why I push them on the left side. Simple stuff. Let's go. Let's go. One more lap and stop. This is also part of physical preparation, of course. They will run. They are running. And we need them to run at the beginning. Bravo. Good. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, go on, come on. Also here coaches with this simple drill, in order to avoid waste of time, you have minimum three options. So methodology of teaching from simple to complex. You can start drill, this drill, rolling ball to the floor, on the floor, that we will give more chance to the guy who is recovering. Then you can start with bounce pass, then direct pass. So same drill, three options, mini basket, you start with rolling, then bounce pass, then direct, so you're going to build up situation like this. Okay, guys, let's do like this. 
player with what two groups, let's make this group here on the half court, this group here on the half court. Let's go. This group here, here, over there with ball, over there with ball, you stay over there. Another transition defense drill, so consider that we did first two drills, not two minutes, as I did, that we, we make 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, now we are doing something else. Conversion from offense to defense, plus 101. You are going to make left hand layup over there, just follow him. When he score, when he score, you pick up the ball, you become offense, you become defender. Okay, stop here. I want you to put the pressure. As you can see immediately, he start running back. I don't want him to run back. I want him to press ball. Okay, so full court press. You as an offensive player, you should go between two cones. So this is easier for him at the beginning. Okay, you should go between two cones, regular defense 101. Teaching points in defense, because we should explain to them before. If this guy is going to dribble, dribble on the place. So this is not good position. Defensively, I cannot be between player and defending basket. I must be between ball and defending basket. So if he's going to dribble with right hand, I must be here. Attacking dribble with right hand and attacking possible passing lines with left hand. Change switch on left, I'm here. So this hand here and this hand here. Okay, let's try from the beginning. Now you are ready guys, don't run full speed because you are not ready. Stay behind the line. Be precise and here also coaches, you can, you can start from regular position as they start right now or you can do some other stuff. For example, they can start from sitting position. They can start from push-ups position. They can start from jumping on the, over the line. So you decide according to your practice goals if you want to work on agility so let's do like this, guys. We will start, stay over there behind the line. Agility drill, two legs over the line, two legs behind. With dribble, without dribble. On my sign, you start, yes. Okay, just this, on the whistle, we are working on coordination, footwork, speed reaction, left hand dribble, conversion, offense, defense. So six goals. Okay, let's do like this. Watch in front. I'm, come on, go, go. Same stuff. Next, next. Go. Next. Under 12 and over, we can add some tactical principles in 101. Okay, everything same. Defensively, because you will be defense, I want you to push him on the weak side hand, so he cannot go on the right. If you have a youth program from five players, three guys, ready to play push side on the weak side, you don't need defense. This is more than enough, because not all the players are ready to pass, to drive, with weak side hand. So just that principle. You have easy situation because he should dribble between cones. Just push him on the left side, on his left. Everything same over the, let's change drill, let's make just jump. Jumps over the line with dribble, be ready. Head up, I'm, let's go, let's go, quickly, quickly guys. Footwork, go, go. Too much dribbles, five dribbles from half court. Before you did three full court, now five half court. Correct, let's go. No right, no right, bravo. Let's go, finish guys, 101 regular, hey. Finish 101, go. Next, come on. Play defense, push him on the, bravo, push him on the right. Go next, let's go, let's go. Go. So we are working on offensively on weak side hand and defensively we are working on push side defense on the weak side. This is more than enough. Okay, one more time. Let's do the same methodology of teaching some movements here. We are starting with frontal movements, then backward movements, then lateral movements. So you are changing like this. Same drill after two minutes you change options. 
it's not going to be boring for players if you are changing and for uh, from, from your point of view you're doing some regular stuff. Let's do now uh, basic stuff like you know moving with two hands, two legs here okay and you can start whenever you want. You just read when he starts you start with him and now we are playing live game 101. Live 101 and then who gets the ball? It's offense. So if you are taking offensive rebound your offense again because usually we are saying to players box out, box out, they will say yes coach and I will lose my job because they are not making box out. So last week Euroleague, two games, five, last five minutes, seven offensive rebounds. Euroleague, don't tell me that you need some special knowledge to make box out. No, it's just focus. So we should work on that. Let's go guys. So live. One, two, three, blow. Let's go. Pick up the ball. Who is pick going to pick up the ball? Push him on the left. Attack him. Use your, use your hands. Use your hands. Sprint with him. Use hands. Come on. Let's go. 1-0 for defense. Let's see result. Attack him, big guy. They are not pressing ball at all. They are not playing defense. They are just running back like football players. Let's go. Push him on the left. Push him on the left. No right. No right. Push him on the left. Bravo. Only point made over there is point on the right side. Let's go, go on, go on. Again, one more time, let's go. So coaches, you are counting. Six situations, one on one. Only once often score, and that was only one when he moved on the right. So we should see that. We cannot just run drills. Follow up what's, what's happened over there. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go you. Come on, come on, next, next quick so lateral movements speed reaction agility left hand layup transition offense to defense 101 so we have so many stuff now you stop okay now you stop okay so Let's do like this, guys. Put over there. Super. Okay, let's move everybody. This group here, this group here. This group here, this group here. Guys, you should run. When I'm saying something, you should run. You cannot walk. This is not shopping mall next to Daniel. Come on. Easy drill. Again, transition defense drill, which I like to use as a shooting drill at the end of the practice. Because we need to score last second shot. Okay, short clock shots. What we are going to do? You will take three-point shots from over there. First player, pick up the ball, shot and sprint around the cone over there. Pick up the ball around the cone and try to score over there. Okay, you're crossing. Do you understand? Transition defense, sprint, so you can score, lay up two points, three points, live game. You are God on the floor with ball. Let's go. Let's go, sprint back in defense, run. So they are sprinting, they are running. Okay, decision making, good. Defender away, shoot the ball. I like this. You don't need to go over there if defender is waiting. I'm always saying to players, shoot the ball. If you cannot dunk over big men, if you're not Russell Westbrook, shoot the ball. Don't go under, you know, be smart. Let's go, let's go, guys. Hey, you can stay here. You can stay here, stay here. Stay here, when they finish, you go opposite side. My mistake, let's go. Try to reach him, try to reach him. So, this is not practice. Till now, they did 30 sprints. I'm happy. So, we are going to push them to do stuff like that. Let's go. Go around, try to press him, try to press him. Don't wait for him, don't wait for him. Let's go, same stuff, opposite side, guys. Now, now everything same. Not after one repetition, after five minutes. Everybody should make three-point shot. So this is drill for last second shot. We must score in the end of the quarter, in the end of the game. Just three-point shot. No penetration, try to block to contest shot. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Everything same, just three-point shot. Come on, come on. Sprint. Let's go. Try to, to reach him. Three-point shot. Let's go. Go faster, so you, are, you are adjusting position of the cones according to their level. Let's go, let's go, full speed, full speed. 
Try to stop him. Try to stop him without making foul. Let's go. Box out. Don't jump on the player. Don't jump on the player. Three point shot. Okay, stop now. So what we are going to teach them here? Of course, first of all, they are sprinting. Offense must make three point shot from the full speed. Teaching points here. When you are running in full speed, you must stop with two, in two contacts. So we, from full speed, you cannot stop with one contact. So full speed dribble, full speed dribble, one, two. This is teaching point, individual tactic for shooting. Uh, don't jump and make foul. You know the rule of cylinder of offensive player. Yesterday game here five times on position one point guard of Inter Bratislava opposite team make foul on the shot. This is stupid. Senior level five times coaches in one game five times just on one player. So try to avoid this. Let's do it just one more time. Try to contest shot but don't jump in the cylinder. You know cylinder? Jumping and landing, this is cylinder of offensive player. You cannot come in. Okay, let's go. Let's go. One more time and we are changing. Go on, go on. Full speed, full speed. Try to shoot for free. Try to score, try to score. Let's go, let's go. Full speed. You must find... Let's go, try to reach him, try to reach him. Three point shot. He must shoot the ball. If you arrive before, just two hands up, nothing else. Let's go. So, same drill, three options. Penetration, two point shot, three point shot. You are changing. All inside one drill, if you have not guys, everybody, all of them ready to score for free, you can say, big guys, you shoot for two. Wings, positions two and three, you must drive because I want you to score in fast break. Point guards, I want you to make three point shots. So same drill, same principles, but different goals for different positions. So think about it. Now, next segment is uh, close out. How to attack close out. But when we are talking about close out, I think this is probably most important fundamental skill in defense today. Not today, all the time. Because you have close out in mini basketball, you have close out in Euroleague final. So every time they must make close out. That's why we should teach them physically, technically, tactically, how to do close out. Generally, we have two options in close out drills. One option is when player uh, with ball is going to dribble and defender is coming to stop dribble with active dribble. And second situation, when player catch the ball with live ball, so without using dribble. So this is subfolder, close out of the dribble and close out on the catch. I'm calling like this, you can call whenever you want. It's important that you are making differences between two situations. Okay, let's do like this. Pass ball on this group, please. Again, as you can see, coaches, basketball is physical game. So they must run. They must run. Please don't push your kids to play five on five. They must run. They must play fast break. Then they can stop. They can slow down. But if you are teaching them immediately to slow down game pace, they will never accelerate. It's much easier to slow down than to race, to play up tempo game. Simple drill. You are going to dribble around the cone here, around the cone over there, and you are attacking this basket. Go back. No, no. Just him. Go back. When he starts dribbling, okay, you know what you should do. Hop, hop, and attack. Stop. When he starts from here, you should sprint to touch sideline here and sprint back in defense. One goal for this group, no middle penetration. Okay? He cannot drive in the middle. If he drives in the middle, you're on the bench. I'm not interested if you have talented mother or rich father. You should listen what I'm saying. This is selection. I know that in all countries, including my country, sometimes selection criteria for players is talented mother and rich father. But no, don't look at this. Think about basketball in regular way. Okay, guys, let's go. Full speed. He, you start when he starts. You can choose. Start whenever you want. You don't need me. High dribble. Push ball. Push ball. Let's go. No, no, no. Opposite. Stop. Stop. Also this corner. Offense. 
Also that cone. Let's go next. Let's go next. Come on. Go on. Two cones. Yes. Run. Sprint. No middle. No middle. Attack him. No hands. He's not using hands. Defense must attack ball with hands. Every time they are coming like this, they must attack ball with hands. Let's go. Full speed. Come on, guys. Attack him. No middle. Box out him. Box, box out every time. Let's go. Let's go. Attack ball. Stop. Stop. Sorry. Yesterday we discussed on the dinner. So we should teach players talking with their language. In defense, they don't need to be followers. They are not dogs walking next to the offense. Defense must be influencer. So defense must attack offense. I want you to attack him. Don't wait for his reaction. Try you to be influencer on the court. Try you to push him, attack, pressing the ball and stuff like that. Okay? Don't wait for his reaction because if you are waiting, he has advantage. Let's go. Full speed. Left hand dribble. Try to dribble with left hand. Let's go. Attack him. Attack. Attack. No middle. This is foul. No middle. Come on. Box out. Box out. It's not over. Let's go. Let's go. Next. Attack. 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 No middle. Attack. Attack. Okay. Again, box out. Nobody box out. They say, yes, coach, but nobody make box out. So, we should find solution. Let's do like this, guys. Same drill. When you finish one-on-one -on -one here, who get rebound, offense or defense, it's often full court over there. So try to make box out or try to go on offensive rebound if you don't want to play defense two times. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Everything same, just we are adding full court one-on-one. -on -one. Attack him, attack him, attack his left hand. Active hands, active hands. He move on the right. That means that he's on the bench. Let's go, let's go, fight for ball. Push him on the left. Let's go, defense, full court. Try to push, try to push on the left side, okay? Don't nap on the floor. You are on the, on the practice, you are not there. Okay, let's go, let's go. Attack, attack, opposite basket. Bravo, next. So coaches, this is also great conditioning drill. They are running up and under. If you want to do something extra, usually I'm putting something on the side. So instead to wait here, they are jumping out of the court over the hardless or defensive slide or running backward, you are doing something. So they are running back, it's high intensity drill in that way. Let's go, no middle, no middle. Just one hand. Let's go. Next, next, go, go. Push him on the left, push him on the left. No right, no right, no right. Let's go. Let's go, keep playing one on one. Push him on the left. Okay, as you can see, they cannot score on the left. So it's regular, this is normal shot. No defense, no foul, you must score. After 10 minutes or after two years, depending on their level and our level, Let's do the same stuff, but when you are moving over there, you must make three-point shot. Okay? You must shoot for free. In that direction. Here, regular, over there, three-point. Let's go. Attack him. Attack him. Attack him. No right. No right. Don't turn back. Let's go. Three-point shot must be made. Let's go. Don't make fouls. So, if you are working two years, Probably they will score sometime last second shot. We don't know. But we have more possibilities to score. Box out. Box out. Let's go, guys. I'm full speed. Attack him. Attack him. No right. No right. He cannot. Don't turn back. He, this is right. He move back. Let's go. Full speed. Opposite half, opposite half court. Box out. And coaches, you are checking who is scoring. You are checking, you are sometimes if you have assistant coach, you are putting on the paper who scored last second shot. Then who is scoring is take last shot, not because of nice mother. 
So we should check everything on the practice. Go on, go on, full speed. Push him on the left. Okay, let's do like this. This group with ball, half court. This group without the ball under the basket. Go everybody here on the half court. Give me that cone, please. Give me that cone. cone. Another in our subfolder, in our subfolder, uh, close out on the dribble. Another drill, more for point guards. Simple stuff. You will start to dribble around the cone. You run here. You meet him over there, one on one. Just this half court. I don't want to extend now every time on the full court, but in regular practices, I like to do half court, full court, half court, full court, and then some conditioning on the side. Now we don't want to kill them because they will stay all day here. So let's keep them on the half court. Let's go. Let's go. When he starts, you move. Let's go. Try to meet him immediately. Go on. Go on. Bravo. Let's go. Try to block him. Super. Move ball. Move ball. Move ball. Move ball away. This is your job. This is not coaching job. They should clean shit. Sorry, ladies. They should clean stuff from the floor. Not coaches. Go on. Close out of the dribble. Another dribble. Another drill. Another angle. Let's go. Of course, you can adjust position of the cones according to physical abilities of the players. You can start from side position, you can start from middle, same drill, different variations, different options. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Now we are changing, same stuff, very simple. Let's do like this, come here, come here, both of you. Back to back, so you just stay on the side. Back to back with him, so face basket, face half court. Stay back to back with him. Okay, you are sprinting to touch baseline. You are sprinting to touch half court and one on one. Very simple. Speed. Stay in contact. Stay in contact. Be in defensive stance. You cannot start dribbling for this from this position. Stay low. Stay low, both of you. Stay low. Push him with back. Push him with back. Push him with back. On the whistle, you start. Ready? Go. Let's go. Let's go. Attack him. Attack him. One on one of the dribble. I'm not seeing your hands. Let's go, let's go. Defense. I want to see you to attack with hands. Again, guys, give me ball. When I'm dribbling with right hand, show me your position. No. You should be between ball and defending basket. Show me now. Yes. This is your position. Because like this, I cannot stop and drive. I must change. I must do something. When I'm doing some change in 5-on-5 five five game, probably I'm buying time for other defenders to help penetration, to close. If they're just driving, especially with black guys, very difficult. They are fast, boop, stop, boom. Like Ferrari, you cannot stop them when they are changing rhythm. But if they are making change of direction, they need some technique. That's why we should also try to teach them to make something defensively, you know? Okay, let's go. Try to be between ball and basket, okay? Go, go, you can start. Let's go, next group ready, next group ready. I'm next. Offense, you can start whenever you want. You don't need me. Let's go. Bravo. Go on. Go on. Bravo. Go on. After five minutes, we are changing position. Stay in the same position, but diagonally. Okay? You should sprint to this corner and one on one. You should sprint to that corner and go back on one on one. So, also, coaches, if you have, uh, of, usually we have not assistant coaches in youth program. We can dream. NCAA, we are alone. We are cleaning women, we are drivers, we are doing everything in youth program. This is clear. But if you have minimum one assistant coach or probably some kid who is injured, you can split teams in two groups. So like this, they will have more, 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 uh, more situation, more one-on-one -on -one game. Six players here, six players over there, they will run more. Let's go. Start whenever you want. Sprint, try to reach him. So we have acceleration, stopping, agility, sprinting, close out. So a lot of stuff to do. Come on. Go on, go on.
Next, next, let's go. You can also change corner to corner and stuff like that. Please give me, give me two more cons, two cons. One more time and we are changing, you stop, okay? Just once to finish this again, left hand stuff, let's go everybody here. One group, players, uh, players with ball on the level of this cone, here. You stay here and you stay on the level of this cone, okay? Simple stuff, again, left hand, close out of the dribble. Who is first? You? Okay, you are running around this cone, but from middle to the side. Okay, same, you're running from the middle to the side, you are stopping him here. Okay, just like this. And you play, go. I want you to finish with left hand. Let's see. 1 0 for defense. Come on. Let's go. Full speed. Full speed. Right to dunk. 2 0 for defense. You should catch ball every time. Second time that you're not catching. Don't do like this. Run to bring the ball. Aima, let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. Everything same, but. Your offense, you catch the ball and your offense full court over there. All right, let's go. Go on, push him on the left, push him on the left. Let's go, next, go. Try to push him on the left. Defense, push him on the left side. Jump in front of right, bravo. Keep him on the left, keep him on the left. Attack him, attack him. Don't wait for him. No right, this is right. This is right again, we don't want right. Super, we want left, don't make foul. Let's go. Keep him on the left, keep him on the left. Go with him, go with him. Okay, let's go. No right, no right, jump in front. Don't use screen. Okay, so, as you can see, you must run. We are working a lot of left hand layup, so guys, Go to drink some water. I need just three players. Other guys, water, I need three. Let's come, you and two, two guys. Two guys without water. You don't need to drink too much, come on. Let's go. Quickly, quickly water, three guys I need. Let's go. One ball, three players. Another important part, go over there. Okay, let's do like this, guys. You will be, please put this cone on, on this level and put this cone on this level here. Put this cone here. Okay, let's say you are here. You are here without the ball. Okay, you go under the basket with ball. You stay here on the half court. Uh, I need one guy to help me. Come here, you will be coach, but I'm not going to give you my salary, okay? okay? You should deserve it here first. What we are going to do, simple continuous one-on-one -on -one drill. Another important part of the practice coaches, you should know when organizing practice in which metabolic zone you are working. So we have anaerobic lactate endurance, that means six to eight seconds of full speed we work on speed, agility, quickness. Previous drills were mostly on that target. Then we have anaerobic lactate endurance. That means from 10 to 20 seconds, one minute, two minutes. So, so this is speed endurance on anaerobic lactate endurance or anaerobic glycogen endurance. And we have aerobic endurance. So this drill now, we will work on just on anaerobic lactate endurance. Please, one of you, coach, do you have watch? Can you help me? Okay, just one minute. Okay, one minute, watch and tell to them what we are going to do. You are coach over there. 
you stay over there. What we are going to do? Pass ball to coach and sprint to play defense. Full speed, pass back to him. Play one on one. Play one on one. Play one on one. Come on. Finish. Okay. When we finish, okay, defense is going to sprint around the cone. So you can choose this, this, or this cone. Offense, pass to him, and you sprint over there. And we continue like this. Usually I'm running three minutes, this drill, because it's very difficult, three players. So you can combine one group here, one group here, one group here, and same on opposite side. In order to avoid traffic, you can say, for example, this group must make three-point shot, middle group penetration, side group three-point. So like this, 12 players can work at the same time. It's not that two players or three players are working and other nine players are staying like this. No, we don't want this. We want to keep high intensity of the practice because this is key. Okay, do you understand drill? Coach, let's make one and a half. One minute is easy. Let's go, let's go. Full speed, play one on one. This is again coaches, one on one, close out on the catch now. Okay, it's different. Let's go. Try to push on the opposite side. Let's go, let's go. Another ball. Come on, come on. Sprint. Let's go. Pass to him, play one on one. Next, finish, next. Come on, pass ball. In order to avoid problem, coach is staying under the basket with two balls. Boom, boom, boom. To keep intensity. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sprint, sprint, change position. Bravo. Come on, box out, pass. Let's go. Change. Let's go, pass, sprint in defense, sprint in defense. So they are active all the time. It's not easy. With under 14, under 16, under 18, I'm trying to use also medical ball. We have in Serbia one kilo ball, not two kilos. One kilo, this is just half kilo, more than regular ball. And they are playing one on one with medical ball of one kilo. Why not? From under 16 without any problem. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Give me one more ball. Give me one more ball. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quickly. 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 Just stay. Attack him. Attack him. Let's go. Next. Believe me, I didn't want to say, but at the beginning of the practice, I saw that this guy is not with shoes in the right order. Unfortunately, we should try to check also this. We should come to see, okay, your shoes are not ready. Go with your mother, prepare your shoes for practice. Okay, let's go. Can happen, of course, to everybody. But from the beginning, his shoes were not in the order. Right? It was visible. Come on, guys. Time. It's over. Okay. Okay, it's enough. It's enough. So this is something that we need to do. Okay. Let's go back, everybody on the floor. Uh, Simon, where are you? I need you. Uh, let's make like this, guys. Uh, two groups of players. One player here. Let's go, everybody, everybody. Half, half players over there with ball. Simon, stay in the corner over there. And one group over there on the side, free throw line extension. You stay here. I like very much this drill. This is another conversion drill, offense to defense. Conversion drill when we are doing close out on the catch. So what we are going to do? So you will pass ball, you will pass ball to coach over there. Okay, and try to make close out on him. Jump inside the court. Make close out on him. He will pass to me. Jump to the ball. You are guarding him. You must see the ball. This is not good position. Just hand on the passing line. You must see him and me. Approximately two thirds from me, one third from player who is over there. Okay, try to get closer to me because you need to be ready to help if I'm driving. Okay, then I will keep ball with me. When I'm passing to him, sprint under the basket. Think that you are help side defender under the basket. This is not under the basket. Under the basket. Okay, now you can control both. Hold the ball, start to drive on the left, try to stop him with hands up, okay, this is guided offense, pass to me, then you sprint in offense here, and you sprint in defense, and now we play live one-on-one game, okay, let's try to do, 
So we have close out, don't score. This is guided defense until here. From this moment when you receive ball here is live game. Okay, so coaches, we have different goals. Close out, jumping to the ball, jumping to the ball, stopping penetration, conversion, offense, defense. So we should push them to be focused. Let's go. Sprint to stop, bravo, hop, pass to me. Let's go, let's go, play basketball. You come out, play basketball. Okay, next. Uh, one more detail here. To be totally inside the drill. When you are passing ball to coach here, Simon, you should choose to be left-hander or right-hander. If I'm going to fake like this, left hand. If I'm going to fake like this, right. Always try to contest shot with closest hand. Okay? So change, change and you read. Let's go. What is this? You should deny, again, again. So you are one pass away defender. Let's go. Hop, deny, bravo, deny this pass, deny. I want you to deny, deny this pass. Hop, let's go. Drive, hands up, bravo, go on, play basketball. Super. Let's go, let's go, attack him, attack him, attack him. Active hands, active hands. Left hand on the ball. Okay, one more detail here. Please come back, come back here. Another teaching point, coaches. Go you, you were offense. When he is dribbling, I will show. When he is dribbling with one hand, left or right, dribble slowly. I'm not quick like you. So I'm attacking, change direction, change direction. Hop, I'm changing. But when he stop dribble, I'm not going to attack ball with one hand. Then only two hands over. Because he stopped dribble, he cannot drive anymore. So active dribble, one hand on the ball, one hand on the passing line, stop dribble, two hands up. Because he must shoot, he can pivot, he can pass, and he can shoot. So why to keep hands here? Hands here, because he must shoot over, okay? Let's go, let's go, out, next. Read coach, Simon, keep ball a little bit more. Hop, bravo, let's go. Bravo, deny, I want you to deny, super. You should be ready, test defense. Let's go, again. Hop, drive, stop penetration, say ball, 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 let's go, play defense. I'm on. Box out, box out, box out. Again, coaches, rebound here, full court over there, one on one. Now we are not going to do this, but it's okay. One more time and we are changing drill, let's go. Read, read, read. Bravo. Then I, I want you to be aggressive. Sprint. Hop, stop, let's go, let's go. Play defense, deny, 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 stop, okay. Super, stop. Teaching point here. I will do, you were offense, huh? Play defense on me. Important teaching point, how to get open in 101. What he did first, this is foul. So when you want to get open, you cannot make same line here and same line here, because this is easy for him, it is. You should make V cut. So if you are coming with one line here, you cannot go on the same line back. Or back here to fade. Or if he here, try to make step here and receive the ball. So never same line inside, outside. Do it again. This is important teaching point for every situation, one on one plus one. So we, our drill is good. But if they don't know what to do in drill, drill is zero. So we must teach them. Drills are tools for us to teach them something. Here we are teaching how to get open. If they are running same line, they will never receive ball in five on five. Against aggressive defense, of course. Let's go. Full speed, full speed. Read, close out, bravo. Attack, hoop, bravo. Drive, drive. Hop, super, bravo, ball, 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 communication, deny, deny, don't push him, same line, bravo, move, stop, 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 my mistake, receive ball here, yeah. can you score from here, no. probably if you are Zlatan Ibrahimović or Messi or Ronaldo, but this is not your position for sure, yeah. another teaching point, when ball is over there, give me a ball, 
I don't want to pass ball to them. That was my mistake. Shooting range. Your shooting range is probably here. So if you cannot receive ball here, automatically, without any communication, backdoor cut. Do it again, please. From the beginning. So we are teaching. They cannot score. We don't need to communicate. He's coming on the three-point line. Defender's hand on the passing line. Nothing to do. <laughs> cut. Under 12. This is for under 12. Don't tell me that we cannot teach kids in under 12 this. We don't need to teach them flex, horn, speak and roll. We need to teach them this because this is basketball for them. And this is basketball also for higher level inside some offensive systems. Okay, let's go. Try to play aggressive defense. Okay, let's go. Drive, hop, stop, super, good. I'm a defense, deny, 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 deny. Hop, bravo, good. Stop. Another teaching point for offense, same group. Do you hear me? It was good, everything. Play defense on me. Pass to him. Why to use bounce BU offense, please? I will be defense. Why to use bounce pass on the backdoor cut? We should explain. First of all, because every time when he's making backdoor cut, I'm doing like this. I'm not going to play defense here. So, we should explain why. Every time bounce pass because defense is going here. Another teaching point for defense. I'm, no, no, just play, sorry. He's here, okay, when he's making backdoor cut. I cannot run backwards. Because first of all, he's faster than me running forwards. And secondly, if I'm running backwards like this, I cannot see some back screen coming behind. So there are two reasons. So in this situation, he did it very well before. So you are denying backdoor cut. You are sprinting with him. You are not moving in defensive stance. Okay? So sprint back. Thank you. Let's go again. Next. Next. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Full speed. Hop. Read. Read. Deny. Deny. You should deny this pass. Let's go. Next. Hop. Come on. Sprint. Sorry, my mistake. Again, I close out over there. Let's go. Sprint, drive. Two hands up, two hands. I'm on. Deny, deny, deny. Inside. That was wrong, as you can see. Sup, sup. Same line inside, outside. Cut. Don't go inside, outside. Here, 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 here. Let's go. Play one-on-one. Play one-on-one. Play one-on-one. Play defense. Play. Yeah, this is bad. This is good. This is much better, as you can see. This is something which we need to do. One more time. Let's go, let's go, everybody ready. Hop, attack, drive, go. Run, go. Deny, deny. Show me offense, I don't want you to push. I don't want you to push. Yes, this is better. Get closer to the basket. Get closer to the basket. Okay, it's enough. Then we can organize coaches also some continuous one-on-one -on -one drill full court. Okay, guys, let's do like this. You go over there in the corner. Please clean all cones. Let's go over there. Two, four, one more guy over there. One more player over there. You are here. You are here in this group. Give them just one ball. Just one ball for them. And we need here just one ball. Put all four balls on the side. Let's come you inside here. I need one guy under the basket with ball. Okay. What we are going to do? Continuous one-on-one -on -one drill. This is also conditioning. It's connected also to third session, which we have today. So we are using half court. You are starting to do like this. Who is first over there? Okay. Exchange three passes. One, two, three. And sprint. Run, run. One, two, three. Okay. At the same time, you are doing, you are doing the same. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay, stop. Now, you attack. You move to defend this basket. No, no, no. You are playing defense here. And you are attacking him here. Okay, one on one. Then, when we finish, okay, when we finish, you take ball and you play with next, you go out. Okay, and continuously we will play. Do you understand? So, after playing offense over there, you are defense for next group. Okay? 
Everything clear? So you play defense and you go in the end of the line. Let's go. Let's go. At the same time. Stop, stop, stop. Go back. Give me five. This is good pass. Let's make strong pass, guys. Extend elbows every time. Don't make pass three seconds, you know. Guys, we should correct this. They cannot pass boom, like balloon, you know, like look balloons. Pass fucking strong pass every time, you know. Everybody, two hands, chest pass, but strong. Extend elbows. Teaching point, extend elbows and use your legs to increase strain of the pass. Come on, let's go, strong passes. Strong pass, sprint on defense, sprint on defense. Let's go, pass to him, attack him, attack him, don't wait for him. Attack him, attack him. Let's go, let's go, you, you are defense now, you are defense now. Let's go, you are defense. Okay, okay, he's slipping a little bit, no problem, can happen. Pass to him and you play defense here again. I'm, let's go, let's go, make one pass. Play basketball. Next. Okay, we lose coordination. Start from the beginning, guys. Let's start from the beginning. Let's make it simpler. Just one pass, no free. Just pass to him and sprint to play defense, okay? Just one pass and sprint to play defense, not free. With free, you need well-coordinated team. It's not easy, okay? Uh, defense, what you should do in defense over there? Close out, yes, bravo, but how? Eh, this is point. Close out is good, so a good soldier. In close out, what we need to do? First thing, technically to explain close out. Go you over there. You receive the ball and you are dribble with full speed. My job here, first of all to sprint, to stop, dribble slowly. Okay, then I should stop. How to stop? This is conditioning coach job. So I should stop with short choppy steps and tactically I should arrive between ball and basket. Again, same principle. This is first thing. If he is coming on the shooting, so my job tactically is first to be on the driving line, secondly to contest shot. So I cannot stay like this. Again, yesterday game I talked to Danilo, my student, all players are coming to make close out like this. This is not close out. Close out is with hands up. Because you must push offensive player to do something else. Okay, so sprint in front of him. If he stop dribble, contest shot. If he didn't stop, try to keep him on one side. This is goal for you. If you are doing this, you will stay on the floor. If not, thank you very much to you, to your mother, father. Bench is for you. Before teaching everything. Come on, let's go. Full speed, defense. Just one, just one dribble. Attack him, attack him. Let's go, guys. Next, next, next. Pass ball, next. Let's go, just one. Sprint over there. Let's go. Stop dribble. So he stop dribble, he's still with one hand, two hands. When he stop dribble, two hands up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Again, coach is here. Can be only penetration. After 10 minutes, only two point pull up jumper. After 10 minutes, three point shot. So all the time they are running with high intensity drill and we are deciding what we want. If you want to work on weak side hand, try to change side, push them on the left side. So everybody are going to dribble with left. Let's go, attack, attack, attack ball, bravo. Next pass, pass and go. Let's go, next, next. Again, coaches, we decide in which metabolic zone. Minimum five minutes, because they have a lot of rest. Five, six minutes, ten minutes with different changes, they're running all the time. Go on, go on. Okay, it's enough. It's enough, you catch drill. We have uh, five minutes more to explain. Let's go, everybody here. Simon, where are you? I need you. Let's make two lines, one line here, short corner, one line over there, short corner. What we are going to do here, guys, here, first, third, and fifth player with ball. So your first bring balls. Here, second, fourth, and sixth with ball. 
Let's go, everybody, guys. Everybody here. Simon, come here with me. I like very much this drill. Best number of players is six because they should run all the time to be high intensity, but you can run also with full team. Uh, we need one more ball with coach. Please give me one more ball. So first, third and fifth, second, fourth and sixth. Stay on the elbow extension. Pass this ball to coach Simon here. Not you. Not you. You must have ball. Pass to him. Let's go. Let's go. Don't shame, guys. You're on the practice. Okay. What we are going to do, guys? We are starting. We are starting at the same time. Okay, you are going to dribble to me and you are sprinting, do it slowly. You are going to dribble, make hand off to me and then you become defender. You should run around the coach from, from side to the middle. Simon, take, hold the ball here in the middle. Sprint to play defense. You play one on one, live game. When they finish, you dribble to coach, you run around me. So continuously we play one on one. I like very much because this is high intensive drill. You can limit space, you can limit number of dribbles, you can limit way of finishing. So you decide. Let's go a little bit away. Okay, everything clear? Everything clear? So Simon, ball is here, inside. I'm, let's go together. Let's go. Sprint, sprint, play defense, attack him, attack him, attack him, attack him. Next, 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 go on. Let's go. Stop. Okay, guys, you know drill, but you are now a follower, you are not influencer. I want you to attack him. I want you to attack, put, to put full energy, pressure on the ball. Okay, you should eat ball. Do you understand? Can you? Did you eat something for breakfast? Banana, nothing, huh? Let's go, you should eat something. Come on, come on. Full speed. Play D, play D over there. Play. Attack him, attack him, attack him. Attack him. Next, next, next. Go on, go on. Go on, next. Come on. Push him on the left. Guys, try to push on the weak side. Next, next. Go on, go on. Play defense. Attack him, attack him. No right, no right, no right. Bravo, no right. Super, good. Next. Let's go. Attack him. Active hands, active hands. No right. Two hands up, two hands. He stopped dribble, not one, two. So important to stop, especially for big guys. When they stop dribble, two hands up. Okay, we can do same. Five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, two point, three point. Let's do same stuff from this position. Coach, you stay here. Guys, two lines, one line over there, one line here. Same drill. Just you move on the level of Simon. Simon, stay here. Stay over there and you go with me. This direction. Everything same, but you are playing one on one from here and from here. So at the beginning, mostly for position one and four. First trailer in transition. If you want, I did this with Serbian senior national team. With Guduric, with Nedović, with Teodosic. But we decide. Six point guards over there. Now, if we work for positions two and three, we move drill here because we want to give them possibility to play from corner to the wing. So same drill, but try to be specific. Position by position. Okay? Everything same. Just we play from here. Let's go. Let's go. Dribble to me. Push him. Push him. Push him. Come on. Attack. Attack. Defense. Defense. I want you to attack. Let's go. Next. Next. Attack. Attack him in defense. Attack. Attack. Bravo. Keep him on the left. Keep him on the left. He move on the right. In the end. We don't want right. Dribble. Dribble. Defense. 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 No middle. No middle, guys. No middle. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Next. Next. No middle. He cannot drive in the middle. Middle. Bench. Come on. Next. No middle. No middle. Attack him. Attack him. Keep him there. Two hands. Okay, not bad. Let's go. Let's go. Go on. Go on. Attack him. No middle. No middle. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, guys. Come on. Full speed. Let's go. Hop. Attack. He cannot drive in the middle. Attack him. Let's go. Every time when they're driving with left hand, this problem. So we should work on left hand. No middle, middle again, guys. Let's make, stop. Okay, sometimes we are doing minutes, but I'm saying no middle, no middle, no middle. I'm increasing my voice, but still they're driving in the middle. 
So they are not stupid, that means that they are joking with me. Sorry, we should say something. Guys, we need three good defenses, no middle, to finish practice. As well as we need sometimes on the timeout, end of the game, we should say, okay, we need two defenses to win. Every time coaches are saying, but when we are practicing this, so we should practice this. Practice is over when we have three successful defenses, no middle defense. Everything clear? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, tell me something. Come on, let's go. Put the pressure, put the pressure. I'm not going to talk anymore. 1-0, bravo, let's go. Offense, try to attack middle. Two. Offense, try to attack middle. Attack middle, attack middle, attack middle, attack middle. Okay, nothing. Right, again. Sorry. Left, good. 1-0 defense. Go on, go on. Okay, I can accept this. Let's go, next. No middle, no middle, no middle, no middle. Okay, 3-0. So you should give them some task to finish. Thank you, guys. Applause for them. Thank you, Simon. So, coaches, again, we are in Slovakia, but as Switzerland, they say 11.15, so I should be on time. Uh, as I said to you before, just to conclude this session, 101, but 101 with specific goals. 101 on the dribble, 101 off the dribble, close out of the dribble, close out on the dribble, on the catch. 101 plus one. And in the end of the day, we should finish also with some most difficult drills. I need just three guys. Just one drill, one more drill. Just three guys I need. Let's go, three, three guards, three point guards. Three point guards, guys. Just to finish in beauty, let's go. Let's go. Okay, you stay over there, you stay here, you stay on the side over there. What we are going to do? To be ready for full court press. We are sprinting, pass to him, pass to him, score over there, score layup. Okay, middle player, middle player, take the ball, take the ball, and you play one against two opposite direction. So he will play against you and you. Press, you know that this guy move from this side, try to make trap, try to push him. Okay, let's try to do it again. So middle player is playing, at the end of the day, we have three methodological step. Easy, same like game, or more difficult than game. This is one against two, more difficult than in the game. You don't need some special genius press offense if you have point guard ready to beat two defenders in, on full court. So why we should play some offense like F.S. Pilsen, two players here, two screens, no. You need fundamentals. Don't tell me that one good point guard cannot cross half court against two guys because space is big. Like airport, pist, highway. I'm a guys, let's go. Let's go, try, it. stop, stop. I didn't say this, say. I say to start ball from over there. It's not important for me, but it's important that they are focused. I don't care if they start from middle, but I say over there, they are doing, I will say red defense, they will play blue. I'm fired as a coach. So they should listen what I'm saying. Come on, let's go, let's go, full speed, score. I'm a defender, put the pressure, put the pressure immediately. Put the pressure, no fouls, no foul. Bravo, attack ball, attack ball without foul. Without foul, let's go, let's go. Play you now, play you now, play you now against two. Okay, he can catch and play or we can stop again. Let's go, let's go. Bravo. So, super, thank you guys. So, this is additional stuff. So you can do some extra stuff in the end of the day. Again, divide. 101 drills in different segments to, to have to be clear in mind what you want from some specific drill because we need 101 with some specific task not just to play 101 thank you very much coaches do you have any question
Questions? No questions? Okay, thank you again. See you after. See you later. What is schedule now? Br Dobre, čiže dobrý deň ešte raz všetkým. Um, je ma, verím, počuť, oh, počuť dobre. Um, ďakujem SBA za túto predložitosť a verím, že prezdielame nejaké, podľa môjho názoru, veľmi užitočné veci, ktoré oh, sa rozoberali na konferencii v Portugalsku. Téma, ktorú chcem dnes vám predstaviť, sú nejaké, nejaké tie základné elementy pri hre 1 na 1, hlavne z toho ofenzívneho pohľadu. Samozrejme, keď trénujeme jedna na jedna, tak je to vždy samozrejme z pohľadu oboch strán, ale dnes by som chcel sa venovať hlavne tej ofenzívnej časti. Každý z nás má pravdepodobne rôzny priestor na to venovať sa zručnostiam. Niekto trénuje dvakrát, trikrát do týždňa, niekto štyri, niekto krát. Všetko ostatné sa dá asi považovať za, za, za luxus. A, a úlohou nás, trénerov, je samozrejme nájsť si na to ten priestor. Rozumiem, že sú tam aj potom nejaké, nejaké taktické záležitosti a tak ďalej, ale teda o, tá kľúčová otázka je, ako byť lepším útočníkom, dobre, o, z pohľadu tých basketbalových zručností, ktoré teda máme nejaký ball handling, prihrávky a zároveň spracovanie prihrávky, zakončenie a, a strelbu. Moja otázka, ktorú sa aj medzi mojimi hráčmi pýtam je, keď máme zvládnuté tieto činnosti, čo je ten ďalší krok? No, mám hráča, ktorý vie driblovať, vie prihrávať, vie zakončovať, vie strieľať. A čo s tým? Ako s tým naložím? Aj pán profesor tu spomenul o, taký ten termín read and react, čiže reagovať na to, čo mi obrana ponúka, z môjho názoru je lepšie donútiť obranu, aby robila to, čo chcem ja. Um, tí najlepší hráči v Euroleague alebo v NBA vedia, v čom sú silní, vedia, v čom sú nebezpeční, vedia sa dostať do pozície, v ktorých sú nebezpeční a reagovať na to, do čoho oni tú obranu sami dostali. A ako viem, respektíve, čo je ten základný kľúč, Um, aby som porazil svojho obrancu. Čiže ako môžem poraziť toho svojho obrancu? Môj názor, dostať ho mimo nejakého toho balancu, dostať ho do, mimo toho, tej pozície, ktorá, samozrejme, ešte to poznáme, nejakú, nejaký ten defenzívny postoj, rozloženie ťažiska a tak ďalej. Ako ho prinútiť, aby sa z tej jeho komfortnej pozície dostal do disbalancu a ja ako útočník by som na to vedel nájsť možnosť, ako cez neho skórovať. A dnes sa zameriam hlavne na, teda na rôzne jump stepy, dobre? čiže ten úvodný fake alebo shot fakey, to znamená, ako urobiť ten disbalans ešte predtým, ako lopta sa dotkne palubovky. To často hlavne v tých menších kategóriách sa stáva pri tých jump stepoch, že hráči spravať jump step dozadu, no, prípadne robia to do strán. V malých kategóriách je to stále účinné. Vo, vo vyšších kategóriách tí obrancovia sú už natoľko chytrí, že keď sa hýbem dozadu alebo do strany, tak sa nehýbem dopredu. No, logicky. Takže dávam výhodu tomu obrancovi. A neťažím z toho ja ako, ja ako útočník. A naopak, možno ste sa s tým stretli, že tie rôzne shot fakey vyzerajú akokoľvek inak, len, len nie ako shot fake, pretože čo je shot fake? Um, shot fake je pre mňa strela, ktorá len nebola vystrelená. Všetko ostatné spĺňa atribút strely. Jo? A k tomu sa dostávam takým tým hlavným bodom, to znamená prečítať tú obranu, atakovať slabé miesta, k tomu sa dostaneme s hráčmi, a ten pre mňa jeden z najdôležitejších bodov je byť presvedčivý. Hej? To znamená, ja keď urobím takýto pohyb, tak ten obranca nemá prečo na to reagovať ako nástrelu, pretože to pripomína všetko ostatné, len nie, čo tou strelou chcem povedať, nazvime to. Dobre? 
Čiže poprosím vás, chlapci, trojice. A máte jednu loptu. A počas tých cvičení budem chcieť, prosím vás, aj od vás, aby ste si všímali rôzne veci. Um, 80% našej práce ako trénerov mládeže je podľa môjho názoru korekcia. To znamená, my môžeme priniesť rôzne cvičenia, rôzne veci, ktoré chceme tých hráčov naučiť, ale ten kľúč je opravovať, opravovať, opravovať. A ja svoje tréningy vediem na troch bodoch. To sú uhly, korekcia a intenzita. To znamená pripravovať ich na veci, ktoré sa reálne v tej hre môžu, môžu sa s nimi stretnúť, môžu do, na nich nastať. OK. Dvaja hráči elbow, jeden elbow a ďalej od nich dvaja, jeden, dvaja, jeden, dvaja, jeden. Oproti sebe. Dvaja vedlo seba, jeden. Takto ďalšia trojca a takto ďalšia trojca. Loptu máš prvý, poď. Poď za ňo. OK. Čiže Damian, čo budem od teba chcieť? Nahodíš si loptu, naskočíš, začneme pravou nohou jab a dribble. OK? To znamená, nahodím, OK? Je to vec, ktorú naši kolegovia rozhodcovia sú veľmi na to prísni, ale častokrát sa stane, že ten hráč urobí jab a pri driblingu skôr ako udrie loptu na zem zdvihne nohu. Čiže celkom nás za to sekajú, čo je dobré. Práve preto chceme od hráčov, aby teda rýchly jab a začneme dribbling. Dobre? Po prvom driblingu môže dať pas, točíme sa, OK? Poď. A snažíme sa všímať si tých hráčov a skúsme sa zamerať na uhly a čo tým chceme povedať. Dobre, stop. OK. Začneme uhly. No? To znamená, keď ja chcem ísť do nejakého smeru, moja špička velí, kam pôjdem. Jo? Častokrát sa nám stáva hráč, robí únik, kôž je tam, on robí únik sem. To znamená, keď vykoná ten pohyb, celá jeho motorika kým sa musí otočiť na ten cieľ, stráca čas. Okay? Druhá vec, niektorí za samozrejme kroky, ale tak k tomu sa dostávame, ale tá hlavná, oni urobia jab a loptu dajú sem. Pre mňa ako voľajobranca to znamená, nikam nechce ísť. Jo? Loptu nemá tu, to je, respektíve loptu si teraz budete dávať k nohe, ktorú vykročím. Jo? Tu, jab. Okay? Nenechávam ju na druhej strane. Poď ešte párkrát. Jo, trhni. Dajú k stehnu a trhni. Yes, you go jab and then dribble. OK, super. Ideme ďalej. Máte náhod loptu, urobíš jab. OK, bez dribblingu zatiaľ, len jab. A obranca skočí sem, čo urobíš? Fakt. Čiže prenesie jab, zablokovaná cesta, prenesiem a idem cross. Aby som ti nevzal loptu. Urobíš jab, kade je pre teba cesta. Tak. Under alebo over. No. Ďalšia chyba, ktorú sa hráči dopúšťajú, prenášajú pri tom krose loptu na úrovni svojho brucha, clinch, jedna na jedna, 50-50, strata alebo nie. Dobre? Čiže ideme teraz ten cross, OK? To znamená jab, under, cross, idem. Alebo over, OK? Poď párkrát, hop. Over alebo under, nie centrom tela. Zníš sa. Šp- 
špičky na cieľ. To znamená, chceš ísť tam, špička a už ide tam. Jo. Nie sem, cieľ. A môžete aj vy odsledovať, či ich špičky napríklad, to znamená ten prvotný moment zamerania sa na cieľ sú správne alebo nie. Majky tu, ideš? Sem si chcel ísť? Áno. OK, super. A teraz tam pridáme tu re, ten reakčný faktor. Daj mu loptu. OK. Maťo, nahodíš loptu. Urobíš jab. Keď ostanem stať, čo urobíš? Pokračuje ďalej. Bez toho, aby spravil kroky, OK? Nahod jab. Čo urobíš? Over, under, cross, OK? Čiže teraz bude útočník reagovať na pohyb obrancu. Dobre, začneme v ľahkej intenzite, potom sa dostaneme, to znamená, nahodíš tu a na základe mojich reakcií, ak stojím, ideš, ak zablokujem cestu, over alebo under, drive. OK? Tak poď párkrát, poď. Čiže jeden je obranca, druhý útok. If he stays, you go. If he block your way, under, over, cross. And now you defend. Over, alebo under, nie centrom tela, jo? Špičky na cieľ. Dobre, stop. A tu môžeme ďalšiu korekčnú vec uh, odpozorovať. A to je ten rozdiel, neviem, má tu žlobtu. Hoď. Aká je vzdialenosť pri mojom úniku medzi mojou nohou, ostan stať, prosím ťa. Medzi mojou nohou a jeho nohou. Čím väčšia vzdialenosť je, tým je to pre ňoho lepšie. Jo? To znamená, snažíme sa hráčov učiť, aby napádali a čo najtesnejšie pri svojom obrancovi sa dostávali pred neho, pretože ešte raz, čím väčšia je tá medzera, tým ten obranca má čas na to recovery a následne sa dostať naspäť do pozície jemu komfortnej. Trojca má dve lopty. Pardon, dvojce. Dvojca má tri lopty. Dvojca, tri lopty. Poď, poď, poď. OK. Poď, jedna, druhá, treťa, štvrtá, dvojca. Poď. Budeme driblovať na rovnakej strane, to znamená Erik ľavou rukou, ja pravou. Hoď. A túto loptu. Hoď. OK. Pôjdeme tam, naspäť krosneme a vymeniame druhou rukou. Dobre? Hoď. Čiže tu teraz pracujeme na spájaní hemisfér. Jedna časť tela prechádza do role automatizácie, druhá do časti reakcie, to znamená, musí sa ten hráč sústrediť a na túto časť, a na túto časť musí reagovať, chytať a zároveň do druhou lobtu nedribujeme, tu si len prihrávame. OK. Môžeme rôzne variácie. Dobre, teraz po prihrávke cross cross. OK, poď. Push, push, dribble, push. 
Push. Proč je? Proč je? Tou loptou, kterou dribluješ. Proč je? Proč je? Proč je? Tak. Dobre. Teraz to vieme samozrejme nadviazať na hru 1 na 1. OK. Poďte tie dvojce na šestku. OK. Teraz pôjdeme po prihrávke between between. Ako náhle ten hráč, ktorý cúva, vstúpi do toho územia, ten hráč, ktorý ide dopredu jedna na jedna, obranca s dvoma loptami. Ostáva. Môžeme si to predstaviť? No, do tom rozumie. Má tu Žerik, poďte to ukázať. Poď. Čiže, dribluješ po prihrávke treťou loptou between between, ty to isté. Ako náhle má to vstúpiť do červeného územia? Jedna na jedna. Poď. Hra. Má to už má dve lopty a ty hraš jedna na jedna. Ďalšia dvojca, poď. Jedna na jedna, hraj! Hoď púš dribol. Dobre, znova mnoho faktorov pracuje. Koordinácia, dribling, reakcia pri hre jedna na jedna. OK, super. Dvojca má dve lopty. Každý má loptu iba. Tretiu loptu preč. Stačia šiesti ľudia. Tri dvojce. Tri dvojce. Jedna. Hoď na krydlo. Druhá. Sem. Tretia dvojca sem, jo? OK. Erik Obranca má tu žutok. Začína táto dvojca. Dobre. Narazí s loptami. Jedna na jedna s tým, že ty môžeš tou loptou do ňoho tlačiť, jo? Môžeš ho tou loptou blokovať, nesmieš tú loptou, ale pustiť z druhú a ani ju hodiť. OK? Poď. Čiže túto to má útočník dosť náročné. Obranca môže využívať silu a zároveň pre toho obrancu je to cvik na prácu nôh, keďže rukami v podstate limitujeme jeho pohyb rukami, aby teda sme učili hráčov ako nepracovať hlavne rukami v obrane, to znamená, musí o to viac robiť nohami. Poďme. Lať ho! Hop. Znova môžete určiť počet driblingov, prípadne nejakú odmenu pre obrancu, ak stratí loptu, alebo mu vypadne lopta, pretože aj pre neho to je tréning v hornej časti tela. Dobre, super. No, poďme cvičiť, zacvičiť, my máme toľko času. OK. Poďme všetci na elbow. Každý má loptu, dobre. Ideme strieľať. Tý otočka. Do jednej línie, poď. OK, ty loptu nemáš, ty ju môžeš dať mne. Dobre, poď. Ja, pardon. Poď, 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 OK. Otoď sa ku mne. Teraz ideme... Si v kolenách, ruky na kolenách, OK. Teraz ja idem vystreliť. Tvojou úlohou je zareagovať, ideálne zablokovať, mistrov, OK? Pomalý si, jo? Ale moja strela bola dosť ťažená práve tou jeho reakciou. Čiže čo teraz trénujeme je práve teda reakčný čas hráča na to, aby tú strelu útočníkovi sťažil a zároveň učíme útočníka premieňať veľmi náročné strely cez obrancov. Poďme pár strelov, ten, ktorý vystrel je nový obranca, poď. Bam! Ďalší. Ruky na kolenách. Matúš. Ruky na kolenách. Reaguj.
Bam! No, o tom to je. Dobre, super. Teraz to vieme samozrejme skombinovať, <coughs> pardon, skombinovať s tým prvým cvičením. Po teraz pojeme na trojku. Valerik obrana, náhodíš si loptu. A teraz. Skús vyhodnotiť, ktorý je Erikov ten weak point, ktorá je toho slabá stránka, teraz keď sa na neho potrieš. Kam by si mal za auto? Prečo? No, Presne tak, ne? Pretože on chce ťa naviesť do tejto strany. A čo sa tu pri tomto bude diať, keď on zautočí na tú jeho slabú stranu, je to, keby sa vydal doprava, pre Erika, ktorý ho tam chcel naviesť, je to jednoduchý slajd, o mnoho ľahšia úloha. Keď však zautočím na tú slabú stranu, to znamená na nohu, ktorá je vyššie, Erik sa najskôr musí otáčať, stráca tým čas a ja získam pol metra, pol sekundy, akokoľvek to chceme nazvať, keď som dostatočne rýchly a môj uhol nie je sem, ale naopak je čo najbližšie k jeho nohe. Znova jeho úloha je najskôr rotačná, až potom šprintujúca. Môžeš si vybrať možnosť, akú chceš. OK, poďme párkrát jedna na jedna. Hop. OK, defense, útok defense, poď. OK. Poď. Tak. Zakomponujte jab ako prvý. Dobre. Tak. Dobre, dvojice, jedna lopta. Poďme sem. S loptou na polovičku bez lopty, OK? Zatiaľ ne, potom sa nastavujem, OK? OK, na štart vyšprintujete. Ty bežíš dozadu, ty bežíš dopredu. Pas, pas, jedna na jedna. Full speed. OK? Prechodová hra jedna na jedna. Ready? Štart! Obidvaja musia veľmi rýchlo reagovať, aby hra bola účinná. OK, dobre, stačí, super. Poď. Pas, pas, sprint! Dobre, beriem, že máš pár tréningov za sebou, ale to nebol sprint, hej? To nebol sprint. Dobre, teraz pôjdeš do sprintu. Tu začíname loptou. Tu začína lopta. Ty bežíš tiež. Tak. To znamená práca nôh v defenzíve, práca nôh v ofenzíve. Reaguj. Ako sa on chce nastaviť? Vyhoď ho z rytmu. Dobre, super, poďme sem. Predposledná vec a už vidím, že máte toho dosť, to je OK. Dobre, poďme trojca, ja neviem, Erik, Matúš a Matúš, jedna trojca, poďte vy a vy chodte out, dobre. Lobtu mám ja, 
Erik má tu tam, má tu štvrdú sem. Hop. OK, uvoľníš sa. Jedna na jedna. Po zakončení Erik pás na Matuša. Matuš je už a obrana. OK, tak poďme, skúsime full speed. Jedna na jedna. Od znova, hop. Bol. Ale jedna na jedna. Erik, doskok, pas, Matuš. Čiže prechod, útok, obrana. Jo. Pas, Erik, defense. Dve, tri minúty. Anaerobná, vytrvalostná záležitosť, perfektná, OK. A na záver, ja toto veľmi rád dávam svojim hráčom. O, poďte všetci pod kôž. Armian, ty ostan tu. Každý mal optu, dobre? A ja? Ty nie. OK, last second shot. No. Dám napríklad limit 2 minúty. Moji hráči nemajú inú možnosť len vystreliť, jo. Moment zápasu 3, 2, 1. Pas, sprint, jump. A tvoja úloha je vystreliť a skúsiť premeniť. Jo? Čiže skúsime, aký ste šikovní, dáme si jednu minútu, nakoľko si trúfate daných. Nakoľko si trúfame daných za jednu minútu? 10. 10? OK. Po bloku nový strelec, jo? Poď! No, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, vyskoč. On nemôže nič iné urobiť, len zistreliť. Vyskočte. Tak. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, tak. OK. 3, 2, 1, tak. Tak! Oh! Dobre páni, bravo. Super, myslím, že si zaslúža potles, boli celkom super. A na záver, pre mňa sa táto veta stala takou mantrou od, možno niektorí poznáte, izraelskú trenerskú legendu Arika Šiveka. Zabúdajme na taktiku, keď nepracujeme na technike. No, môžeme vymýšľať dokonalé systémy, ako hráči majú hrať. Pýtajme sa sami seba, sú pripravení na to, aby to zvládli? A to je naša úloha. Niekto nejaké otázky, prosím vás? Ďakujem vám pekne ešte raz. Myslím, že teraz mám prestávku. Coaches, uh, we again. So now, next topic uh, is going to be how to develop point guard. Uh, probably two most sensitive positions in the basketball are one and five. So you can replace two and three, three and four, but if you have not good point guard, if you have not position five, out of these modern tendencies, without five, you cannot play basketball, so you cannot be good team. So, uh, of course, it takes more time to create good position five as well as good position one, but we should start from the beginning, from under 12, to make some specific stuff for a point guard. Which problems we are going to face when, uh, when we are thinking about point guard, let's say in under 14, under 16. First of all, I think that uh, in European basketball there is an overuse of pick and roll. Too much pick and roll, so players cannot play one-on-one, -on -one, as we discussed before. So first of all, they should learn how to play one-on-one. -on -one. 
because probably you are successful in youth program with pick and roll, but not because you are good offensively, because defenses are not so good in under 16, under 18 in pick, pick and roll defenses as they are in senior level. So uh, then uh, I think that one of the main problems which is related to us as a coaches is uh, uh, inconsistent teaching methodology. So we are not going to teach them step by step what they need to know, because if our players have not in their, their dribble repertoire six, seven kind of dribbles, how they can play pick and roll, how they can be successful in one one Then passing. If you are watching uh, top level basketball players on position one, most of them are with minimum five, six, extremely good execution of some passing techniques. So, in my opinion, most important passing technique for uh, point guards is of the dribble pass. Can be pocket pass or hook pass, pass of the dribble in drive and kick game. That's why I believe that we should start to teach kids from under 12, even in early age. Why not in under 10? If they start playing basketball at age of six, don't tell me that after three or four years of playing basketball, they, we cannot teach them to make pass on the dribble. And this is pass which is absolutely necessary pass to play basketball on position one, because we don't need to catch the ball and pass ball again. Then, of course, uh, nobody become good point guard with, on team practices. We should wake up early, we should stay in the gym more, because to become good point guard, you should work more. So this is clear. So here, more is better especially for, for point guards, because if you're dribbling more, if you're shooting more, if you're passing more, you will become a better player. Can you see well or they should put a little bit down, huh? You can see well or better? Can you just move a little bit down? It's okay now? I don't know if it's better now. And of course, I don't know how it's in your country, but in Serbia we are facing big problem because of market rules, because we have a lot of good kids, point guard, already moving away from the country. So believe me, last time when I was coach of Serbian under-16 national team, when I make first list of 24 players, 14 players already played outside. So you cannot develop them well. They are playing in Italy, in Spain, with full respect of their countries. They cannot develop themselves as they should do at home because over there they are playing with two Lithuanians, two Africans, two this, they will have not minutes. Point guard, like all young players, but especially point guard, they need to have excellent practice and minutes on the floor. So better to play 25, 30 minutes in some team than be on the bench in, in best team, especially for developing games. So that's why, of course, I think that we should think about it. And com consist consistency on the practice, coaches. As I said before, we should repeat, repeat, because like in Latin language, they are saying repetitio et maes madre of stu studiorum. So repetition is madre, matter of study. So we should repeat, repeat, repeat all the time. By repeating same stuff, we are going to be confident. We become to be confident. Because if you are repeating million times some dribble, you will believe in that dribble. You will choose that dribble in the tough moment of the game. So this is, which is for point guard, very important. And then we are arriving on the point of individual selection, individual tactic, sorry, individual tactic, which is how and when to use some specific move. In previous session, I say to you one part of individual tactic. For example, when you receive frontal passes to make jump stop when you receive passes after some moves to contact stop. This is individual tactic of stopping. Next example of individual tactic is, for example, simple stuff, how to read situation. Defender is away from you, you are using shot fake because you want him to get closer, to beat him. Defender is close to you, of course I cannot use shot fake if defender here, I'm using jump step or drive fake in order to make separation. So this is, again, again individual tactic. Then individual tactic of dribble. Defender is far away, I can use any kind of dribble, but I'm quicker if I'm doing inside out or crossover. If defender is close to me, I cannot use crossover, I will use dribble between the back, between the legs or behind the back. Defender is so close to me, spin dribble. Then position on the court. 
especially for point guards. I don't want to use spin dribble here because we have sideline and middle line two defenders. So here is not good place, especially when you are crossing middle line to use spin dribble here. This is perfect position for trap. Corners are not good to use spin dribble. So when you are working with point guards, don't put cons on the right position because like this you will create bad habits. So let's try to do now to show a lot of drills and through the drills I will show you something. Let's go guys, six players, everybody with ball, let's go here, dribble. We are starting with dribble because point guards must have a lot of here. They must have a lot of uh, different dribbles, so we will start like this. This is also always conditioning, so you will start here, who is first? Who is first? Okay, B, don't shame. If you want to be going point guard, you don't need to shame. Okay, first corridor is black corridor, okay, outside of the court. You are going to dribble on the level of the free throw line. Just dribble, dribble, dribble. Here, two dribbles stop, then half court, then free throw line, then corner. Okay, just start and go. This is for dribble. When you finish this, then you are coming on the next corridor, which is this one. Yellow, 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 red, red, zigzag dribble. Okay, this corridor here, and you score here. Do you understand? Yeah. So then, when you pick up ball here, you are going in the middle corridor. Here we will have two, two changes. Let's start at the beginning, double crossover. So we arrive here, crossover, 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 and score. Okay, and on the last corridor here, when you score over there, you will make hesitation dribble, which is probably one of the most important. Give me one ball, please. So you finish over there with score. Now you're going to touch this cone here. Okay, one dribble hesitation, one dribble open, change, and you go to the same stuff here. Okay, you dribble here, first dribble hesitation, second open, cross, and same over there. So you have four corridors. As soon as he arrives on the half court, next player starts. Okay, teaching points, give me ball for dribble, because we want point guard to have good dribble skills. So we don't want them to dribble always flexing palm. So we want to extend elbow. This is big difference. Using just palm or extending elbow. So teaching poise is to extend elbow. Try to extend elbow every time. Low dribble, try to be on the lead level, not here. Because if ball is here, bam, bam, two minutes. Let's go. Sorry, bad pass. I'm, when he arrives on the half court, next player starts. Come on. Keep head up. Two dribbles on the, two dribbles on the place. I'm on. Next. Next. Let's go. Zigzag. So you can decide. Come on. Go on. Go on. Hop. Bravo. Go on. Dribble. Head up. So, teaching points here also. Every time when they are making change, I want to see them to make protection with opposite hand. So dribble here, hop, immediately I'm pushing opponent's opposite hand to protect the ball. Let's go, head up, head up. When you are going to dribble back, head up, head up, head up, head up, let's go. Come on, let's go, hop, head up, head up, look in front, look in front, try to score. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on guys, head up when you are going to dribble back. So we should explain to them, for example, this last corridor, last dribble. Okay, this is hesitation dribble when we need it. Defenders are coming to trap me, they are coming to me. I'm going to dribble back and to pass ball. Or I want to play some set offense here, whatever. Fist, some fist, defender is putting pressure on me, come here. Try to put pressure on me. So I want to make separation, then I'm calling offense, then I'm playing something. So we should explain. Let's do same stuff, guys. But now every dribble here on the second corridor is different. When you're going to dribble zigzag, one crossover, one between the legs, one behind the back. And every time when you're going to make drive, I want to see you to make or pass fake drive or ball around the body. I'm, let's go one more lap like this. Head up, head up, head up, all the time, head up. Two dribbles, let's go. Start, stop, start, start, stop, start. We need this. 
change, every change different. Hop. Now, bravo, change, change, go on, protect, protect ball, protect ball with your hands. Come on, protect ball, protect ball. Hop, opposite hand, opposite hand here. Let's go. Opposite hand, hop, opposite hand, bravo, good, no problem. Hop, opposite hand, protect ball, protect. Let's go, let's go. Again, go on, go on. Of course, you can change dribble techniques. Crossover between the legs, behind the back, crossover. So you can keep them in this drill 30 minutes. If you want to work on aerobic endurance, 30 minutes they can play like this, why not? Specific dribble techniques for point guard. Look in front, look in front, look in front. In order to keep head up, you as a coach, you should stay and show them numbers, okay? Every time when you're going to see me, you must tell me numbers. I will show you numbers because I want you to keep head up. Let's go one more lap like this. So you are going and they should keep head up showing numbers all the time. Come on, change every time, every time do something different. Let's go, change direction, change direction. Come on, let's go, let's go. Go on guys, go on. So like this, they should keep head up every time when dribble. Go on, go on, come on guys, let's go. So dribble must be specific. When we are working with point guard, dribble must be specific. Let's move everybody on the half court. Please clean, guys, clean all cones except four cones here. Just clean, put away. Let's go. As you can see, they cannot breathe well because it's also difficult drill physically. If they are running 10, 12 minutes, it's not easy for them. I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Come on, come on. Let it over there. I need those four. One, two, and one, two over there. Nothing else. Put on the side other cones. One here, one here. Let's go now. You can use this drill also on the full court, but I will save them a little bit. Same position here, okay. What we are going to do now, so out of general dribbles, basic of crossover between the legs, behind the back, spin dribble, I like to teach point guard something special, you know, something different because they, they need something. So now let's do like this, give me a ball. When you're going to dribble, so we will do this direction and then opposite side, okay. Every time when you arrive to the cone, stop, like this, hop, and then push ball in front. If you, if, you can, if you remember Steve Nash before, now, for example, Luka Doncic is doing this every time on the pick and roll. Hop, he's waiting, he's seeing reaction, and then he's reacting. Okay, so two steps. Hop, 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 okay, lay up. On the lay up now, I want to see you this half and go back. You move back and you do same stuff on the left side. Let's go, one by one. Hop, head up, head, stop, 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 stop. Mistake, give me a ball. What he did? This, this, no, I don't want this. I don't want hand here. I want hand here, here, behind the ball, behind the ball, not under the ball. Okay, for point guard, so this is teaching point. Hop, not here, not like this. Okay, do it again. Come on, guys, hop, look at basket, too much dribbles, hop. Just one dribble after. Let's, no, no, dribble here, dribble here, and then on the left. Just go back here, just go back here, and now left side. You can do also full court. So you can put three, four cones here. They can run full court, one direction, and circle move all the time. I'm, hop, go, one more lap, one more lap. Look at basket, look at basket every time. Always look at basket. I need two guys to help. So one of you corner, one of you here. Let's go. 
Look at basket. Look in front. Look in front. Okay, stop. Stop. This group here, point guard, peripheral vision. You will show numbers. You will show two. Here, you are watching basket, but you must see him. From this side, you are watching basket, but you must see him. Say one, two, three, four, just change numbers. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Don't look at him. Hey, change numbers. Change ball every time, all the time, all the time, all the time. So this group, look over there because we must teach players to see the floor. Not in front, here. They must see here, shooter on help side. From under 12, we should start teaching them. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Try to think about technique. Okay. Stop, stop. Let's do same stuff, but on the drive, let's make Euro step, you know? Zigzag Euro step on finishing. Let's go. Same stuff. Read them. Coach, so how we finish into the middle? Yes. In the middle. You finish in the middle. Guys, try to score. You are missing too much layups. Try to score. You are finishing in the middle. Zigzag. Let's go, let's go. So, specific point guard finishing. Okay, stop now. Now, are you watching NBA? Okay, so now, after this last dribble, I want you to put ball down and keep it from down and regular layup. Harden is doing this. Do you know what I'm talking about? Let's try. I'm show me. Hop. Yes. Keep ball high, keep ball low, and then up. Keep ball low, and then up. Let's go, let's go. Change. Keep ball, stay low, and then go up. Hop. Let's go. So specific stuff for point guards. Okay, stop. Okay, now we are adding something more. So on the first cone, we are doing this dribble, on the second cone, this, and then crossover. And go in the middle. Now, now let's finish with one step finishing. Okay, no regular layup. So you finish here, hop, leg here, crossover, and then you are finished with one step. Okay? Not like me, but you should do better, I'm joking. Okay, make distance because you are going in the middle. So you are going to make crossover, then one dribble, boom, one step layup. Let's go one by one. Once you, once you. Hop, hand, one, yes. One, left, 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 left hand this side. Right this side, left hand from left. One, bravo, good. Don't do it together. Left one, one, left. Okay, stop, stop. Again, another teaching point, guys. Dribble is low. When you finish last dribble is low, but after dribble, don't keep ball here. After dribble, ball high, because from this position you are closer to the basket. Okay, low dribble, high position, shoulder, and then go. Okay, let's go. Right, come on, hop, boom, go. No, one step lay up, one step lay up. Hop, one step lay up. Stop, stop. Guys, you forget everything, you know. Now when I'm adding something, they're forgetting first. Here. I want to see this. Hop, hop, and then cross over, and then one dribble, LA up. Don't forget first two changes. So we are adding complexity. One information, two information, second, three. You can sit, you don't need you. Thank you, guys. I'm, let's go, show me. Again, stop and go. Stop, stop, go back. Did you see basket? Bench, no bench, they are kids, but we should stop. Come on, we cannot be so serious. Yes, hop, hop, one dribble more, so one dribble too much. Hop, let's go, one step lay up. No, left hand, one left, one right, one right, jump. Of course, you can change positions on the cone, they can do on the side, but I'm not now working on this. Okay, it's enough. Another specific, specific dribble for point guards. Give me a ball. Crossover with fake, with the jump, uh, jump step fake. So let's try to do everybody from left hand. 
I want to show you this. This is situation in transition. So you are arriving, defender is waiting for you. So distance between offensive player and defender. Let's do like this, guys. So you are coming here, you are making crossover, but your left leg is here. Okay? Look, crossover here, and you go on the right side, regular layout. Just middle here. Just from the middle, right side. Do it slowly at the beginning. So I want to see this. Cross, diagonal step, and move opposite direction. So you are shaking defender, moving defender, as coach said before, out of balance. I'm moving him on the left, and I'm going on the right. Let's try to do this. Come on. Yes, bravo. Very good. After dribble, after change, just one dribble. You don't need two, guys. Hop, change. After change, just one. One. Not two. One. Hop. Let's go. Let's go. Try to do left, right. Just one. Stop. 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 Point guards. They are short. They are coming over there to play against big. More dribbles, more change, more chance for defense to stop. After this change, only one dribble. And let's try to make something. Pass, fake, do something, you know. I'm, let's go. Let's go. Hop, just one. Bravo. To the basket. To the basket. Bravo. Very good. Hop. Not here. In front. Diagonally, they should attack. Here. Not here. Ball on the side. This is teaching point. Let's go, guys. Hop. Hop. Bravo. Good. Hop. Hands. Good. Let's go. Next. Go on. Go on. Go on. Everything same. Do this and then crossover. Hop. But crossover is in front. So you come here. You do this and then here crossover and go opposite side. Yes. Let's try to do. So we are going to combine. Let's go. Bravo. Very good. Super. Super. Let's go. Hop. Hop. Leg. Bravo. So we are shaking twice. Defender. Left, right. Lateral. Another stuff which is important. Guys, try to move your shoulders. Don't be like a robot here. Face it. Try to dance. Try to relax your shoulders here. Relax your shoulders. Play basketball. Let's go. Hop. Yes. Shoulders. Shoulders. Use shoulders move. Shoulders move. No problem. Go on. Go on. Shoulders move. Let's go. Hop. Go on. Go on. One more time. One more time. Hop. Sorry. Go on. Hop. Go on. Bravo. Hop. Bravo. So as you can see, they are doing better. After five minutes, they are doing better. Think if you are working six months. So you just must insist on regular stuff. Let's go, guys. Let's go, bravo. Go. Go, go, go. Okay, let's try to do something else now. We are doing same stuff. So you are making change. Give me ball. You are making change here and then hesitation and then go direct step. Okay? So after this change, stop for the moment and same and try to finish same leg, same foot. Okay, not this layup, try to finish like this. Let's go, slowly. Hop. See the basket, see the basket after stopping. Listen, stop. When you are coming here to make this fake, you should see floor. Now it's moment to see shooter over there to make this pass. Okay, so when you are stopping here, you must open court. Okay, look at basket on the hesitation. Okay, let's go. Hop, hop, bravo. This is good. Hop, stop and go. Hop, stop and go. Come on, go on. Stop and go. Let's go. Bravo. Do it. Hop, I'm coming. You beat me. Let's go. Hop, stop me. I go. Hop. This player always has problem with this move. Here, here, not here. Very important, coaches. This is five turnovers every game with regular referees. So when you are stopping, you must put hand behind the ball, not under the ball. Very important teaching point. Okay. Let's try to do next. Of course, coaches, you don't need to do everything from central position. You can move on the side. I'm just showing we have not 
time to do, but one practice you will do from this, one practice from here, one practice from over there, but I like to teach point guards to be on central corridor. This is their working place, not corners. We don't want corners for point guards. Okay, let's try to do this now. So called short long change. Uh -huh. So you are coming here, make dribble between the legs and slide. Okay, so look, not between the legs and go, between the legs and slide and then go. Okay, so hop on the slide and then go. Try to do slowly. Let's go. Hop, yes, but see basket, see basket, hop, bravo, see basket and don't rotate ball. Not here, here. Hop, short long, try to slide, slide, slide between the legs, short long and then go. Let's go. Hop, stop, go back, go back, go back, stop, stop, stop. See the floor. You should see Ivan over there. Okay, so when making this change, slide and see the floor and then change rhythm. See her over there. I'm hop, bravo. This is something that we need. Let's go. Same finishing. Hop, same finish. Bravo. Hop, same finish. Bravo. Good. Hop, go. Stop, 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 stop. Everything same, but we are doing different finishing now. Let's try to make so called Rondo move. You know Red, Rondo, NBA player? He's not playing anymore, or he's playing, I don't know. So, you are jumping here, fake here, go back, and shoot here under the basket. Okay? Do you know that move? Try to do it slowly. Same stuff here, short, long, attack, rondo. Let's go. Hop, fake hop, pivot, pivot, bravo, very good. Super, big guys under the basket, ball up, ball up. Hop, pivot, bravo, super, very good. Try to protect ball with hop, protect ball with opposite hand. Fake, I'm coming here, protect. I'm hop, pivot, bravo, super. Let's go, again. Come on, hop. See the basket, guys, they must see the floor after change. Let's go, fake, go, very good. Ball up, ball up, ball up, ball up, up, fake, go. Stay low and wide when pivoting. This guy is doing well. Stay low and wide, guys. This is contact. They will push you. If you are not low, you will be out of balance. Come on. Wait, wait. Let's make now short long. Short long dribble and then another between the legs and drive regular basket. So short long. Hop, boom, bravo, I'm trying to do. So you are sliding, changing, and boom, quick step. So from this position, you are making quick step here, and you go, okay? Short, long, left leg in front, then change and go. Finish regular, finish regular layup. So we show them finish regular layup. Let's try to, with shooting now, okay? Let's try to do a pull-up jumper. So you do the same, hop. Crossover between the legs, one dribble, one, two pull up jumper. Ah, let's go. Short, long, cross, one, two. Bravo. Vertical jump, vertical jump, one dribble after. Hop, cross, one more. Bravo. This is good. Let's go. Hop. I want to see you one, two. Stop. Two contact stop. Two contact stop. Short, long, hop. Bravo. Let's go. Hop. Short. Short, long, go. Hop, hop, go. Come on. They should stay low. And this is key point. After short, long, footwork. To change from this position, quick step to change. Left, right, stop. Hop, stay lower, stay lower, stay lower. Go on. Go on. Hop, go on. Okay, okay, you can do this. Show me now, everything same. So you are doing short, long, but now crossover, crossover, step back, and then drive. Can I show? So, you are making slowly. Short, long, crossover, step back, and then drive. Slowly. I'm. Short, long, cross, hop. Straight to the basket, don't make curl move. Hop. Cross, stop, go. Come on, come on, let's go. 
change rhythm, forwards, backwards, forwards. Let's go guys, come on, hop, bravo, this is good. Just stay lower, hop. When you make, when you make this crossover, open. See basket, see basket every time. Crossover, see basket and change. Hop, cross, hop, go, bravo, not bad. See basket, bravo, correct. Very good, let's go. Do it, do it, keep doing, keep doing. Try to score, change rhythm, he should stay in lower positions, basket. See the floor, see the floor every time, hesitation, head up. Okay. Of course, coaches, you're not going to do all those drills in one practice. You can choose two, three maximum, repeat, repeat, repeat. Two weeks, just one technique. Next two weeks, another technique. Don't change too much because you must be sure that they are doing well. If most of your players are doing well, you are going on the next level of video game, so next drill. I'm just showing like on the track in the factory, but in regular practice you don't need to do all those stuff. Another specific point guard move, let's make any kind of, any kind of change here with left hand, from left, from left. Okay, stop. Now, this is situation we are teaching them. Let's say that he plays some 101 or pick and roll and big guy is here play defense. So I change something and you are guarding me. Now we are teaching guards to move laterally defender. So now you are doing this. One, two, three and from here drive and now let me go and now I want you to finish reverse layup right hand, right penetration. Okay? Change rhythm over there. One, two, three, hop, boom, two dribbles, reverse layup. Right layup, right hand. Let's go. Stop, stop, stop. Every time when you are doing lateral move, you must see the floor. You must see, oh, again, we can put some coach here to show numbers. They must see second help. Bad players are seeing first help. Great players, second or third help. Usually second help is player who is here. So let's see that we have some big guy here shooter over there. On this drive, big guy defender is coming and shooter defender is coming here. So he must see here and here. This is key point for point guards. They must see corner and wing on opposite side. I'm, let's go. See basket, see basket, see basket, see basket, see basket, hop, go. One, two, reverse. No, I say right, bravo. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Change rhythm, hop. One, two, reverse, right. Try to protect ball, guys. Protect ball. This guy, all the time, ball here. Protect ball. Protect ball. Ball here, guys. Protect ball. Bravo. Go under. Hop. Go on. Go on. Hop. No. Why ball here? Sorry, I kill you, but I must. Here. Opposite shoulder. Opposite shoulder. No. No. Why down? Low dribble, high position. Low dribble, high position. Let's go. Here, right shoulder. Protect from me. Yes. Okay, stop. Everything same, but we change way of finishing. Now we are doing same right layup, but you shoot with left hand. Let's go. Hop. Right layup, left hand. Let's try to do. Let's go. Ball here. Again, problem with this guy. Every pra all the practice he is with hand with ball here. Low dribble, high position. Very important. So last dribble, especially when you are creating advantage, is low. But then you should score. If you are scoring from here, two seconds. From here, one. So try to put ball up. Let's go, guys. Let's go. See the basket. See the floor. Hop, change, go. Attack, sorry. 
give me that coin, give me coin. Okay, stop now. We are doing same, but here is the defender who is coming to help, be your defender. So let's say now I did here. Now when you are coming to me, I want to make this fake and go zigzag here. So practically regular layup, but with one more inside out dribble in front of defense, okay? Show me. I will come to help, you should do. Let's go, everything same over there. Hop, 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 attack me. Yes, move me laterally, you should shake me. Let's go, here, shoulders, shoulders. Relax, head up, head up, head up. Attack me, attack me, hop, bravo. Attack, 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 attack me, fake more, yes. Move me, go, 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 attack, high position, high position of the ball, move me, hop, move me more, more, yes, this is good, so I want to see this, hop, hop, zigzag step, let's go, let's go, go, hop, move, fake, go, go on, go on, go on, when you arrive, stop, give me the ball, let's go, be you defender over there. Be you big guy. Next, finishing. Let's do same stuff here. He's a big guy coming here. Now I'm making change between the legs and one step and lay up. Okay? So just change and one step and go. Let's go. In front of yellow cone. Slide, slide, slide. See the floor. Hop, one, two. No. Left lay up. Hop, one, two. No. Just one dribble and one more step. No. Go on. One. Show me again. Go. One. Yes. I want this. So this is situation. Okay. Between the legs. Between the legs and go. Come on, guys. One dribble. Hop. No. Lift your. Hop. Yes. Bravo. I want to see this. Hop. One. Go. Let's go. Hop. As you can see, problem is because they are in high position. They must be low. They must open legs to put ball in front. If they are staying like this, no way to do this. So you are low, here, one, two, and go. Let's go, let's go again. One more time, one more time. Hop, stop. Another one, you know who is Mr. Steph Curry? He is doing this all the time, but for three points, you will do here. So now you attack here. Let's make dribble between the legs, but jump on this side. Okay? So dribble here and jump here and lay up over there. Show me. Yes, but get closer to the basket. Get closer to the basket. Bravo. So you are coming with ball here, protecting ball here and jumping to score. Of course, also other positions can do. But point guards must have. He must score under big guys to make different finishing options. Let's go. Hop and go. Bravo. Go on. Go on. Go on. Hop. Change. Dribble and jump. Bravo. I need you again. Huh? One of you. One of you in the corner. Okay. One of you on the free on the free throw line extension opposite side, left side. Okay. Left side. Okay, we are yes. showing numbers yes. again. No, no, I will tell you what to do. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. It's enough. Next situation. I like very much also this dribble. This is teaching for stay a little bit up. Rim level. Some coaches are saying corner and players like to be here. Here you cannot do anything, correct? Yeah. You cannot drive, so I, when I'm saying corner, I prefer rim level. So try to be here for this drill, because you are coach now, go inside. Okay, you go here. Okay, you are here. What we are going to do now? Another hesitation dribble over there. Give me a ball. Play defense on me over there. So let's make some change here. We are arriving here. Okay, attack me. So. He is here, never attack me like this, you are dead like this. So I will do now what? Look, I will attack him with one dribble here and go back. And then one of you will raise hands 
show me hand for example you so you are doing this attacking here and you should see pass if you pass to him you make full sprint to run around the, your player here okay you run here you will pass to me three point shot okay if you pass to him if he raise hand you will go to run around him and you will shoot from here okay you decide okay you decide do you understand so we want to see this attack go back pass one hand don't catch ball of the dribble pass from under 14 we can start working on this pass in mini basket no because it's big distance but under 14 they can make six seven ten meters pass let's try to do let's go let's go stop 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 you are not sprinting i know that probably you are tired but i cannot accept that you are tired because you are 15 so moving like this you cannot beat anybody okay after pass like somebody kick you in s you should sprint around the arc full speed and three point shots think that this is last last second shot okay after pass guys full speed sprint catch boom shot let's go don't don't show hands so so early you show him target hand let's go let's go wait 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 show now now hop okay sprint here no no pass no stop 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 pass down you run here pass up you run under decision making always opposite side let's go do it again in the moment guys in the moment when he's making this dribble then you raise hand don't arm you're not before let's go hop shake 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 attack hop go pass now under let's go pass okay show target hand when you go out of screen guys if you are coming to receive ball here show target hand here if you come from this side if you come from this side i want to see target hand here here and then left right as we said curl move to contact stop let's go attack hop pass here let's go target hand left right left okay let's go Bravo. hop attack go move under go on come on go on pass of the dribble pass let's go not bad let's go of course you are starting with strong hands after six months probably also weak hand pass it's not easy but it's possible if you are working it's possible i'm always saying that gypsies are teaching bears to dance on the fire don't tell me that we cannot teach kids to pass ball so they can we should work let's go let's go move on move on guys okay stop now stop now sorry second option everything same come here play defense on me give me ball but now let's say that you are here that you will do in front of con before i attack with diagonal step now i will do with direct hop move back and same stuff so right go back see the floor and pass okay not diagonal direct step boom go back pass and everything same let's go hop go bravo very good show me target hand target hand bravo right left shoot the ball stay low when receiving the ball he was high and low when you arrive out of screen you should stay low triple threat position stay low sit down try to sit down when receiving the ball don't receive and go down try to receive in low position and just jump up all right let's go show me target hand right left bravo let's go super not bad hop go bravo go on full speed guys go on go on bravo okay finish finish okay now we will put two coaches guys you stay one in the corner one here on the top your coaches 
now situation which is for under 16 and over. Situation when defense is switching. We should teach players what to do. Let's say that play defense on me. Play uh, B screener. Set screen, play defense on him. So, so let's say that he set screen here and they switch, switch, and here is a big guy. You are big. How to attack? How to attack uh, mismatch here on perimeter? One way is to make so-called boomerang pass. So what is boomerang pass? In this moment, when he makes change, one of you if, is, is going to raise hand. If you raise hand here, okay, usually when you pass the ball, big guy is dropping down, I'm going back, then pass me back, and then I'm attacking and shooting the ball. So try to pass to them. Let's say that he raise hand, pass here, pass me back, and then make some dribble and pull up jumper. Okay? Just one on zero. You decide who will raise hand. Yes, you can. So you or him, you decide who will. So you receive, when he move back, pass back, so-called boomerang, you know, coming back to you. Pass, pass back. When you pass ball, move a couple of steps back, and then when he pass to you, sprint and try to break spine of big guy. Do you understand? Do you understand? Go. Make change, make change here in front. I'm faster, faster, this is slow. Too slow, too slow. Try to make this dribble over there. Let's do like this. Come here, make this change here, and now decide. Now pass, go a couple of steps. When he pass to you, move left, right, do whatever you want. I'm. Hop, pass, yes, attack, bravo, full speed, go fast. Go faster with pass, faster with pass, guys. I'm, let's go. Hop, pass, go. Sprint to the ball. Don't wait for ball. You should move and move immediately front, in front. Pass, move back, go back, sprint to the ball. Yes, not bad. Come on, make better pass, please. Let's go. Hop, go back, attack, attack. Yes, this is something like this. We should do like this. Let's go. Go back, hop, attack. Okay, move, go on, go on. Go on, go on, guys, come on. Go on. Pass to him, try to stay in low position. Here, coaches, we can put some help here. Here, we can put some guy, big guy who is coming here. So when they receive pass, you should read me. So now we can put some coach here or some player to rotate. Go on, go on. Okay, enough. It's enough. Thank you guys, you can sit. Now next situation, I don't know if you have some rule. That there is a rule in Slovakia about pick and roll. Is forbidden to play pick and roll in under 14 or no? Huh? Okay. So this is now situation pick and roll. Three different types of pick and roll. What to do with? Are you playing pick and roll or no? Yes. So you know something about it. Let's make like this. Let's move two players here, two players in the middle, and two players over there. So what you will do? You will attack here, pick and roll, give me a ball. So we are coming here, we are going under the screen. Here, defender is jumping, hedging. So you should make hesitation dribble, as we did before. Two dribbles here, pull up jumper, okay? But when you are making hesitation, you should see the floor. Then when you finish, we rotate like this. This group here, we play pick and roll, play defense on me, please. Let's see that here is a screen. So I make some change, he's going over the screen. He's coming on me here behind. I'm stopping and I'm going to make pull up from here. Okay, this is here. And third situation, defense is playing ice. So you just arrive, push side defense. You just arrive here and make double change here and pull up jumper from over there. When you finish here, we rotate like this. Everybody together. 
We want traffic on the floor. Let's go. Everybody together. Everybody together. Hop. Hop. See. Bravo. One, two. Bravo. So we can do everybody together. Nine players. Twelve players. No problem. We want traffic because point guard is not alone on the floor. They want perfect situation. Probably at home with mothers and fathers. On the floor, never. Come on. Let's go. Hop. Hesitation. Go. Come on. Attack. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Hop. Attack. I'm defender. Beat me and go back. I'm defender. I'm jumping here. Change rhythm. Let's go, guys. I'm always doing, uh, during those drills, coaches, always competition. Always competition. Who will score 10? Who will score 6 in the row? With all the groups. Who will score 3 in the row? So change all the time. Put pressure on them. We must see who is player for the clutch time. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Stop now. We are staying on the same position. So three new ways of pick and roll defense. Before, defense was here. Hedge and over. Now we are doing like this. Play your defense, make you jump. So now defense is late to jump here, jump. I'm splitting between and I'm shooting, okay? This is first. Here situation, come behind me. So this is screen, go behind. Go behind, you are here. I'm stopping here, here is a big man. Now I'm making snake move or cutoff move, inside out crossover shot, okay? And here you're going to make faking two, fake here and then go. So I switch change rhythm, double change, double change, hesitation and go for shot. Let's do everybody same stuff. Let's make two laps that coaches cannot see, can see. Let's go, let's go at the same time. Stop, snake and go. If you have more players, extend on opposite half court. So one group here, one group here, and they are running full court up and under to do drill. drill. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Hop. Try to keep him on the legs. Go on. So specific shooting. Go on. Go on. Uh, another stuff to add coaches if you are talking about practice at the beginning of the week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday when they are moving back we can put some small hardless here when they are coming back jump over or defensive slide or floor ladders whatever keep them active all the time they cannot play pocket billiard or come like this on the practice so all the time they must be engaged go on, go on all the staff coaches you can move away they, sh they can shoot for free so three point shot everything okay now uh, let's go i need just one of you just one of you who wants to do who will do you yes or no if you want you can be point guard okay what you will do uh, i will tell you which kind of defense I'm going to play on pick and roll. So you will come from over there, pass, go over there with ball, go over there with ball, go over there. Pass to me, okay? I will pass to you, come to attack me, and when I'm saying hedge, you are going to make hesitation, as you did before.
One, two, three. One, two, three. It's okay. One, two, three. It's not switch on. I, sh I should now, huh? This one. Hold it. Till it, uh, yeah. till the light comes on. But it's... Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you. Okay, coaches. Uh, sorry for to be a little bit late, but we were waiting over there. Uh, so now we... Can we make a little bit... One, two, three. It's better like this, huh? Okay, so uh, next topic is uh, how to connect uh, specific physical preparation and fundamental skills. So practice, uh, all of us, we are crying for more time on the practice. We always need more and more. That's why we should be creative to combine, <coughs> to combine some basketball skills with conditioning. So practically that means that especially in youth program, uh, we should make on-court conditioning. Of course, it will be great to have some SNC coach who will do some stuff, but usually, I don't know how it's here, but in Serbia we have not. So only in a couple of best clubs we have SNC coaches for, for youth program, probably Partizan, Red Star, Mega, couple of clubs. So in other clubs we should do alone. So it's same probably like here. How is the situation here? Same, huh? The same situation here with you, or you have conditioning coaches in youth? Do you have? Do you have SNC? No, you are alone, coach, so you are doing everything. So that's why we should think how to, what to do. Generally, if you are talking about specific conditioning in basketball, we should start from some points. Uh, of course, basketball is an aerobic sport. But especially in youth program, we should build up also aerobic endurance because aerobic endurance is foundation for anaerobic endurance and because Coaches, we should try to find a way to provide to them that kind of movement proficiency. Then next thing, explosive power. Explosive power, especially lo from lo lower legs, explosive power is something that we must work every day. So mm, practically uh, conditioning in basketball is very, very difficult. And at the beginning with kids, we should do everything with body weight. Then at age of 14, we, should, we can start with dumbbells, we can start with bars, we can start with some other stuff, but most of the time uh, we need to work with body weight, so with body weight we, we have so many drills. So now we will start to do some, you know, basketball practice, including some conditioning stuff, and of course, as before, I will, I will share with you ideas how to do and what to do this. Okay, at the beginning, let's say that we should warm up kids. Let's go, guys. Everybody, if you want to do, we need... If somebody of you is tired, I will need just one of you to pass ball to be coach. Who wants to be? Or we can change. Everybody wants to be coach. Come on, guys. No players anymore. Just referees and managers. No players anymore here. Okay, I need just one. Big guy. No, you know. Go back to play. Come on. Come you. Stay over there. Free throw line extension. Okay, let's start from here. Okay? Okay, let's start from here. Let's go one by one. Stay on the free throw line, extension, sideline. Simple stuff. I'm doing this 10, 15, 20 minutes at the beginning of the practice, basketball, and continuous work on an aerob aerobic endurance. So let's do like this. You are going to dribble to this cone, so-called parapet drill. 
then you arrive here, then cross over, under, over, under, over, under. Yes, but be in defense stance. Okay. Be in defense stance, then sprint over there, go to the next. Then again cross over, same. Okay, and you finish over there. When you make layak over there, zigzag here, dribble, pass to him, give and go, front door cut. Okay, when he arrive on the second cone, you start. Don't sleep. Time, let's go. Go, go next, go next, go next. So, even with uh, 16, 18 players, they can keep intensity because everybody are working. Let's go, same stuff, go for score over there, lay up, then pass ball to them just like coach. Come on, zigzag dribble, zigzag dribble. Let's go, hop, go over there, change, change, every, every dribble change, pass to him, give me five, give me five here, hop, go, change, go. Let's go, pass, pass, front door cut, go there and score. And keep doing. So they are going to dribble, lateral moves, come to me. Pass to him, give me five, give me five here, give me five here. Pass, give me five, give me five, give me five, change direction, pass. Come to me, hop, yes, like this, bravo. Let's go, pass, go over there. Quickly, pass and go to me, touch me and go. Pass, touch me and go. Touch me here, I want we cut. We cut, here, here, let's go. We cut, here, here, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Of course, you can change way of finishing, you can change different techniques of the dribble, now I will talk more about conditioning, so I'm not going to stop too much for technical stuff. Let's go. No, stop, 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 stop. Come on, let's go. After six, seven minutes, we are going to change. Come on, go quickly, go quickly, hop. So everybody are working, 12 players, touch me and go. Pass, give me five, change and go. Go on. Okay, now we are staying on the same drill, but here, so you are going to dribble, and here now be in defensive stance. Ball on the chest, defensive stance. Okay, stop. Over there, now you are not changing direction in front of cone. Go for snake move. Okay, over there, snake move around then pass to him and now we are doing backdoor cut so now pass to him give me five here and go for backdoor do you understand yes no so here you are not going to make in front you are dribbling like this around okay pass to him backdoor cut let's go let's go so now lateral move immediately sprint combination starting stopping lateral movement let's go even if you have more players, no problem to run everybody. Let's go. Come on, snake around. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You don't need to wait. Go immediately, go immediately. Come on. No, no, in front. Opposite. Yes, like this. Pass to him, give me five. Back door, back door cut. Pass to him, back door cut here. Let's go. Go faster. Give me five, go back door. Go for back door. Try to make left hand pass. Left hand pass. Left hand pass to coach. Left hand pass. Let's go. Go in front. Pass to him. Give me five. Go on. Go on. Go on. Pass. Back door cut. Change direction here. Change direction here. So coaches, typical mistake here. Everybody are stopping with two legs. Stop. 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 When you pass ball here, when you want to make change, you cannot jump like this and then go. So when you pass ball, give me ball. So you are passing ball, you are going on one leg and then change. You don't need to jump like bear like this and go. Go back you, show me. In front of me. So pass, one leg left to right, left to right. No, back door. Back door, hey. You touch me here and go over there. Left leg here, one, two, yes, let's go. Keep doing, keep doing. One, two, left, left, right. So left, right, we should change, not poop, poop. 
Aibo, come on. Go faster. Pass, left, hop. Yes, bravo. Show me right hand. Show tar target hand. Show target hand over there. Let's go. Hop. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go on, go on, go on. Aibo, let's go. So usually I'm doing this 15 to 20 minutes. So with a couple of changes, we don't need to stop. Just with one sentence, you are changing dribble, technique, whatever you want. So after this, after this, they are ready. After 10, 15 minutes, they are ready for dynamic mobility drills. Let me show you just a couple of those drills. Okay, guys, everybody without the ball here. Put balls somewhere under the basket, under the basket. This is also important. After every drill, you should tell them where to put balls. Because if you say without balls, one player will put ball here, another one here, another one here. So it's take time, 10 minutes after that to collect. Go on the sideline, everybody. I need who? I need two fastest player in the team. Who is fastest? Fastest in the team? Okay. Who? You and him. Collect all cons. I'm a collect all cons. You are fast. We should use you. Let's go. Let's go quickly, guys. Collect cons and put out. Let's go. We need two quick guys. If you are quick, we should use you. Come on. Just put over there everything on one position over there. Come on. Okay, some dynamic mobility drills. Simple. Okay, let's start with hip. We have problem with hip because hip is biggest joint in our body and we need hip for everything. Okay, let's try everybody. Go here. Just you walk every step, put your, your knees to the, the shoulder. Let's go. Every step, don't skip. Every. Every step. Every step. Yes. So here immediately, coaches, we can see who of players has problem with lower back, with gluteal part, and with hamstrings. Players who are finishing here, they are very bad in this. They will do usually up and under, but we have no time. Now next drill. Guys, we are doing same, but you are going up, open, close, and down. Hop, side, go back, and go. Come on, every step. Let's go. Hop, hop, be stable. Be stable on the lower leg. So we don't want to make tango italiano here. This is stability, ankle stability, knee stability, and hip mobility. So three things we are working here. Let's go. Move up, move up, more up, more up. Let's go, every step, don't skip, every step, now on the left, yes, okay, so we are preparing them for, for basketball practice. Why we are doing dynamic mobility drills? Because basketball is dynamic sport. We cannot prepare them with static stretching for dynamic activities during the practice. Okay, let's go now, guys. Hands on the level of the shoulders, you are going right leg, left hand. Let's go. Like this, go. Here also you can see problem with hamstring, this guy. He cannot extend knees, that means that here is a problem. Hamstring and lower back. So that means before practice come with him, elastic gums, some drills. Not to say this is problem, we should find solutions. Okay, now we are doing lunges, regular lunge, hop and go down. Low, low position of the, of the back knee. Let's go. High knee, low, yes. Come on, let's go. Every step, every step. Don't skip steps. Here also we are thinking about shooting because we don't want to shoot like this. So here we need to put on the right position legs, foot here, not here, to control. Also here we are checking knee stability. Some players are doing like this, shaking knee correct and think about it okay guys next everything same but when you are in down position make rotation left right you must see me here go both sides you must see me let's go one two on both sides so this is also about transversal because we have in sport we have three planes sagittal plane frontal backwards Frontal paint, left, right, and transversal plane, rotation. So we should do drills in all three planes. Try to be stable. If you are not doing those drills, this is also physical preparation. 
but if you're doing every day, that's, that should be routine. You know, how to prepare hamstring and everything for the practice. Okay, let's try to do, uh, go in the push-up position, push-up position. Okay, again for hamstring, go down, try to go slowly with your legs in front, slowly. Yes, like this, like this. Go till the end and then go over. So just flex, can you go more, 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 more? Yes, bravo. We need to extend knees. This is also for hamstring and lower back. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, don't give up, don't give up. Come on, guys, you are moving. You arrive and then hands in front, bravo, like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, go and next. Come on, come on, don't stand up, big guy. I don't want you to stand up. You should stay low, okay, now immediately hands in front. So a couple of dynamic, dynamic stretching or dynamic mobility drills. Here you can see also some players are arriving on that point. Some players totally 90 degrees. So depends of the mobility of hamstring and lower back. Okay, it's enough, it's enough. We have no time. Come here, guys. Now, uh, methodology coaches. When we are talking about physical preparation, we have some methodological step. First of all, mobility, secondly, stability, and then strain, not opposite. So till now, we work on mobility, mostly. Now let's do some drills for stability. What we will do, guys? Simple stuff. Those drills from now, we can do also with balls. But let's show now to the coaches without balls. We can do with dribble. Okay, one, two, three, and stop. So you start everybody with right leg, one, two, three, and stop. And then continue on the left, let's go. Let's go, one, two, three, and stop. When you feel balance, you go, go, go. Just feel balance and go, come on. One, two, three, stop. Try to bend your knees, guys. Try to bend your knees. Don't stop with extended knees. Do the same backwards. One, two, three, hop. When you are in stable situation, go. Try to go a little bit faster. One, two, three, go. When you feel balance, go on. So again, I repeat, you can do with dribble. Okay, let's do same stuff, but now in the moment of stopping, so when you're going to stop, close your eyes. So one, two, three, close eyes. And then go again, go. Come on, frontal, go. One, two, three, and close eyes. So this is next level of balance. Try to stay in low position, guys. A lot of players who were this morning in the high position, they are in high position now. So it's visible. Go back, backwards, backwards, same. Backwards, same. Again, ankle stability, knee stability, and hip stability. So three joints, most important, three most, most important joints for basketball. Stay in the lower position. <clears throat> okay, now let's do lateral, lateral jumps. One, two, three, and stop. Without closing eyes. Come on. I'm gonna go this way. Be more lateral, be more lateral, more lateral, guys. More lateral, go left, right, like skater jumps, you know, like this. You go this side, this side, and this lateral. This is methodology. Forwards, backwards, lateral. Always do like this. Same stuff, backwards. Let's go. Stay lower, stay lower. Okay, let's do same stuff as we did before, lateral here, forwards, backwards, but close eyes in the last moment, as we did before. Let's go. One, two, three, close. Stay lower, stay lower, stay lower. Low position, guys. Okay, go back, go back, backwards, same with close eyes. One, two, three, close. One, two, three, close. Stay lower, stay lower. Try to bend your knees, you should be you should feel stability in that position. Okay, help me take four more cones. Help me you four more cones, put on the same, in the same way as I did here, here and over there. We have 12 players, huh? Okay, let's take ball, bring the balls, just like this, quadrat, over there. Over there on the half court. More or less this distance, 
and try to put also over there. So after dynamic stretching, we are ready to do some acceleration, stopping, and stuff like that. Do you have enough? Okay, let's make, okay, I will put, take three more and put same over there. Let's go, guys. Everybody with ball, four players here. Let's come here, four guys. Four here, four in the middle, four over there. Let's go. Stay outside of the corner. You stay here. I'm on. Let's go. Bring your positions. One, two, three, four. Try to help him. Come on. Okay, this is your cone. You are here. Stay like this. Okay, take balls. You have ball over there. This is group, four players, four players, four players over there. What we are going to do? On the whistle, everybody are sprinting on the right side with ball. You should tag player in front of you. So everybody are running in this direction. So you should tag him, you should tag him, sprint around cons with dribble, tag player in front of you. Ready? Go! Oh, try to escape, try to escape, try to escape, let's go! Try to tag him, go on! Okay, it's enough! Coaches, you can do the same stuff without ball. Same stuff sliding, same stuff jumping, jumping on one leg. So you decide what to do. Okay, guys, now we are going a little bit more difficult. On the first whistle, you are starting to sprint on the right. Every next, you are changing direction. So you sprint here, next time, boom, go back immediately, try to tuck play. So now we have change of direction and go back. Let's start everybody on the right. And every time when I'm using whistle, change. Okay, it's enough. So again, you as a coach, you decide in which metabolic zone you want to be. If you want to work on anaerobic allactate endurance, six to eight, maximum 10 seconds, one three, one four ratio between work and rest. If you want to work on anaerobic lactate endurance, 20, 30, 40 seconds, one one or one 0 0.5 ratio between work and rest. So you decide. You decide this is related to this. Okay, let's try to do this now, guys. Everything same, but you are moving with ball here in defensive stance. Defensive stance, let's make everybody face inside. Okay, ball here, just move in defensive stance again, we are changing. Let's start everybody right, and then we change. Ready? Okay, try to touch him with ball. Okay, try to touch with ball. I didn't say. Try to touch him. You know, when you arrive, boom, push him. Ready? Go. Okay, it's enough. Move cons out. Let's go, everybody here. I'm, let's go, guys. Faster, faster. So, now, after doing this, they are ready for speed reaction. We are working on quickness now. Let's go, guys. Let's come here. Let's make pairs with one ball. As we did this morning, speed reaction, acceleration, basketball. Let's come here. Let's go, guys. Let's go quickly. Hey, we have no time. Let's go quickly. You are first. Stay in defensive stance, uh, back to him, back to him, as we did before. Don't look at him, be in front, roll ball between the legs, sprint, score, and change offense, defense, opposite side. So what we are doing here, defensive stance, here, acceleration, coordination, here, acceleration, layup, stopping. So 
a lot of stuff in one simple drill. Do you understand? Let's go, everybody, from outside. Okay, don't go from inside. Roll ball, try to score over there. When you finish, change offense, defense, and we go opposite side. Right. Let's go, sprint, come on. Go with him. Next, next, next. Come on, come on. Try to use less dribbles, guys. Less dribbles. Less dribbles is better. Bravo, go on, go on. You don't need to wait for me. Just run over there. Let's go, bravo. Try to make one more lap. Move ball, move ball, move ball. They all come. One more lap, one more lap. Let's go, let's go. Try to avoid dribble inside the three point line. Let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. One more lap, one more lap. Two laps. Go, you don't need to wait. Roll. Why are you waiting? Go next, go next, go next. Again, again. Stay in defense, slide. Move your, move your legs. Try to make stance. Be ready, be ready, ready, ready. Go, like this, react. I'm on, next, next. Go on, go on, go on. Roll ball. Of course, it's not basketball, but push them on the left side. I'm doing now on the right. If they have problem as they have it left side, good to push them on the left. Finish? Okay, now we are doing same stuff. We are adding some other. Look at him. Okay, now injury prevention, ACL injury prevention. So we want him to rotate. So pass ball, do whatever you want. You can pass here, here, whatever. You sprint, he's running backward, he's turning. So this is your advantage. You're passing ball here, sprinting, and you play. Okay, just we now have, we add this turn because usually ACL is exploding on rotations. Finish regular, okay, you can do this also. Come on, let's go, let's go. Be ready, go with him, bravo. Reaction, go next, go next. Come on. Let's go, try to score with less dribbles. Try to score with less dribbles. Go, 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 they are not finishing. Come on, next, next, next. Go with him. Go guys, let's go. Try to score every time, try to move under the basket. Move under the basket immediately, guys. Go on. One more lap and stop, one more lap, let's go. What's happened? Huh? Do you have any problem? Why are you not running? You got my ball. Okay. Don't cry. No, he stole the ball. Don't walk on the court. Let's go, let's go, guys. Let's go, finish you and we, we are going to change. So like this you have break. Go on, go on. Move, move under the basket. Okay, now it's time after a lot of sprints. So we should manage ratio between work and rest. Another set of stability drills. Let's make pairs here in front of the coaches. One ball, one player. So let's stay like this in this position. Stay with him like this face to face. Okay. Just stay, just spread on the floor. Okay, what we will do now? Stability with ball. Give me a ball. Be in defensive stance. I'm trying to push you out of balance. We, we don't need to move, get closer a little bit. So I'm trying to push you, you try to push me. So, abdominal core. Show, go. Be in defensive stance. Don't move. Don't move your legs. Just try to push left, right here. Body core is working here. Let's go, guys. Try to push him out of balance. Come on. Make some fakes, your basketball players. Make some fakes. Okay, it's enough. After two minutes, let's do the same stuff with one hand. So we are with one hand. I'm trying to move. Go. Let's go. I'm, I'm, let's go, guys. Try to push with one hand. Try to move left, right, over. So down now we involve a little bit transversal plane. They are moving laterally a little bit. Okay. Now let's stay on the right leg, two hands. Right leg, two hands, try to put out. Don't worry. 
Don't cry, baby. You are strong enough. Come on. Let's go. Right leg, one leg balance. So of course, you are not changing so quickly as I'm changing. I'm just going through the drills quickly to show you more options, but you can stay one practice, two free drills. Next practice, next two free drills. Okay, let's go now. Left, left leg, right hand. Left leg, right hand, stay lower. Stay lower. Left leg, try to push, try to push. Try to push, guys. Raman, try to win game. Okay, 1-0 for him. Let's go. So it's not difficult. Stability drills, easy for them. Okay, now they take some rest metabolically. We work on this. Now again, explosive strength. Come here. You should sprint when coach is calling you. If not, 1,000 euros immediately on senior level. You will be first. Okay, you're here with him. Explosive strain. Like elastic gum. You're, he's going to dribble. You go with spread legs here because we don't want you to stay here because probably he can twist ankle like this. So you stay like this, push, dribble and push. Dribble, 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 dribble. When I'm listening you, acceleration, try to reach him over there and to stop. Same lap, okay? Change offense, defense. You decide minimum three-point line you can keep him more or less you decide your boss okay push push bravo so explosive strain like elastic gum change change offense defense change offense defense and we go come on next 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 i'm guys let's go let's go quickly let's go quickly go on go on Go immediately, go immediately. No problem, big man, stand up, come on. Let's go, make, guys, make two laps. One more lap and stop. Fine. Let's go. I prefer to score. Some coaches are doing same drill on the side just with dribble sideline to sideline i always prefer to make some score because we are basketball players we need to score basket sometimes you can see those drills doing from here to over there like horses here here we must score we are basketball you know again here you can decide this can be also last drill at the end of the practice three point shot why not dum 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 three point in the end let's go guys they are sprinting well, as you can see. Probably ketchup was good on the lunch. Come on, let's go. Try to score, try to score. So, acceleration, deceleration, effort. Go with him. No problem. Next drill, your offense, huh? Yeah. From here. So push, dribble, 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 and then we play one-on-one. -on -one. Same stuff, we change direction. Let's go. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Uh, if I'm coach from Serbia coming to see your practice, I know that you are tired sometimes, but agents, coaches of best teams, they are looking how you behave when you are tired. So if you are tired, 12 of you, from 12, eight of you were staying like this. I don't want to see this, guys. You are strong enough, you are young. Don't stay like this. <sighs> Breathe well and show that you are strong, okay? Don't show your weakness even if you are weak. Let's go. Push him, push him, and then you decide when to play. You decide and now play basketball. Come on. Okay, play. Let's go. I'm on next. Same stuff, change offense, defense. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Don't push him so strong. Don't push him so strong. Let him go. Let him use space. Come on. Bravo. Like this. Hop, go. Ima guys, let's go.
No problem, just do it. Do we have do we have over there some tennis balls or something? Give me two, if you have. Oh, you are on the floor. Second time in two seconds, you know. If you have not, no problem. If there are not tennis balls, another drill for speed reaction. Ivana, if there are not, no problem, we can use. Okay, give me regular two balls. Give me ball. You stay here. Okay, speed reaction. I will left one ball, so you can take this ball and just stay over there. Just bring the ball before ball touch the floor. Okay, okay? ready? Next, bravo. Applause for him. Uh, again, technique. So, he did it well, but he cross. We don't want to cross, because you are faster, so this ball, try to catch with right hand. This ball with left, because it closes, you know. Don't make cross step like this, so you cannot do it. Okay, ready? No problem, just try. I will combine, I will think about distance. Bravo, okay, good. Be ready in defense, don't get closer to me, hey. I will decide about distance. Okay, again, again, no problem. I'm joking with you. Don't cry. Bravo, he's fighting. Okay, next situation. Did you see Rocky Balboa movie? So what he did for speed? What he did for speed, Rocky Balboa in the movie? He tried to catch chicken, you know. Do you remember? Okay, you are not going to catch chicken, you are going to catch balls. Okay, be in defensive stance, back to me, back to me. So, I will put two balls somewhere. Okay, try to collect as soon as possible both balls. Another two. Okay, give me back, next one, next one. Come on, let's go, let's go guys. Go on, go on, don't look at me. So you decide, usually for big players, low balls, short players, high balls, so always opposite. Put them out of the comfort zone. Quickly, quickly, okay, good enough. Another simple drill for speed reaction. Come here. You should catch ball, only stay here on the top of the key. Catch ball, pass me back, try to catch ball only after one touch. Okay, ball can touch ball just once. Okay? Pass back, pass back, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's go, let's go. Quickly, go on, go on, come on, come on. Go on. Quickly, so you joke with them. Again, again, again. Let's go. Bravo, it's enough. So, eight seconds maximum speed. So you can do this with tennis ball, with volleyball balls, with football to change something, to do something else. Okay, now they are ready, it was a joke. Now they are ready for serious job. Okay, guys, let's make like this. I need you, because you're fast. Just put two cones for fast break over there. You know, on the middle line, for fast break. Just two cones. One group, just two, over there. One there, okay, no, 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 here. Super, bravo. Three players here in the middle with ball. Show me. I'm a one, two, three. Who are three? You, you, and you. Okay, one over there, one over there, just one ball. You stay here in the middle. Okay, other three guys, come here with me. This is your working place. Come here, one player in the middle, no balls, without ball. You are here, you are here, you are here. So you be face like this, and you be over there, face in the middle. Cons are your working place, okay? What you will do? Defensive slide around the cons, okay? 
Hop, slide around the cones. Next three players come here. Let's go. One, two, three. You are doing here, stay outside of the, of the court. Push up position, stability, body core, shoulders. You are doing this. So two hands over, two hands under the line, okay? Last group of three come here. You are here. Don't scare. Just don't turn never back to the ladies. Okay, you are staying here. Hands here, semi squats. Okay? Yes? Yeah. Please. Okay, just stay somewhere. Okay, what we are going to do here? Just go outside of the court. Aerobic, uh, anaerobic lactate endurance. Let's make like this. This group here, six courts fast break. Let's make figure eight, you know, crisscross. Yeah. Pass, run behind. Let's try to make with three passes. Can you? Yeah. Three or four? Three. Okay, you know who is going to catch rebound. You are going one, two, three, four, five, six. We start at the same time. When they finish, I will give you sign when you finish your activity. Slide. Hands, jumps, running. You combine coaches. One drill for legs, one drill for arms, one drill for legs. If you have more stations, next drill will be here, arms again. Okay, ready, everybody, go. Jump, big man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go faster, go faster, go faster, go, 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 next. Come on, guys, come on, guys. Usually, if they miss, I will add two. So if they are missing any layup, two more. They must be focused. This is it. Come on, jump, jump, jump. Let's go, guys. It's very difficult. Should be around 30 seconds. With serious players, it's 30 seconds. Let's go, one more, one more. Keep, keep doing jumps, big man. Jump again, let's go. Let's go. Okay, rotate like this. Rotate like this. You go here, you go for slide, you go here. Come on, let's finish one lap. It's not easy. You decide how many players you want. If you have 16 players, probably you want to work on fast break with four players, corridor with four, fast break corridor or with two, according to your practice goal or according to your weakness with your team, three players, four players, and so on. Ready? I want. Go. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Stay lower. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. They don't know how to run figure eight. We must be organized. Who is catching the ball? Who is sprinting? Come on. Go out, Blackie. Blackie, go out, not you. Come on, guys. Figure eight, you don't know how to do. Let's go. Let's go. You take rebound, big guy, you come here, you come here, come on, let's go, next, next. So I cannot understand, he's coming from this side, instead to pass here, he's turning, you know, always opposite, you know. I don't know how never good things are coming immediately, you know, immediately mistakes. You know. He's coming here, instead to pass ball here, he's turning on opposite side. We should teach them, no problem. I'm a guys, let's go, let's go guys, faster, keep doing. Finish, change. Of course, uh, so just to give you an information, under 16 Serbian national team, when we won third place on European Championship and following year with ball in World Championship, we did 16. 16 courts with five kilos medical ball. Believe me, they can arrive. At the beginning, it was same like here. But after three, four weeks, working every day, so we are doing usually four to six laps like this, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Usually, if you want to work on an aerobic lactate endurance, you should work on the second part of the main part of the practice. When they are tired, we should work on this, okay? Because not at the beginning, because if you're doing at the beginning, after that they are exhausted, they are finished, so we cannot do anything else. So this is second part of the main part of the practice. 
to do. I'm not doing right now, but just to tell you. Ready? Go, go. Let's do better, guys, this fast break. Come on, go on the side, go on the side. Bravo. This is the way how to pass. Again, he turned, you know. He received ball from this side and passing opposite. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, guys, be organized in fast break. Small guys getting rebound. Change side, change side, bravo, like this. Come on, guys, let's go, go faster. Here, they don't need to go with back like this. They should jump with legs, not with back. So first guy here, you can see mistake. He's jumping like this, immediately problem with lower back. After 10 minutes, he will feel pain here, for sure. Come on, come on, guys, come on, guys, let's go. His last one. Let's go, go on, go on, go on. You finish six. Okay, change. Last one. His last one, no, huh? Okay, let's try to do just four. Okay, four courts, I don't want to kill you. Believe me, it's very easy to arrive on the high level with this drill. Because coaches, instead to do a lot of suicide something, here, medical ball, fast break corridors, body core, shoulders, explosive power of arms, here, jumps, over there, again, stability, shoulder stability, so you combine. Let's make four courts. Ready? Go! Come on, guys, come on, guys. They don't know how to run. Let's go, let's go. You collect rebound, go on the side. You collect rebound. Not you, not you, him. Not you. Player who is passing is going on the side. So, figure eight, simple stuff. Let's go, guys, let's go, guys, one more. Come on, come on, come on, one more, let's go. Collect rebound. Okay, it's enough. We finish everything. Did you work on every place? Okay, it's enough. It's enough, so you understand what we want to do. Okay, now again, some fast break drill. Give me, please, this cone. Make pairs, two players, one ball. Give me one cone. Thank you. Okay, this is now so-called Laker drill. Two players fast break. We should fly. Who is first? You and him. Okay. So you stay over there on the side. You are here. Okay. Back to the basket like this. On the side, you are running fast break out of this cone. What we are going to do? So you will put ball on the glass. You will fly over there, sprint over there. One dribble, okay, pass to him, and you should score without dribble, okay, score, when you pass ball to him, you run around this cone here, and you run over there to score, you take, you take your own rebounds, one dribble, pass to him, and sprint to catch ball here before ball touch the floor, so your job, again, do you know drill, so you are running under, lay up, Rebound, pass, and sprint to catch ball here. Again, medical ball. Under 16, 2 kilos. Let's go. Pass, pass, too late. Ah! Stop. What do you think? This pass is fast? No way. Only for outlet pass. So here, passing technique. Two hands, chest pass. Open floor, no defense in front of you, two hands, chest pass. Going back to this morning, individual technique of passing. Every time when you see open floor, especially nude, two hands, chest pass. When defender is in front of you, step away, one hand pass. Must be rule. Let's go, let's go. Go faster, go faster, pass, pass. Sprint, sprint. Keep doing, keep doing, let's go. One dribble, pass, collect ball under, collect ball under. Let's go, bravo. Let's go. Let's go. One pass. Pass. Sprint. Collect. Let's go, guys. Bravo. Come on, come on, come on. One by one. We don't need to wait. We don't need to wait. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Next, 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 next. 
Next, next, one more lap. Next, go, 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 guys. We don't need to wait. This is team, team running. Intensity, let's go. Let's go, pass, sprint. Come on, don't make this pass, hey. Strong pass. Let's go, 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 guys. We don't need to stop, we don't need to stop. You stop. Let's go. You finish? No? It's enough. No. Let's go. Rebound, rebound, rebound. No dribble on layup. No dribble on layup. Of course, I'm doing usually four laps on one side, four laps on opposite side. Okay, now let's make continuation of this drill. Three players, one ball in the middle, two players on the side. Let's go. Stay here. Who is third? Let's go over there. Let's make three groups, guys. Without the ball, with ball, without the ball. Okay, similar drill with three, with three players. Okay, what we are going to do? So, without board, without board. Okay, you should make first pass to him, you are in the middle, okay? First pass to him, you are sprinting, let's do it slowly. Pass, pass, you run outside of yellow cone. Pass to him, he must score, lay up. Pass to him, pass to him, okay? You collect rebound, after pass you run around this cone and you run over there. Sprint, pass to him, diagonal pass to him, no, no, from here to here, you sprint to catch the ball over there. You know drill? Okay, let's try to do. So, you are going, your job, guys, again, you are going to collect, you are going to collect ball, <laughs> collect the ball, pass to him and sprint to collect ball here. You know drill? Let's go. Let's go. Full speed. Full speed. Stop. Stop. We should correct. What we should correct? Go back. This is fast break. Okay? We should advance in the, on the court. So you cannot pass him here. Give me ball. Sprint. Sprint. You pass here in front. Okay. You should... Accelerate your teammates. Don't pass ball to him behind. He will finish in orthopedic clinic over there with problem with back. So pass in front. We should sprint. Strong pass. Here, guys. No dribble. Let's go. Let's go. Pass. Sprint. Middleman. Middleman. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Try to score. Come on. Come on. Pass back. Rebound. Sprint, left hand pass, run big man, strong pass over there, bad pass again, pass behind. Let's go, let's go, pass, pass in front, pass in front. Bravo, not bad, let's go, let's go, next. Here, here, minimum six times, everybody are going to be twice in three, three different positions. Let's go, guys, next. One teaching point here, stop, stop, stop. Teaching point here, pass to me. He's sprinting, sprint over there. Stop. I'm going teaching point here. When I'm passing, stay over there at the beginning, on the half court. I'm not passing to him. If you have long passes, as we have here, you should pass in the middle of the distance between him and basket in this moment. So practically, when he's over there, go. This is three point line. Here he should catch ball and score. So middle of distance. If I'm running from here, pass should arrive over there. Meeting point of player and ball. Okay, do it again, this group. Come on, guys, let's go. Strong passes and try to sprint to catch ball. Let's go. Strong pass, strong pass. This is not strong. Let's go. He's passing on the left side with the right hand. We don't want this. Or two hands or left hand. Never this pass. Come on, catch ball. Let's go. Let's go. Keep running, keep running, they will collect. Keep running, they will collect. Pass, sprint, let's go. One more time and we will change. Go on, go on, one more group. Don't make this pass, guys, strong passes. I prefer to make direct passes in fast break, no bounce passes. They should sprint, it's faster. 
go on, go on. Better pass. No low pass, direct pass. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Stop this group, okay? Stop now. Immediately after this, we are staying on the same position. Very important teaching point for you coaches that we don't need to change too much position of the players. So if you are changing drills every two minutes, it's a waste of time. So inside, inside the same position, we are going to add something. So we don't need to explain now, four players here, three players, ball here, ball here, six drills, 10 minutes you will lose every practice. So let's do like this, guys. Everything is same, okay? But you, middlemen, when you run here, you run here in the middle, around uh, red cone, in the middle, you collect, uh, you collect the ball, and you play two against one opposite direction. Okay, so everything same over there. Then he will make lay up. You take rebound. You sprint around the cone and sprint in the middle, not around yellow. Okay, you collect ball. You go outside. You and you against him back. So three on zero, two on one. Okay, go. I'm a full speed, guys. Full speed. Let's go. Aima, let's go. Pass, 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 pass. Let's go. Two on one. Bravo. Attack him. Next. Next. Go on. Go on. So, middleman is defender. Better pass. Better pass. Sprint in defense. Pass, pass. Don't dribble. Pass. Pass. One pass. Two on one. Just one pass and score. Go on. Let's go. I'm on next group. Next group. I'm on guys. Try to be precise with passing. Try to be precise with passing, guys. Go on, go on, go on. Let's go, one more time, one more time, go on. Pass, play defense. Okay, stop here. Teaching point, how to attack two against one. We have one defender be in defense, give me ball. Play your offense with me against him. Stay in the middle. Let's say that, let's say that I'm dribbling here. If I can see player in front of me, I will pass to him. If not, I will dribble. We are not American football or rugby to pass ball behind. Then I'm looking to him. If he comes to me, I'm passing. If he's not coming, I'm scoring. You know? So we don't need to make tic-tac like Guardiola, Manchester City. No. One pass, two on, two on one, one pass and score. Defender is not coming, go for score. Defender is coming, pass. Okay, let's try to do now next. Difficult stuff. Same stuff over there. You will catch rebound. Okay, you will play one against two. Back. So three on zero, one against two. Everything same. Let's go. Try to put pressure on him immediately. Try to put pressure immediately. Let's go. Let's go. Attack him. Attack him. Bravo. Go on. Go on. Without fall. If, if some of you catch the ball, you become offense. Okay? Don't give ball, don't put ball back to, to an Israel player. Hey, you're hey I didn't say. If you, can, if you steal the ball, you are offense. Immediately. Okay, my, my mistake. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Full speed, guys. Full speed, guys. Come on. Try to score. Attack him. Attack him. Attack him without fall. Next come. Next is coming. Come on. No fall. No fall. We don't want... Now you are offense. Attack him. Attack him. Let's go. Let's go. Stop him here. Bravo. Help. Next. Super. Okay. You are offense now. You are offense now. Okay. Finish. Next. Come on. So, three on zero, one against two. So, when I get the ball, I will be the offense. Yes. If you get the ball, you become offense again. Okay. So, we are stopping when someone of you is scoring here. Okay. Now it's end. Let's go. Let's go. Next group. Next group, guys, come on.
Bravo, contact. Okay, it's enough. It's enough. We don't need to do this. Again, some drills not in this order. After running so many stuff, they are not ready for speed reaction. But I want to take to give them some rest. So let's make some speed reaction drills. Come here, everybody. Let's go. Pairs, two players, one ball. Okay, you and you, huh? Okay, let's stay here. Back to back. Put ball like this. Opposite. Ball behind back. Okay. Ball behind back. Let's play on this basket. Okay. First situation, hands up. Hands up. Close your eyes. We have three stimuli to react. We have visual, when we are moving some part of the body. Auditive, whistle, or kinesthetic, when we are touching them. So try to change. Now we are working on auditive. So hands up, close your eyes. On the whistle, try to fight for ball. Who catch ball? Offense on this basket. On the whistle, can we open eyes? Of course. Of course. <laughs> You cannot, if you can run with closed eyes, you're super good. I have not anything against, but believe me, it's difficult. Close your eyes. Hands up. Hands up. Totally hands up. Hey, hands up. Play basketball here. I'm on. Let's go. Next. 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 So here, coaches, stop. Here, for example, if you are doing speed reaction, this is how many? Three, four seconds. Perfect number is 12. So because ratio between work and rest is 1-5. So one group is working, five groups are resting. Approximately, this is perfect for speed. Because they should come to react, totally recover. We total recover. Okay? Ready? Okay, he's smart. Boom, with elbow. Can be. Let's go, next. Let's go, next. Come on. Go on. Let's go. Go. You, you were first, huh? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go. Okay, now same position, but put ball behind your head. Now opposite. So before we work from up to down, now we work from down to up. Okay, but let's do like this. Now hands down. Okay, and you should react. I will be on opposite side on, of, on any of my move. So with peripheral vision, you should see if I'm moving, you should fight for ball and you play. Okay, ready? So react. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One by one, immediately, guys. Hands down, peripheral, look in front. Hands down. I'm moving, so. I move my head. Let's go. Change. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down, push, hands down. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, quickly. Go on. You, again? Okay. After that, you can change something. So different starting position, speed reaction. Let's sit one player over there, one player here. Turkish seat, so cross your legs. Okay, super, give me a ball. Try to cross, okay. Don't do anything. You should react on sound. Close your eyes. I will put ball. When you hurt ball, you turn and start to play basketball. Okay? So, react. I'm on. next, next. So change, change all the time.
okay so of course you are staying more I just show you options you stay more now again decision making and speed reaction let's make like this two lines one player here one player over there one group over there let's make this group here with ball stay here on the circle you are here with ball on the circle without any fake you decide to attack this basket or this basket so speed reaction and decision making okay so you can go here or here just don't make fakes so just start follow him try to stop him you can go whenever you want you don't need me come on next next let's go let's go two two players on the right okay nobody wants to start on the left okay first one so at the beginning you can give them freedom then you can decide you can say left right and then again give them freedom again let's go guys so as you saw they did a lot of sprints physical preparation but still with ball we don't need to run outside of the floor here in the garden better to run with ball they did so many sprints come on guys let's go go on go on you can go one more lap one more lap let's go go on go on give me please uh, one two one two three more cons okay let's do like this guys uh, six players over there six players over there thank you okay I need from you one player here without the ball let's go same over there one player outside of the cone one player inside so you go inside here you're here you're in the corner okay uh, let's put balls over there you have balls enough okay super simple stuff we should fly we should run full speed fast break you are passing to him and you are going on his place you are passing to him to score on the three point line you are running around the cone to score you score and go in the end of the line so simple stuff pass to me and sprint here i'm passing to him and i'm sprinting here just follow the ball so everybody together team running fast break now we will run for layup okay kids i'm usually doing this drill with uh, on the left side and we are counting 21 made layup in the row so they cannot miss as a team important information okay now i'm walking too much because because of you but it's important also to think about your position on the court if you have full court drill like this drill i cannot stay in the middle of the court so if i'm staying here i cannot see what's going to happen behind my back so if it's drill like this i should stay here so from here i can see everything or opposite side if i'm working on offensive drill to see spacing timing in offense half court i will stay here if i should see my defense i will stay under the basket so always try to change your position on the floor according to the main goal of your drill this is also part of coaching because some coaches are staying in the middle and you have crazy players doing something behind you showing some back stuff behind your back i don't want to show because of ladies but they are go showing bab 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 this 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 so you are finished like authority if they're doing once okay can we do this guys let's try to make it without dribble so you know what you should do sprint pass sprint pass just go ready go sorry let's go next 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 come on guys pass immediately let's go run around quickly 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 fly fly 
they don't need to run, they need to fly. Without, without dribble, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, and out of the con, out of the con. Try to score. Can you, can you count, uh, can you count, coach, how many they are scoring on this basket? Let's count from 10 layups how many they are scoring. Can you count opposite side, lady? Count opposite basket how many they are scoring from now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go full speed, guys. Better pass, better pass, strong pass in front. No dribble, no bounce pass, direct pass. No dribble, let's go, let's go. Next, 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 next. So, looks easy and simple, but they are running like crazy. Let's go, sprint around, sprint around. How many? Eight. Same. Okay, it's enough. They score, we count seven, eight. We must score all the time. If you miss, if one of player is missing, again, again, again. So, this is about focus because Mobile phone is killing us. They must be focused for the practice. Okay, let's try to do now same drill. One dribble, pull up, jumper for two. Okay, everything same. You receive the ball, now give him pass a little bit before. When you receive, bam, one dribble. How we will stop from full speed? Two contact or one? One, two. Like ABS on the car. Full speed, individual tactic of stopping, bam, bam. One, two. Left, right, both sides. Let's go, let's go. Stronger pass, stronger pass, stronger pass. Too late. Here can be competition between players or we are counting six of ten as a team to score to go on the next drill. Let's go, strong pass, strong pass. Come on guys, let's go. Go faster, go faster, go faster. Go faster. Go on, go on, go on. Do you remember at what time I start? I think that I should finish now, huh? Yeah. I start uh, 3 to 10. I should finish now. Okay. Go on, go on. Next, next. Run, run, run. Go collect ball. Next. Go on, go on. Make good pass. Okay. Conditioning, but we should finish with shooting. Guys, let's say, let's do like this. Six players over there. Side, baseline, six players here, side line, baseline, everybody with ball. Everybody with ball, come on. I like to finish every practice, even conditioning practice with shooting. Okay, what we should do, guys? Don't nap on the basket. I don't want to see you here. Okay? Do you understand? So I don't want to see you on the practice staying like this. I know that you are tired, but don't worry. Okay, what we should do, you, you are doing on the half court, you are doing on this half court. Let's try to complete this course. Sprint to the half court with dribble, three point shot. If you score, you shoot for two. If you miss, three again. So you must score in the row. In the row, three point, two point, free throw. Okay, if you miss, you start with three again. Every time scoring or missing, sprint here. Half court, go back, three point. Half court, go back two. Half court, go back, free throw. Let's go to see who is winner. Now free again, three point again. Now is combination of physical and psychological pressure. Sprint and shot. I'm a guy's full speed. Then coaches, then we are changing. This is not so difficult. Then we are doing free throw, two point, three point. They should finish with three. It's much more difficult. And then with serious players, two times. Two times three, two times two, two times three throw. So, always try to build up. Let's go, guys. Somebody is on free throw.
Somebody score. Okay, here. Let's go. Let's see, guys, to finish. Two points. If you miss again, three. Let's go. Okay, it's enough, huh? Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. It's enough. You can see it. Applause for them because they run pretty well. Clean cons. So, as I said here to this group, then you can change. They can make free throw, two points, three points. Or two times, free throw, two times, two points. So, you are building up practice by practice is not difficult. Again, coaches, if you are talking about specific basketball conditioning, we should understand our goals. Then, we should understand in which metabolic zone we are working. So, for example, we can make fast break drill, two courts. This is anaerobic lactate endurance. But we can make fast break six courts. This is lactate endurance. So, same drill in different metabolic zone. Try to combine and try to keep in mind what to do. I think that is much better to do conditioning on court. Of course, we should go sometimes also outside, absolutely, because they should learn how to jump, how to land, what to do, but usually we should do conditioning on the court. So try to combine situation and try to think what to do in every specific part of the practice. Again, if you work on speed, agility, quickness, speed reaction, try to do those drills at the beginning of the main part of the practice. If you are working on anaerobic lactate endurance and on aerobic endurance, second part of the main part of the practice when they are tired. So try to combine. Thank you very much for your time. One more time, applause for guys. So we have some break again with coach here. And I <laughs> See? A to už je zapnuté? To si musím niekde zapnúť? Toto podržiť. A on sa rozosvieti. A teraz už to, už to funguje? A, tak budeme teda pokračovať, ak, ak môžeme. Tam asi nastavujeme hlasitosť. Dobre. Hej. Keď to bude nejak moc, tak ty to budeš robiť. Ja Hej, no hra, super. Ďakujem. Dobre. Dobre. Uh, tak zdravím vás, moje meno je Michala Sedláčková. Ja by som v prvom rade ešte sa chcela poďakovať uh, za možnosť účastniť sa uh, kliniky, ktorá sa uskutočnila v Portugalsku. Uh, bol to projekt FIBA Get Together pre Under 14. A teraz mojou úlohou bude vám sprostredkovať informácie, ktoré sme sa tam aj s trénerom Moravcom dozvedeli. Ja som sa zamerala na tému a spracovala som tému, ktorá mňa najviac zaujala. Myslím si, že, má, že veľa z tých vecí určite všetci poznáme, ale, ale myslím si, že je dobre sa k ním vždy vraciať. Tá téma bude zameraná na basketbalový tréning pre mladých hráčov, čiže bude to také všeobecnejšie. A neviem, či to, je, či to je vidieť tú prezentáciu. Slabo? Hej. A, Jož, mohla by som, Joško, že by sme to trošku lebo, hej, posunuli ďalej? A, ale je to také nezaostrené asi. Dá sa to nejakže zaostriť? Podľaňa by sa mohlo dať. A, lepšie? lepšie. No. No. Dobre? Nie? Dobre. Dobre, ja budem hovoriť to, čo tam je napísané. A, takže tam sú vlastne a, iba spomenuté body, ktoré, ktoré, ktorým budem ja hovoriť. 
Bude to viac zamerané na tréning, potom sa budeme venovať pohybovým schopnostiam a senzitívnym obdobiam pri tej mládeži, ktorým sa treba venovať, tréningovému plánu a tréningovému zaťaženiu. Takže to budú také hlavné témy. V podstate taká otázka pre nás, pre trénerov, čo vlastne je ten tréning a čo je našou najdôležitejšou úlohou ako trénerov, je v podstate urobiť pre hráča prostredie, kde sa môže najlepšie rozvíjať a urobiť z neho najlepšiu verziu, aká môže byť. Je to vyzývavá a dôležitá úloha pre nás trénerov, aby sme vytvorili priestor pre všetkých hráčov. Veľmi dôležité je, že aby sme vytvorili ten priestor pre všetkých hráčov. Ďalšie, čo sme mali spomenuté na tej prednáške, bolo, že je dôležité, aby pri tých mladežnických kategóriách, pri tom minibasketbale už od U12, čo sa týka U12, U13, U14, aby sa týmto kategóriám venovali najlepší trenery. Aby sme naozaj tam mali trenerov, ktorí sú kvalifikovaní, sú dobrí a dokážu odozdať tým minikategóriám správne základy, aby sme fungovali od mala správne nastavení. Ďalšou takou témou, ktorá je často rozoberaná, nejaká skora, neskora špecializácia, veľmi dôležité je, aby sme individuálne pristupovali k hráčom a aby sme mysleli na to, že každý ten hráč potrebuje čas, potrebuje individuálny prístup a dopriali mu ten čas na to, aby sa rozvíjal. Keď už len si zoberieme napríklad aj mesiac narodenia v ročníku, keď si zoberieme nejakú 2012, aj rozdiel medzi januárovou 2012 a decembrovou. Čiže naozaj dať myslieť na to, že tí hráči potrebujú individuálny ten čas na svoj rozvoj. Ja som si spracovala poznámky, tak ja budem sem tam pozerať do papieru, aby som vám nič nezabudla povedať. Ďalšie, čo je veľmi dôležitou úlohou, je, keď máme to družstvo tých mladých hračov, aby sme sa pozreli na to družstvo a pozreli sa, že či vedia tí naši hrači správne behať, či vedia správne dopadať a následne vyskočiť a či vedia správne zastaviť. Našou úlohou je ich trénovať v tých mladežnických kategóriách, aby sme ich naučili správnu techniku a aby sme ich aby sme predišli v neskôršom veku zraneniam. Čiže keby sme sa bavili už len napríklad o tých dopadoch, určite všetkým známe, ale treba si dávať pozor pri tých dopadoch, aby kolena im neišli dovnútra, čo sa týka nejakej stability, keď robíme, aby bola jedna línia, špička, koleno, bedro, rameno, aby sme naozaj boli korektní pri tých hráčoch a aby sme si dávali pozor na tie základné veci a na tú správnu techniku a aby sme predchádzali tým zraneniam neskôr. Veľmi dôležitou ešte vecou je, aby sme všetko, čo budeme s nimi robiť na tréningoch, robili špecificky. To sme mohli aj dneska vidieť od pána profesora, ktorý robil cvičenia, že všade bola zapojená lopta. Čiže my už môžeme napríklad, keď sa budeme baviť o nejakých dopadoch cez prekážky, aby sme do toho zapojili loptu. Môžeme robiť dopady s loptou, následne nejakú strelbu. Čiže pracujeme na dopadoch, ale už k tomu môžeme spojiť aj nejakú strelbu. Alebo napríklad môžeme dať prekážky, spojiť to s driblingom, preskokiť cez prekážky a už je k tomu zapojený nejaký ball handling, lopta, dribling. Čiže aby sme dávali pozor na techniku pri tých hlavných pohyboch. Čo sa týka pohybových schopností, asi možno aj niektoré veci budem opakovať, ktoré boli už dneska aj ukázané. Najdôležitejšie je, aby sme sa zamerali na koordináciu a rýchlosť v týchto mládežnických kategóriách. Takisto, aby to bolo všetko špecifické. Keď si napríklad zoberieme už len frekvenčný rebrík, čiže všetci veľa využívame, tak môžeme robiť frekvenčný rebrík len tak, že ho dáme, urobíme zastup, prejdeme z každého cvičenia, dve opakovania a točíme sa dokola, alebo do toho pridáme loptu a už je to znovu špecifické, robia to s ball handlingom. Čiže možno, aby sme to zdokonalili, dáme frekvenčný rebrík, ball handling plus zakončenie. A už je to zase vec, ktorá sa viacej podoba tým basketbalovým situáciám, ktoré potom hráčov čakajú v zápase. Tá forma, akou formou sa môžeme venovať rozvoju, koordinácia a rýchlosti, je vhodné, keď je to formou warm-upu na začiatku tréningu. 
Môže to byť pomocou nejakých hier, nejaké small games a naozaj stačí zapojiť to v rámci warm-upu a hrači sa aj rozsvičia, pracuje na koordinácii a máme v podstate dva v jednom. Ja teraz ešte spomeniem pár cvičení, ktoré v tom Portugalsku oni pracovali s tými hráčmi pri tej koordinácii, čiže napríklad bol tam ten frekvenčný rebrik spomenutý, potom boli tenisové loptičky, kedy hráči driblovali, vyhadzovali tenisové loptičky a môžeme pracovať na mieste statický dribling a vyhadzovať tenisovú loptičku, alebo môžeme z toho urobiť taký menší chaos, ako oni nám povedali, že basketbal je vlastne taký malý chaos, čiže nemusíme vždy všetko robiť v nejakej línii a nejak staticky na mieste. Čiže bol iba nejaký pohyb hráčov po ihrisku, dribling, vyhadzovali tenisovú loptičku, prišli ku košu, zakončenie, v jednej ruke držali tenisovú loptičku, čiže znovu aj nejaký ball handling, museli pracovať s loptou, potom vytvorili dvojice, dribling, prihrávali si tenisovú loptičku, išli do zakončenia. Potom, čo sa týka koordinácie, ukazovali nám cvičenia, napríklad dali futbalové lopty a bola koordinácia, oni to spomínali ako koordinácia, kedy pracujeme s rukou, to bola tá tenisová loptička, potom bol dribling, futbalovú loptu si kopali, koordinácia, kedy zapájame ball handling a nohy a potom ešte pridali nafúknuté balóny, čiže vo dvojici vyhadzoval balón, kým letel, dribling, odkopol futbalovú loptu a vo dvojici pracovali. A to už bolo akože také ťažšie cvičenie, ale naozaj, aby sme boli aj kreatívni a v rámci toho rozvoja tej koordinácie zapájali čo najviac podnetov, aby tí hráči mohli robiť. Pri tom rozvoji môžeme pracovať na tréningu, ak máme tréningovú skupinu, rozdeliť si hráčov na skupiny, a myslieť aj na to, že v tej tréningovej skupine určite máme hráčov, ktorí možno sú koordinačne na tom lepšie, hráčov, ktorí sú na tom koordinačne slabšie, rozdeliť si ich na dve skupiny a pracovať s nimi individuálne. A znovu dať tým, ktorí potrebujú viac toho času, tak dopriať im viac toho času na to, aby sa v tých činnostiach zlepšili. Čiže pozrieť sa na to, že kto potrebuje čo a pracovať podľa toho špecificky. Čo sa týka rýchlosti, môžeme rozdeľovať rýchlosť ako rýchlosť, ako reakčnú rýchlosť, ako drill speed, čiže rýchlosť v zručnostiach. Takisto dôležité je, aby pri každom tom rozvoji sme mali znovu loptu v ruke a všetky tie cvičenia na tréningu, ktoré robíme, či už sú len rýchlosné, aby sme to znovu všetko robili s loptou. Čo sa týka nejakej tej drill speed, dôležité je, aby najprv oni technicky boli zruční a mali správnu techniku pri tých zručnostiach, až potom môžeme prejsť do maximálnej rýchlosti. Čiže najprv s nimi odrobiť technicky správne a potom sa snažiť od nich vyžadovať, aby všetko robili v maximálnej rýchlosti. Čo sa týka agility, tak je to vlastne pohyb, ktorý najčastejšie robíme, nejaká zmena smeru a rýchlosti znovu vytvárať tie drily tak, aby sme ich prispôsobili čo najviac zápasovej situácie. Čiže napríklad, keby som zobrala obranu, môžeme trénovať obranný pohyb, že budeme slajdovať po celej šírke zo strany na stranu, alebo zoberieme ten drill tak, že najdôležitejšie možno pre nás v tom zápase sú nejaké prvé dva, tri slajdy, aby boli v plnej rýchlosti, potom prechod do šprintu, následne nejaké 2-3 rýchle slajdy, prechod do šprintu, zastavenie hráča s loptou a znovu 2-3 rýchle slajdy, prechod do šprintu, zastavenie hráčov. Čiže namiesto toho, aby slajdovali v obrannom pohybe, spojí to celé z agility tak, aby v tom bol zahrnutý aj šprint a následne aj zastavenie hráča s loptou, správny footwork. Čo sa týka sily, rozvoja sily, musíme dba na to, aby sme našich hráčov pripravili tým, a technicky správne, aby dokázali technicky vykonať každý cvik a pripravili ich na to, keď budú U16, aby mohli posilovať. Čo sa týka sily, stačí, že ich budeme, že budú posilovať s vlastnou váhou a a môže to byť znovu rôznou formou, môže to byť nejaký kruhový tréning, kde bude zapojené celé telo, bude to možno pre nich aj také zaujímavejšie a obmieniať to znovu na začiatku tréningu v rámci warm-upu a aby to netrvalo príliš dlho. Čiže to sa iba možno zopakujem, že dbať naozaj na to počas tých tréningov, aby ten rozvoj bol špecifický. Čiže všetko, čo sa dá, aby sme robili s loptou v ruke pri tých hráčoch. 
Takže senzitívne obdobia, to si môžete pozrieť iba na tej, vlastne, na tej tabulke v tom veku od 9 do 13, naozaj, že na čo sa chceme zameriavať pri tej... Napríklad, čo sa týka vytrvalosti, tak všetky cvičenia, ktoré robíme na tréningu, tak sú dostačujúce. Tak nám aj povedali, že čo sa týka nejakej vytrvalosti, všetky tie cvičenia, ktoré robíme v tréningu na vytrvalosť v tomto veku stačí. V rýchlosť, takisto robiť všetky tie drily na ihrisku, s loptou, koordinácia, aby bola všeobecná a flexibility tiež, takisto, aby bola stále zapojená. Um, teraz by som prešla trošku k tréningovému plánu. Uh, my sme tam dostali otázku, uh, že kto z trénerov plánuje mal zdvihnúť ruku. A bolo málo rúk hore a vtedy vlastne to bola taká otázka na zamyslenie, že koľko času my tréneri venujeme príprave na tréningy, ako si plánujeme tréningy a s týmto bola spojená tá téma, tak ja by som to možno trošku sa k tomu vrátila. Čo je to vlastne plán? My potrebujeme vedieť, kam sa chceme s tým našim družstvom za tú sezónu dostať. A ak si my neurčíme nejaké ciele ako tréneri, tak potom nemôžeme vedieť, či sa niekde, či sa niekde posúvame a či sme efektívni. Čiže uh, tak, aby sme boli efektívni, je dobré si plánovať veci. Môžeme sa baviť o nejakom mikro, mezo, makrocykle, alebo to môžeme zjednodušiť a, zjednodušiť a baviť sa o týždennom plá, o plánovaní, napríklad len týždennom. Či čo si na, nachystám na celý tréning, čo, si, čo chcem s nimi stihnúť a či to, teda, či to teda splním, alebo nejaké trojtyždňové mesačné plánovanie. Uh, Čiže, my, čiže pozrieme sa na našu tréningovú skupinu, môžeme plánovať ako tímové plánovanie alebo individuálne pre každého hráča. Čiže ak mám hráča, ktorý je vysoký, OK, je nekoordinovaný, poviem si, za mesiac by som ho chcela naučiť, aby zvládol tieto tri cvičenia na frekvenčnom rebríku a potom o mesiaci môžem povedať, že či sa mi to naozaj podarilo a dost, venovala som mu dostatok času a či to ten hráč zvládol. Čiže ak si aj niečo naplánujeme, je dôležité, aby sme sa my tréneri vedeli zhodnotiť, či sa nám to podarilo naplniť, či sme efektívni na tom tréningu. Ak sa mi to nepodarilo splniť za, ten, za to obdobie, ktoré som si stanovila, tak sa možno musím k tomu vrátiť alebo prenastaviť ten plán a naozaj sa snažiť byť čo najefektívnejší, aby sme mohli rozvíjať tých hráčov. Uh... Stránka, ktorá je z FIBI Coaching website, možno, že to viacerí poznáte, kto nie, tak výborná stránka na, možno aj práve na tento tréningový plán, kde sa môžete prihlásiť, zaregistrovať sa tam a je tam možnosť vytvoriť si tréningový plán, viete si tam naklikať, vytvoriť si tam svoje družstvo, dať si tam hráčov a keď si chcete spustiť, že OK, idem si naplánovať tréning, tak už vám to dáva ponuku, čo vás nutí sa zamyslieť. OK, chcem sa venovať možno teraz útoku alebo obrane, je tam možnosť voľby pre akú, vek, akú vekovú kategóriu sa chcete uh, zamerať. Je tam veľké množstvo drillov, ktoré môžete použiť, sú tam drily od rôznych trénerov, ktoré môžete sa inšpirovať, alebo vy si vytvoríte nejaké drily, kľudne si to tam môžete uložiť, ostatní tréneri to môžu vidieť, alebo vy to budete používať ako nejakú vašu knižnicu. Okay, chcem sa dneska venovať, ja neviem, útoku, tranzícii, rozkliknem si to a mám tam množstvo drillov, ktoré môžem použiť. Čiže to je taká pomôcka, ktorá, ktorá je užitočná, podľa mňa. Čo sa týka tréningového zaťaženia, ako som už spomínala, chceme, aby ten tréning prebiehal tak, aby bol čo najefektívnejší. To tréningové zaťaženie je vlastne nejaký výsledok spojenia kvality a kvantity. A nie vždy platí, že čoho, čo je veľa, tak to je to správne. Čiže potrebujeme v tom nájsť taký správny balans a naozaj nie vždy veľké množstvo tých tréningov je, je možno tá cesta, ale potrebujeme, aby to množstvo tréningov bolo aj kvalitných tréningov. Čiže nájsť v tom taký správny balans a a pokúšať sa naozaj o to, aby, aby tie tréningy boli kvalitné. Dať si otázku sami, sám sebe, či je ten tréning efektívny. A to je možno otázka pre nás, pre trénerov, keď sa zamyslíme, ako, ako vedieme my naše tréningy, či nerozprávame veľa na tých tréningoch. Či, je to, či to není tak, že 
že veľa zastavujeme a tí hráči možno viacej na tom tréningu stoja a počúvajú nás, ako im stále niečo vysvetlujeme, alebo ich necháme na tom tréningu pracovať a aby ten tréning plynul. Čiže aj keď robíme nejaké cvičenie, možno keď robíme začiatky tých cvičení a oni hráči nepoznajú to cvičenie, chce to nejaký čas, aby sme im to vysvetlili, ale veľakrát sa stane, že robíme možno nejaké nové cvičenie a väčšinou tri štvrťka tých hráčov chápu tým cvičeniam. Ale vždy sa tam nájdú nejakí dvaja, traja, ktorí to možno nechápu, tak nepotrebujeme zastavovať celé to cvičenie, aby všetci stáli, ale skúsme sa individuálne si zobrať na boh tých hráčov, ktorí tomu nerozumejú a vysvetliť im to zvlášť, aby ten trénir, tréning mal plynulosť a nemuseli sme ho stále zastavovať. Čiže to sa týka nejakej uh, takej efektivity. S tým je samozrejme spojená aj intenzita toho tréningu. Čiže chceme, aby ten tréning bol naozaj intenzívny, aby, aby bol plynulý, aby sa nezastavoval, aby tí hráči, hráči išli na maximum. A pri tej intenzite veľakrát možno my tréneri máme pocit, že tí hráči to nerobia tak, jak my chceme, že to není na 100%, že to není dostatočne intenzívne. A niekedy sa môžeme skúsiť po tréningu alebo po cvičení opýtať tých našich hráčov, že čo si oni myslia, ako bolo, bolo intenzívne toto cvičenie. A možno oni povedia od 1 po 10, že 8. A my si myslíme, že to robili na 6. Čiže nie, nie je niekedy na škodu sa opýtať tých hráčov a potom aj my si vieme upraviť tú našu predstavu, lebo my máme asi väčšinou uh, väčšie nároky na tých hráčov, že chceme, aby to bolo vo vyššej intenzite, ale oni to možno naozaj robia pre nich v tej maximálnej intenzite. Čiže niekedy uh, sa možno treba opýtať aj, aj hráčov, čo si oni myslia. Uh, čo sa týka organizácie tých cvičení, Uh, ja si myslím, že teraz, čo sme videli, všetky tie cvičenia boli vynikajúcou ukážkou, ja to iba poviem v pár bodoch, uh, je, že uh, keď vykonávame nejaké cvičenie, tak musíme sa pozrieť na organizáciu toho cvičenia, či to nie je tak, že nám niektorí hráči štyria vykonávajú cvičenia a ďalší šiesti stoja na boku alebo nedaj Bože sedia na lavičke a pozerajú sa a 4 minúty sa ani nepohli. A teraz sme mohli vidieť ten drill, boli skupiny 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 a každý bol zapojený, aj ten možno nie úplne čo robil nejakú zabiehačku, ale každý, ktorý čakal narad, robil po boku nejaké cvičenie. Čiže organizácia toho cvičenia, aby boli zapojení všetci hráči, aby to nebolo tak, že nejaká dvojica pracuje alebo štvorica a ostatní stoja na boku a kým prídu narad, tak sa vlastne ani nespotia. Um. To napríklad môžem povedať, keď robíme cvičenia jedna na jedna, tak to sme dostali také príklady, napríklad keď sa robí zo stredu ihriska jedna na jedna, dvaja hráči pracujú, za nimi je zástup a ostatní čakajú, tak urobíme jedna na jedna zo 45, zo stredu zo 45 a znovu nechať možno nech aj vznikne nejaký chaos na tom ihrisku, pretože ten basket častokrát chaosom aj je. Čiže už len tým, že rozdelíme viacej spotov, je viacej hráčov zapojených a ten tréning je plynulejší. Čo sa týka nejakého uh, recovery time medzi cvičeniami, uh, tak odporúčaná tá doba na odpočinok medzi cvičeniami je 120 sekúnd, je náš 2 minúty a samozrejme záleží to od intenzity toho predchádzajúceho cvičenia. Čiže to už každý tréner si vie zhodnotiť, ako intenzívne bolo cvičenie predtým a koľko času dáme hráčom medzi, medzi tými cvičeniami. Um, ešte by som sa možno trošku vrátila k tým drillom, uh, aby sme možno, uh, väčšinou my tréneri používame drily, tie, ktoré sme robili, keď my sme boli hráči, alebo drily, ktoré používali naši tréneri, keď nás trénovali, tak možno, že je otázkou aj sa zamyslieť nad tými drillmi, ktoré využívame, že či sú efektívne pre, tie naše, pre tú našu tréningovú skupinu a či tie, drilly, či tie drilly splňajú všetko to, čo ja chcem s tými mojimi hráčmi dosiahnuť. Čiže je veľké množstvo na internete drillov, kde si môžeme naozaj si ich vyhľadať a inšpirovať sa. Čiže otázka je zamyslieť sa, či sú tie veci efektívne, ktoré robíme na tréningu. A v tabulke je iba spomenuté vlastne to, čo už som spomenula, tá organizácia tých cvičení, je nejaký ten počet hráčov, ktorí sú zapojení do cvičenia, priestor, či využívame iba polovicu ihriska alebo full court pri tých cvičení, intenzita, čas oddychu, ktoré sme už spomenuli a nejaká rotácia, dynamika toho cvičenia, aby to bolo stále plynulé, aby ten tréning stále bežal tak, ako má. 
Veľmi dôležitá vec, ktorú nemôžeme my tréneri zabúdať, je súťaživosť na tréningu, aby sme neustále medzi našimi, našimi hráčami vzbudzovali, aby sme ich naučili medzi sebou súťažiť a byť súťaživými. Pretože to je podľa mňa taká vlastnosť, ktorá nám častokrát chýba a predsa chceme, aby, aby tí naši hráči na zápase sa hodili po každú loptu, získali každý doskok a to je všetko nejaká tá súťaživosť, kedy oni chcú byť najlepší. A každé možno to cvičenie, ktoré robíme, naozaj urobiť to nejakou formou súťaže. A, lebo keby máme robiť nejaké jedna na jedna, nepočítame si body, no tak možno ma to bude baviť na začiatku, ale na konci sa tí hráči častokrát nesnažia, lebo vedia, oni nič a nič za to nemajú. Ale keď im dáme už len nejakú formu, že OK, tak ten, kto prehrá, tak ti potom dopustí flašku, alebo po tréningu odloží za teba lopty a rozlišovačky, alebo ti donesie nejakú sladkosť, ďalší tréning, alebo niečo už len takú formu, z čoho sa oni môžu potešiť a čo ich vzbudí v nich tú súťaživosť. Um, na záver by som iba dodala, že našou najdôležitejšou úlohou je, aby tí hráči odchádzali z tréningu s dobrým pocitom, aby mali úsmev na tvári a keď budú spokojní hráči, tak budeme spokojní aj my tréneri. To je z mojej strany asi všetko a ďakujem vám za pozornosť. So if, if I need some coaches to pass, can I count on you? Yes, yes, okay. I can go. Okay, guys, are you ready? Let's go. Give me one ball. I need one ball too. Okay, let's go, everybody here. Okay, coaches. Uh, guys, let's come here. Let's come here. Let's stay everybody here in the line, face to the coaches. Just on one line, face to the coaches. Okay, so, coaches, last session for today, shooting. Probably most important skill in basketball, because in the end of the day, after all genius tactic, we, sh we should be glad to have some player ready to score. Uh, why I'm talking in, the, in this way? Because Shooting is really most important fundamental skill in basketball and probably most difficult. That's why uh, we should find answers on some questions. First question is when to start teaching shooting. Some coaches are saying, I don't know, in, at age of 12 or something. I believe that we should start to teach shooting immediately because player will shoot anyway. If you are not going to show to them how to shoot, they will shoot. So it's better immediately to start explaining them how to shoot than to correct uh, mistakes from bad execution before. Uh, so then believe me that players at age of six, seven, they can shoot or normal shot if we teach them to use legs. I will explain to you now three segments of shooting before to start running with drills. I know that you know all of that, but my job is here to repeat also. So first of all, shooting mechanic, then physical preparation for shooting, we already discussed about that, then psychological preparation for shooting. So first, technique. Uh, when we are talking about shooting, so shooting starts from footwork. Uh, definitely we should uh, prepare our legs for shooting, so our legs should be approximately on the shoulder level. Always straight to the basket. They will say immediately, yes, coach, but Steph Curry is shooting like this. Yes, but he's shooting 2,000 shots per day. With 2,000 shots with legs, you can score. So good technique, it's with legs in parallel position. So if you are going to shoot from this position, this is position, if you are going to shoot from here, like this. I'm saying to my players always, try to put rim between your shoulders, like, 
when driving car. So we are not driving car like this. So we are not walking on the street like this. So why to shoot like this? So first of all, because we should use our muscles over there, so straight position. Because if we are turning hips on one side, we will turn also shoulders. And then we will miss on this side. I will tell you one, inter one interesting uh, story, true story. You know, Miloš Teodosic, probably one of the best point guards in last decade in Europe. When he played for CSKA Moscow, uh, my, one of my students analyzed his shooting technique and missed shots. You know, his player, he's shooting with legs turning on the left side. So in one season, 93 games, 93% of his missed shots were on the left side because his body was turned on the left. That's why this is just one, one example to support why we should stay like this. So we should stay with, in parallel position, okay, shoulder level approximately. We don't need to stay like this because if we are staying like this, our right hip will be in front and definitely we will rotate hip like this. So same line, same line with hips, same line with shoulders, okay. Approximately angle should be between 120, 130 degrees. Of course, depends on the strain of the players, but cannot be 160 and cannot be 90. So this is not good. This is not comfortable situation for the players. That's why we should stay in semi-squat position. How to hold the ball? We have generally in theory of basketball four grips of the ball. We have side grip, we have up grip, this is grip when we are catching bounce passes. We have low grip, this is when we are catching baseball pass in fast break. And so-called mixed grip. Mixed grip, first option, when we have hand under the ball and guiding hand on the side. And second situation, mixed grip, when we are making hand off pass. Again, we have hand under the ball and opposite hand on the side. Of course, for shooting, we are using miss grip, and I'm always teaching my, my players to, to have so-called shooting line. What is the meaning of shooting line? So all joints from on the shooting side must be on the same line. So if you're looking to me here, so ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, elbow, and wrist must be almost on the same position. So this is approximately good. So if you're looking to me, it's like this. If my knee is inside, it's not good. If my knee is outside, it's not good. If my elbow is here, I cannot provide for ball backspin. If my elbow is not under the ball. So this is shooting line. So we are holding ball with mixed grip. Here we have big enemy, mobile phone, because key finger in controlling the ball, sorry, because I'm turning back to you, it's thumb. So we cannot hold the ball like this. We should hold ball like this and they are probably, screen time is probably six hours per day. So every day they are doing like this with thumb inside. And then we are coming on the practice, we pretend to have thumb outside. So thumb outside guys, please, when you are shooting to control better ball, shooting, passing and dribble, bigger surface, better control. So that's why we should extend thumb outside. Of course, we are holding the ball on all fingers. Some. Uh, some, in some books you can find on the top of the fingers. No, it's not true. We are not holding ball like this. All fingers, but we must have one space here between. So we are controlling when we are checking if light is cold or not. When we are touching girls, we are not touching here. We are touching with, with, uh, with our, uh, you know, nerves here. So we should control also ball here. And finger who is giving direction to the ball it's index finger. So not like this, we should give like, shoot like this and thumb must be out. So how to do some drills to teach players another stuff, sorry to finish. So I should bend my knees in the moment of extension of the knees, elbow should be approximately on the eye level and this is the moment to shoot the ball. Okay, so I should connect. Typical mistake, it's when players are going down, then going up, and then shooting from two moves. This is not good. So we should connect legs and arms. So practically in the moment of extension of the legs, we should release the ball. 
after shut, we should follow through. There are three reasons why to follow through. So first reason, to finish kinetic change, to finish move. Second reason to, to follow through after the shot is foul after the shot, because if you're shooting like this, no foul after the shot. And third, probably most important reason, correction. So if I'm shooting like this, I cannot correct. Who is going to make corrections? Players, auto corrections, and coaches. So if they are shooting like this, you will say, put your elbow over there. So this is very important also to teach activities under the shot, after the shot. Now, let's go on the line, just stay, some basic, no, no, just stay like this in one line, face to the coaches, I will do with you. Let's put legs in the right position, parallel position, some basic drills, which can be made also in mini basket, but also top level players, when they are correcting shooting position. Guys, let's try to extend thumb, try to put ball like this, and now first drill, just roll ball, roll ball and be in this position. Let's try to do this. This is for thumb, but try to go down, big guy. Okay, when you are rolling ball, bend your knees. Yes, bend your knees. So we can do this outside of the court. Volleyball team is playing before us. We are doing something. Okay, after this now, let's try to connect guiding hand. Hop, hop, be ready. Okay, so next drill after five minutes is to release ball. I want you to shoot the ball in that way that your elbow is going up. So you must shoot like this, here. So you should catch the ball. If ball is going here, if you cannot catch, that means that your elbow is in front. So, so try to do this simple stuff. Okay, here, here, and elbow up. This is right position of elbow. Let's go. Okay, and try to keep also, this is another common mistake. Players are shooting with right hand and they're moving left hand down. So shoulders are going out of balance. Try to keep also left hand on the, after, following through, thank you. Following through after. So also left hand semi flexed after the shot. Let's try to do it. Hop. So try to collect legs. You have not shoulders like Schwarzenegger, you know. Regular position, parallel position. Boom, shoot like this. Hop. Thumb out like this. Let's go, guys. Let's try to do it a couple of times. Let's go. Control. Thumb out. Think about thumb out. Blackie. Blackie, I don't want you to shoot like this. Hey. Extend thumb. After shooting, I don't want you like this. Out. Show me. Hop. Thumb out. Yes. Yes, like this. But finish shot. They must finish shot. They must conclude shot. Okay, so this is basically about technique. Now some next important aspect, of course, footwork. Let's try to do this, guys. Simple stuff, one by one. Come here. We can start in mini basket in closer position. Here, let's start from free throw. Okay, just stay like this here. Okay, footwork, just make 90 degrees. Go back and shoot the ball. Okay, let's go. Jump, go. Let's go. Hop, hop, and shoot the ball immediately. Think about thumb position and think about follow through. Let's go, let's go, one by one. Try to stay low, guys, try to stay low. Don't change level of your body center gravity. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, quickly. Hop, 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 go opposite side. Go opposite side. Hop, hop, yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, one by one. Of course, coaches. All the players are making different mistakes. So our main job is to stay over there and to correct, to correct, to correct every single repetition. So our job is like this. Okay, let's try to do now 180 degrees. So step like this, here, here, and shoot the ball. Hop, hop, stay in balance. Let's go, let's go, one by one, just quickly, just quickly, hop, hop, go. Go. Basic stuff. Believe me, also top level players are doing like daily routine before the practice. Before the practice, serious players are doing this. And this is also teaching for mini basket. Stay low. Stay low, guys. Try to finish. So this guy was shooting like this. Okay, this guy thumped in. Let's see. Go. Hop. Hop. Okay, not bad. This is good. 
too high position of the legs. So every player different mistake. Okay, let's go on next drill now. Now we are moving on one leg. Now let's make step back, step side here and shoot the ball like this. Come on. So you make step side, go back and shoot the ball. Come on. Let's go. Hop. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Hop. Go faster, guys. Go faster. Don't change level. Hop. Hop. But more on the side. Go more on the side. Hop. More on the side, more on the side. Yes, like this. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. One, two, one, two, go. Now go left, bravo. Go left, hop. Go left, hop, hop. More on the side, guys. More on the side, bravo. One, two, shoot the ball. One, two, shoot the ball. Okay, next situation. Step forward, step backward, shoot the ball. Come on, let's go. Step forward, step backward, shoot the ball. Stay low, stay low guys. Step forward, step backward, shoot the ball. Go on, hop, go on, go on, okay. Next, diagonal forwards and go back. Hop, hop, go. Go quicker, so we should make steps. Here, go back here and elbow over there and shoot the ball. Come on, hop, hop, bravo, this is good. Little bit upper body, upper, not here, here. Elbow up, elbow up. Let's go, let's go. So, older players, why not three-point shot? Why not three-point shot? Of course, you can change position. Go on, okay. Another important point. When we start teaching kids shooting in mini basket, some coaches are doing this drill. Stay here in front of me. Try to make basket, put ball down. They are making this, you know, make basket, make rim, make rim. Yes, like this, like rim. They are shooting this. We don't want this because elbow is here. So we don't want this. That's why we should start to teach shooting under the basket. Because if I'm starting from this position, okay, my elbow cannot go in front. So under the basket, always start because doing this, thank you, doing this, elbow is going here. We want to avoid this. So after teaching those basic stuff, we should start to teach uh, methodology of shooting is like this, like layup. Okay, let's do like this, all of you guys, just to show quickly. Pass ball to me and go slowly, go slowly and count. Left, right, shoot. So, left, right, shoot the ball. Let's go, just one lap. Quickly, 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 let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Tell me, left, right, say, left, right, left, right, shoot. Left, right, shoot, left, right, shoot. Come on, let's go, quickly, 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 left, right, shoot. Left, right, shoot. Just one lap and we go. Now change direction and same stuff. Mini basket, you start from second rebounding position. They are big enough, so pass to me. Change direction, same stuff. Left, right, shoot. Quickly, quickly, guy, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Hop, change, go, 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 quickly. Hop, go, go, bravo. Say, say, left, right, say, left, right, say, left, right, say, left, right. Okay, now we change, just once we change. Okay. We of course, you should stay more with kids. Next situation is to, to make shot, to take shot after frontal passes. Okay, pass ball to me, run frontally. I will make bounce pass first and then direct pass, shot. Nothing else. Let's go. Let's go quickly, guys. We should have one, two, shoot the ball. Right, left, right, Le left, right. Straight running, straight running, straight running, straight run. Let's go, let's go. Okay, now direct, direct pass. Let's go. Next step in methodology, direct pass. Go on, hop. Let's go. One, two, go. Okay, now go up a little bit. Pass to me. Now side bounce pass. Go on. Side run, just run, just run. Without change, just straight run. And I will pass to you, bounce pass, left, right shooting. Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Okay, now direct. I will pass direct. So, now direct. Of course, after 5 minutes or 10 minutes with kids, I'm just going to show you methodology. Go on, go on. Okay, it's enough. So, after being satisfied, we are going to next level. Next level is to connect physical preparation and shooting. Let's do like this, guys. 
three of you over there in the corner, three of you over there in the corner. We are combining, let's make some shooting after agility drill. Okay, you start from here, try to dribble with left hand, two legs over, two legs over. When you arrive here, sprint around this cone, you sprint around this. Okay, here, dribbling, crossover here, okay, here, inside out, pull up jumper and switch lines. Okay, let's go. Let's go, together, together, together. Try to dribble with weak side hand. Weak side hand dribble, dribble with left. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Next, next. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Head up, let's go. So, basic inside out, inside out, one leg. One, two, as I showed you before. Not like this. Change, so you are dribble. One, two, and you go. Let's go. Just change two times and we go. Go on, go on. You finish both sides? No. No, finish, finish, finish one lap. Finish two laps and we go, okay? You start from here, huh? So now we are okay. Now, after that, we are going to do something else. Let's make heel skissers. Okay, dribble over there, change. Now it's important for shooting. So when you arrive here, okay, you change direction. Let's make now between the legs. You arrive here, okay. Touch chair, stay low, okay. I don't want you to bend your back. Touch and one dribble inside and shoot the ball. Two contact stop, let's go. Let's go, quickly, 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 guys. Faster, football, pop, 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 pop. Like dancing on the fire. Let's go. Hop. Change. Bravo. Touch. Dribble inside. One, two. Shoot the ball. Bravo. Of course, you should correct. You should correct. So, usually we are saying stay low, but I'm putting chair here because when they are touching, they should bend knees. In a regular situation, they will say yes, coach, and they will stay like this. So, try to influence. Let's go. Okay, everything same, but now we are making dribble on the side. Okay, let's change over there. Now let's make side jumps. Side jumps. Okay, here touch and side dribble. Let's go, let's go. Move forward, move forward with jumps. Move forward with jumps, let's go. Go over there, touch, touch and go. Bravo, one, two. Touch and go, one, two, bravo. Let's go, guys, stay low. So, typical mistake here. They are touching and they are moving ball from here. No, touch, hip, dribble. Okay, not touch and dribble from over there. Every time, ball on the hip, protect, one, two, and shoot the ball. Okay, after 10 minutes or next practice, now let's make this side, right leg jumps, over there, left leg jumps. We work on verticality. Just touch chair here and shoot the ball. Okay? Finally, I scored. Okay, let's go, guys. Just touch and be vertical. Let's go. Change side. Touch and go up. You decide about dribble. I'm not talking now about dribble. Can be behind the back, spin dribble. So you change. One practice, crossover, next practice between the legs, next practice behind the back. Come on, touch and go. Verticality of shooting. Go on. Touch and go. Come on. Stay low, stay low. Don't lift your body center gravity, guys. Don't lift body center gravity. Okay. Now we can do this. One group, everybody here. Everybody here, guys, one group. Okay, come here. Sit on the chair and jump shut. But I don't want to see you do like this. This, this, and shut. When you are jumping from the chair, shoot the ball. Try to connect, let's go. Yes, not bad, bravo. 
but sometimes we need to score, okay? This is goal. Let's go, let's go. Try to do once. Connect legs, jump. Not free throw, jump. Jump shot, jump shot. Hop, jump. Yes, you can see, elbow here. We don't want, we want elbow here. Elbow up, up, elbow up. Yes, go on, go on. Elbow up. You should shoot over defender. Come on, elbow up. Elbow up, don't go on the side. Over me, over me. Yes, thumb out, guys. Thumb out, thumb out. Don't shoot with two arms. Just one, just right. Vertical jump, don't jump on the side. Don't jump on the side, vertical jump. Like this, what is this? I don't know. Like this, not like this. Two fingers, huh? Probably iPad or something, this is not shooting. It's wrong. Okay, so you can do, do it again, do it again. Poop, jump, okay. Give me two hurdles, please. Two hurdles, small hurdles. Now again, we are working on verticality of shooting. Stay behind here. Just two. Okay, this is level of strawberry. With older group, they should do hardless like this. Okay, two jumps and shot in front of chair. Let's go. Jump, 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 two legs. We want you to be vertical, so don't jump on the chair. Vertical, this is not good. Vertical, yes, correct, bravo. Hop, vertical shot. Try to lift your elbow. Try to lift elbow up. Keep balance, don't jump in front. Elbow up, not here. Come on, guys, let's go. Basic stuff of shooting, come on. Go. Go, jump, jump, shot. Okay, now, side, lateral jump, twist and shoot. One lateral, now twist and shoot the ball, let's go. So, again, can be competition. Here is basic fonda foundation of shooting, we are not counting. We want to keep them focused on technique. Older groups can be competition. You can shoot from seven meters with senior players. Same drill, five made, ten made in a row. So you decide. Okay, stop now. Let's make one lateral jump, then swing 280 and regular stop. Do you understand? So one, one. Yes. Okay. So you make one lateral here, then you move here. Then one here and shoot the ball. Let's go. Yes, go on, go on. So we change lateral movements. Let's go. One, two, bravo, like this. So change, swing, swing. One, two, balance. Let's go, vertical jump. Keep it vertical. Keep it vertical. Okay, super, good. Let's go. Hop, go, bravo. Shooting, boom, super. Hop, hop, good. Bravo. Take care. Take care. Okay, go on. Go on. Bravo. I need one coach who would like to help me. Stay in the corner. Okay. I'm always I always prefer to make some decision making. Let's do like this, guys. Three players under the basket, three players on the top of the key here. What we are going to do? You will pass to your friend, his coach, respect for coach, okay? So go over there, sprint. Now, decision making. You can decide. You can go to make curl cut as you did around, pass to him. How you will pass to him, which hand, okay, left hand, because defender is here, so as we said before, I cannot make two hands, step away, one hand pass, so if he made curl, you are going opposite side, you make back door, you touch here, bounce pass, back door, shoot the ball, okay, and switch lines, okay, if he make back door, you make curl, always decision making, let's go. You can decide. So you are influencer, you are follower. Let's go. Let's go. Go over there. 
you decide. Curl, you make back door. Left hand pass, go. Go, shoot the ball, shoot the ball. We are shooting. We are shooting. Come on. Go on, go on. Curl, back door. Let's make you back door, big guy. Make you back door, back door. Hop, back door, you make curl. Bravo. Curl around. So at the beginning you are saying, then they are deciding. So they are your shouting, you know. Nothing. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Try to score. Try to think about technique from before. Thumb out, thumb out. Show target hand, guys. Show target hand every time. Show target hand. On curl, right, on the back door, left. Let's go. Let's go. Go on. Target hand, target hand. I want to see target hand. I want to see target hand, guys, all the time. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Some more difficult drill for shooting. Easy for kids, but not easy for stopping. I need one more guy to come here. Okay, let's make three players here. Three players over there. Short corner. You stay here and you stay over there without the ball. Pass to them. So-called so -called flick flack drill. Okay, what we will do? At the same time, we are shooting, so you will pass to him. Okay, and you will run diagonally around this cone. Bounce pass to him. Bounce pass. Left, right, shoot. You will pass. You go this way. Direct pass. So at the same time we are starting. We are working on two contact stops. So you receive the ball left, right here. And you go right, left. And switch lines. Okay? We're going at the same time? Yeah, yeah. At the same time. At the same time. Let's go at the same time. Traffic. Go, go, go. So bounce, direct. Let's go, let's go. Shoot. Always diagonal. Let's go. Next, next, next. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's go. You are not trucks on the road, you know. You should organize yourself. Come on. Basic stuff. We are working on to show me target hand. Target hand, guys. I want to see target hand. Target hand. Okay. It's enough. Now, same stuff. Same stuff, after 10 minutes, 10 made. You receive the ball here, shot fake, one dribble, one, two, shoot the ball. Let's go. Everything same. Of course, you can extend on the three-point line, two-point line, you decide. Basic stuff of stopping. Flick, flack, poop, receive, target hand, and stop and shoot the ball. Go on, go on, guys, come on. Okay, here, stop. Teaching point. When they are using shot fake, typical mistake, most of them are doing like this. Again, shot fake and ball here. First of all, shot fake must be made only with ball. So we don't want to extend knees when making shot fake. Shot fake with ball. With ball, hip, dribble. Not shot fake, extending legs and ball from here. So, shot fake, hip and go. Let's go. Don't extend your knees. Don't extend your knees on the hip and go. Because you should protect, you should protect ball from defender. So you cannot dribble in front of you. Protection here and then one, two. Let's go, guys. Okay, everything same, but now after dribble, jump stop, one contact stop. So you receive ball here, fake, one dribble, jump stop. Okay, let's go. Go on, go on, come on. Jump stop, not one, two, just one contact. So we are changing. Then with older group, you can make step back. You can make step side, but we don't need to do now. We are teaching them fundamentals. Let's go. Fake, one, two, go. Come on, guys, let's go. You can do same drill coaches putting one chair here, one chair here that they are running full court. 
I don't want to kill them now because they are really tired. They are all day here. So they should run one chair over there, one chair over there, touching chair, and going over there, jump, stop, and shoot the ball. So you decide. Go on, go on, guys. Okay, it's enough. I need uh, one of you who think that he's a good shooter. Who think he's a good shooter? We are in problem, guys. When I say who is good shooter, they are looking around. Nobody say I'm good shooter. You know who is good shooter? Probably this player here. You can come, coach, but it's difficult for you. Okay, who will shoot? You? Who will shoot? You? Okay. So this drill, I'm working usually sets of 100 or 200 made shots. Immediately, easy stuff, don't worry, you will not make 100. Let's do like this. I will change, you just make four repetitions of each technique. I need two guys over there to pass to him, come here. We will stop. I'm doing with older players, under 16 and older senior players. They know what I want to do. I'm changing technique just with one sentence and they are doing like this. So what you will do? You should go back, three, four meters back. Okay, you pass to him. Let's make like this. First thing, one, two, shoot the ball, then move back, hop, one, two, shoot the ball, but now left, right, two times left, right, two times right, left. Just pass to him. Just move a couple of steps back and shoot the ball. Let's go. Stay low, teaching points here. When player is coming to the ball, stop, stop. When you are coming to the ball, okay, immediately when you move, I want you to be ready. So shooting pocket ready, you are going just to absorb ball, low legs and shoot the ball. Okay, let's go, let's go. Four times, just shoot the ball. Left, right, right, left, let's go. Go on, go on. Just pass to him, hop, go, let's go, two more. Bend your knees, lift your elbow. When shot is short, or you need, didn't bend knees, or you didn't lift elbow, two things. Okay, now receive the ball, okay, pass to me. Shot, fake, and shot. Okay, let's go. Shot, fake, shot, four times. Hop, hop, stop, stop. We don't want you to go like elevator, up and under. Shot, fake, just with the ball, not, no, we don't want this, okay? Just with ball, go. Yes, this is a little bit better. Go on, go on, go on. Hand like this, ball left, okay? Come on, guys, come on, guys. Two players, I don't need four. Hey, two outside, just need, I need two. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hop, make fake, okay. It's enough, now, you're going to receive the ball, jump step, Kobe Bryant, if you remember that gentleman, so short, 45 degrees, jump step here, receive the ball and shoot the ball. Let's go. I'm jump step left, hop, go. Now left, now left. Hop, stop, stop. You cannot make jump step on the left side. You cannot make jump step on the left side with ball here. Okay, jump step here, ball here. Jump step on the left, ball here, and then go back. Okay? On the left side. No. On the left. Left knee. On the left knee. Here or here. You understand? Fine. Let's go. Hop. More. More on the side. More on the side. Not here. Here. So this is short movement. Short jump step. If you remember, Kobe Bryant was excellent. Hop. And then pull up jumper immediately. Okay. Now let's make combination. You receive the ball. Shot fake. One, two, pull up jumper. I'm. So I'm doing with serious players 10 mates each technique, 10 mate shots each technique all the time. Let's go. Let's go. Go back. Run back. Stay low. Show target hand. One, two. How many? You need more. Stay lower. Stay lower. Stay lower. Hop. One, two. Fake hip dribble. Okay. Now same jump stop. Now you receive the ball, shot fake, jump, stop. I want you to shoot from elbow. Receive ball here and shoot from elbow. Without any problem, you can do like this, okay. You receive ball here, shot fake, elbow, out of the nail. Because with jump stop, you are escaping from defender. Okay, let's go. 
let's go. Hop, stop, stop. What was mistake, coaches? Dribble here. Fake here and push ball. You cannot make dribble between the legs. Try to put ball on the hip and then escape. Let's go. Slowly, just relax. Hop, more on the hip. You don't need to touch nail. Outside of nail. This is nail. Nail. From here. Let's go. Let's go. Jump here. Here. No. Again dribble here. As you saw. Do it again. Stop. Fake. Yes. You can see now without any problem you can go also half meters less. It's about dribble. It's not about stopping. Okay. Okay. Now let's make some simple stuff. So you receive the ball. Let's make one, two. Fake. Up and under. And glass. Go. One, two, fake, up and under, glass. Go back, go back, let's go. So all different techniques from here, from here, from middle. Go on, go on, both sides, come on. Go on, go on. Hop, let's jump you now. Replace him, let's go. Let's go, one more time. Okay, two, bravo. Okay, thank you. We are changing you, not because you are bad, because you are tired. Now, receive the ball here on the top of the key. Okay, same. One, two, okay, fake here, go back and shoot the ball, okay, let's go, fake in the middle, hop, one, two, fake, boom, boom, bravo, here coaches again, shoulders, cannot move, no, shoulders here, move back, relax, let's go, let's go, two times left, two times right, hop, one, two, hop, move, move, stay low when making pivot, don't lift your body center gravity. Don't lift your body center gravity. Stay low, stay low, move. Okay. Now, next, as we did this morning, Rondo. Fake, one, two, fake here, pivot here, and shoot the ball from over there. Can you understand? Okay. If you go on left, stop here, pivot here, fade away shot. Let's try to do. Come on. Hop. One, two, bravo. Okay. Pivot good. Let's go. So we are starting from low pull, from uh, short distance, hook, get closer, no, I don't want this, two legs jumps, let's go, do it again, hop, one, two, hop, pivot, shoot the ball, okay, one, jump vertical, jump vertical, don't jump on the side, hop, one, two, shoot the ball, bravo, okay, super, next technique, pass ball to me, you receive ball, one dribble, go back, shoot, not step back. You receive just one dribble next to your leg and go back and shoot the ball without moving left leg here. I'm. Let's go. Bravo. I don't want you to jump. Listen. Just, you're not moving pivot foot. Just here and here. Not here and here. Let's go. Yes, this is better. But try to be in parallel position. When you make fake, you cannot shoot like this. You should move back your left leg. Let's go. Hop, one, two, bravo. Okay, let's go. Stay lower, stay lower, stay lower. Hop, bravo, this is good, super, very good. Okay, let's try now what we did before. Give me a ball. Let's try now, you're dribbling from here. Okay, let's make, hop, hop, boom, shoot the ball. You did before? It got, hop, hop, let's go. Steve Nash, hop, hop, stop. Not stop, second dribble, after second shoot. Time. Let's go. Let's go. Hop. Hop. Boom. Time. Let's go. Hop. Shoot the ball. Bravo. Let's go. Change side. Change side. Go on left. Go on left. Hop. Hop. Shoot the ball. Bravo. This is what we want. So defender is going down. Boom. You shoot immediately. Okay. You finish. Okay. Let's try to do now. Okay. Let's try to do now. Step side. So you stop here. Receive the ball. Step side and shoot the ball. Can you? Try. Yes, one dribble and step side. So, receive the ball here. Shot fake, one dribble and step side here. And boom, shoot the ball. Time, let's go. One, not two. Fake, one dribble. Try again on the left side. Try again on the left. Hop. One dribble, one dribble. Just one dribble.
Vrij. Vrij, don't shame, don't shame. Yes, this is something like this. So. Go, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Try to correct yourself. Go. Try to do it. Don't look James Harden. He's stopping with five, five steps, you know. Forget him, you know. Bird is making five steps, no traveling, only in NBA. Let's go. Okay, not bad. Okay, next can be step back. Step back. Look at Doncic. Okay, so here and step back and shoot the ball. Get closer. Try to get closer. Receive the ball on the free throw line and try to do it. Time. Yes. Bravo. Go on. Go on. Go on. Get closer. Hop. Step back. Shoot the ball. Bravo. Not bad. Let's go. Okay. Super. Next technique. Next technique can be you are starting here and go back. So dribble from the from this position and shoot the ball. Hop. Go back and shoot the ball. As we did before here, you're doing just between the legs and go back. Go. Yes. Bravo. Bravo. Good. Go on left. Go on left. Get closer. Hop. Look. So think coaches if he's scoring 10, 10, 10, 10, 100, 150. So I show minimum 10 techniques. 10 techniques, 2 points, 3 points, 1 shot, 2, 1 shot, 3. You decide what to do. Okay, it's enough. Bravo, thank you. Okay, guys, uh, next situation, drive and kick. Next situation on shooting is very important to teach them drive and kick game. Let's make groups, two groups, one group here, one group over there, put this cone here on the level. Give me one more cone, please. Elbow extension. I need one coach. You're staying here. Stay here. This group, pass ball to him. Give me ball. Two guards cooperation, okay? You're following me. If I'm driving in the middle, what are you doing? Move outside of cone. Okay? One, two, pass. Okay? shoot the ball and I'm going back I'm receiving from you and I'm shooting here okay and switch lines so this group is passing to coach timing you are looking to him so you start moving when he start dribbling this group of the dribble pass as we say this morning one two of the dribble I don't want to catch of the dribble because if pass is close I can go back let's go Come on, guys, let's go. Stop, stop, stop. Go back. Go back, go back. Go back here. How you should move. Try to dribble, show me how you are moving. Stay here, stay here. This is your position, guys. Let's go. Okay, stop. It's better for you to move like this or to sprint. You are faster when sprinting, so sprint. Don't make defensive slide. When I'm asking slide, you will sprint. When I'm asking sprint, you will slide. So they should sprint. Sprint and look over the shoulder. Banana cut around the arc. I'm on. Sprint. Sprint. Yes. Now you are basketball player. Bravo. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. Go on. Bravo. Hop. Receive the ball. Shoot the ball. Together. Start together. Start together. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, drive and kick, boom, pass, go back. Super, stay here now. After 10 minutes, shooting after the dribble. Do the same when you receive the ball, stop. Pass to him, stop. Are you attacking this basket or you're attacking ladies over there? So why you're driving here? Uh, give me one more cone, please. Cone. Okay, give me this one. So guys, you should attack this cone here. When you are going to dribble, I want you to attack basket. So you dribble here, pass here, and touch cone. Okay, because usually now they are playing like handball, you know, they are running around the arc. So what we are going to do now, do it again, do it again. Try to receive ball 
try to receive ball in front of Con. Okay, go on. Pass to him. Okay, now shot fake, one dribble in the middle. Should not here and here, here, here and dribble. When you pass to him, you move here, around, you receive ball from coach here, shot fake, dribble here and shoot the ball. Fine, let's go from beginning. Come on. Try to make, guys, look, look, look. Fake, hip, dribble. Not fake dribble. Do it slowly but precisely. Fine, let's go. Pass, stop. What I say about passing? No, about passing with left hand, but without catching of the dribble. You stop the ball, stop the dribble and pass. We should correct coaches. We are teaching them, they are not teaching us. Correct every single time. Better to correct them three months and then we are okay all the life. If you are not correcting, then we will start to think about zone offense, zone defense, pick and roll and correction of passing. No way. So try to clean trash from the beginning. Okay, let's go. Bravo, go on, hop. Shot fake under the cone, baseline dribble. Bravo, good. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, drive and kick. Bravo, go under, go under. Receive ball, baseline, baseline, baseline dribble, second player. First player middle, second player baseline, baseline drive, hop. Baseline, bravo, good. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. Okay, go on, hop, dribble, baseline. Super, stop now. After 10 minutes, decision making. So you can decide. So when you receive the ball, go with me, go with me, pass to me, here. So you can decide. Can you make a little bit better pass? Please, please. Yes, this is good. So now, if, if, look, if he's going here, you go back over there. If he is going in the middle, you run behind. Drive and kick to be ready for second drive. Okay? Let's go. So you decide, you follow. Go on, go on. Let's go. Bravo. Sprint, pass, read him. So you go up. Bravo. One dribble shot. One dribble shot. We are working on shooting. Let's go. Decide you. Hop. You go back. Quick decision making, just one decision. Very simple drill. Go on, hop, you go, bravo. You go on, super. Go on, bravo, very good, super. Go on, shoot free, shoot free points, you can shoot for free. Hop, hop, bravo, one, two, you base. Go on, go on, hop, go. If you want to develop, stop. If you want to develop this drill, you start with driving, with shooting, then this can be also one-on-one -on -one drill. So after pass, he can run for close out here and they can play one-on-one. -on -one. So another option without explaining new drill, new stuff, you just say, okay, hoop, one-on-one. -on -one. So you don't need to waste time. Okay, guys, let's do like this now. One group over there, three players under the basket, three players on the top of the key. I need you again. Please uh, put one cone over there, diamond, diamond exit. Diamond over there, same position like me, here. Okay, we don't need this, we don't need this, clean this cone. Okay, what we are going to do? You are first, okay, you are first, stay you be first. Pass to him. Go to make exit on this side. Okay, stop. Defender is here. What you should do before to go out? Let's do like this. Try to touch line here. Ask, look for ball and sprint here. You will pass with left hand. Okay, now. When you receive the ball, okay, you look at me. I'm driving in the middle, move over there. Shoot the ball and you move around here. You receive ball from coach and you shoot again, okay? Left hand pass, off the dribble, right hand. You pass, you pass to coach. You pass to coach over there. Let's go, hop, bravo. Left hand pass, stop, stop. Sorry, bench. 
I just say left hand, left hand pass 10 seconds ago. I'm sure that he knows million applications on mobile phone. Don't tell me that he cannot remember one information from me. I'm a guy, let's go. Hop, go on, show target hand, stop. Why you move before? Two players, two on zero, timing. You start moving when he put dribble on the floor, not before. Let's go, let's go, hop, fake, wait for him, wait for him, wait for him. Now, full speed, pass, sprint, shoot the ball, bravo. Let's go, next, come on. Let's go, next, hop, pass, don't move before, sprint, don't slide. 99, don't slide, sprint, switch lines, switch lines. Hop, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, pass through the ball. So again, coaches, competition, individual competition or competition between pairs, you decide. Or count how many points all team is scoring. To see if you want, if you are scoring two from ten, we are not going to play diamond, we are not stupid. You know? Why to play diamond if you cannot score it? We don't need to learn... German language before to go in Spain, you know, try to be smart. Okay, let's do like this, same drill, pass to him, coach, move over there, move over there. What we are going to do now, uh, pass to him, go over there, receive the ball, go, pass to him. Now you are driving baseline, drive over there, what you should do on baseline drive, no, you replace him here, you stop here. Pass to him, boom, and sprint over there, receive the ball from coach and shoot. So baseline drive, middle drive. I'm a guys, let's go. Decision making, shooting, here, it's curl move, two contact stop, pop pop all the time. Go on, go on. Let's go, let's go, next. Go on, wait for him, I want you to sprint, sprint. Go, go, go! Baseline, pass, hoop, sprint over there, bravo! Super, go on, go on! This guy is sleeping all day. Shooter over there, all day sleeping on the practice. I will kick him out of practice ten times, till now, minimum. Let's go, guys! I say it ten times, please do it, do it, after they do it, ciao, arrivederci, I cannot wait for you all the day, let's go, let's go guys, fast, stop, stop, go back, make drive here, make drive here, I'm defender, receive the ball, drive, 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 I'm here, how you can pass ball. No, I'm here. This pivot. So you should pivot away. I'm here, you cannot pass from here. I'm here, so you make step away and pass the ball. Let's go, let's go guys. Just show to coaches again how you're doing well. Okay, let's go. So back pivot and pass with right hand. Go immediately, drive. One, two, boom, stop, pivot, pass, sprint over there. Bravo. Good, very good. Super. Okay, go on, go on, attack with him, super, bravo, pass, sprint over there, very good, okay, okay, it's enough, guys, another drill, we are adding third player, drive and kick with three, put this cone over there, let's make groups like this, guys, one player in the middle, one player here, one player over there, two groups of three, you stay, you stay like me on the same position, okay? Stay on the free throw line extension. Free throw line extension. Who is with you? Come on, you come here. Two groups of three. One, two, three. Go somewhere. Okay, you stay here. One more guy here. Okay, what we are going to do, guys? You will pass to me. You pass to coach over there, okay? Drive on the left side in the middle. You move, you move up when he's driving on the baseline, pass to him, okay, then you go under, drive in the middle, two dribbles, you move back over there, I will pass to you to shoot, pass to him, 
coach get closer. Then, after passing, you are going here to take handoff pass and shoot the ball. So all three players are shooting. Let's try to do it slowly. Okay? Can we? Can we? Go. First drive. Pass to him. Hand off. Shoot the ball. Bravo. Let's go. Next. Come on. Go on. Go on. Hop. Pass. Don't catch the ball. Drive over there. Opposite side. Aimo. Again. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Pass to coach. Stop. Stop. You are guard. Okay. He is driving over there. What you should do? Of course. First lift. And on the second drive, sprint under. Okay? Do you understand? Yes or no? If, you, if no, ask. Better to ask than make mistake. Right, let's go. Pass, go in the corner, go on, pass, sprint, hand off, shoot the ball. Bravo. I'm next. Next. Hop. Go on. Bravo. Shoot the ball. I'm a change. Let's go. Change positions. You are here. You are here. You receive and drive in the middle. Aimo, let's go. Go over there. Corner. Corner. Don't catch ball of the dribble pass. Let's go. You start from here. From here. Free throw line extension. Spacing. Aimo, pass to him. Receive the ball. Go. Hand off. Shoot the ball. So. There are a million options. Let me show you a couple of different drills. Okay, now guys, let's do like this. This is mostly for big guys, but let's be you as you are big. You stay over there and you stay over there. Be you big. You come here. Okay, we have two point guards. You play over there. You stay over there with him. Uh, you will stay here. I'm going to be here. So this group, stay a little bit behind pass ball to me, you pass ball to him. Okay, take ball, just be you coach. What we are going to do? You are going to set screen for him. But first of all, before to set screen, I'm defender. If you're... No, no, you don't need to go down. What you should do? Come to me. Contact with me and then go for screen. Okay, what you should do before to dribble left? Before to dribble right, you know that screen is coming from this side. So attack here. First, set screen, set screen here. Okay, let's do like this. He's rolling. Okay, you pass to him. Okay, uh, you pass to him. You go around, under. When he rolls, you lift, you go to receive. You as a point guard, you will come. You, I will pass to you to shoot free. Okay, okay so you're coming here. Pass here and just sprint and I will pass to you for three point shot. Do you understand? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, roll and shoot. Go. Go, go for screen. Hop, go for screen. Hop, you move up. Bravo. Roll. You roll. Again, again, again. You are rolling to the basket. Roll because we play for you. So when he you stay over there. When he start rolling, what are you doing? First of all, lift and then go under. Roll and dunk. I'm. Let's go. Set screen. Hop. One, two. Pass to him. He's going out. You're going down. Okay. You receive ball. Okay. You receive ball. Pass to him. Okay. Then you run on elbow here to receive ball from coach. After pass, you will receive from me. Okay, okay? so you go back around the three-point line. Do you understand? Okay, so you go down. Start from here. Coaches, we are talking about spacing. If they are not sure with spacing, I'm putting tapes on the floor. So, tapes on which positions? This is one position, elbow extension. Over there, corner. El free throw line extension, elbow extension, top of the key. I want them to be on those positions because of five on five. And we can start in under 14 to teach them spacing for drive and kick. If, if you are doing this without screen, same. 
because if you are making one meter shorter distance, five players are making one meter less close out in 75 possessions per game, there will be two kilometers less of running. So just be smart to calculate. Okay, be clear. Here, free throw line, corner. Nothing else. Go. Stop, stop. Okay, my mistake. Another stuff. I'm teaching like this, guys. Let's do like this. You are setting screen always with three point line between your legs because he can shoot for free. So I want you to set screen here, like this. Dribble over there and then sprint over there. Pass and sprint here to shoot the ball. Okay? Stay, uh, stay a little bit down on the cone level. Cone level, you. You are on the cone. Go, go. Come on, come on, hop, go. One, two, pass to him, reverse, reverse, go. Aimo, bravo, very good, super. Next, next, Aimo, let's go, hop. Pop out, pop out, corner, pass, shoot the ball. Let's go, next. Pop out, bravo, good, super, bravo. Let's go. Aimo, guys, let's go, hop. Pop out, hop, pass, shoot the ball, bravo. Okay, one more time, one more time, both of you. Let's go, guys, let's go. Hop, go, pass, sprint, shoot the ball. Okay, one more time and we change, let's go. Hop, go down, on pop, super, shoot the ball. Okay, next option. Let's do like this now. Set screen and receive the ball and pop out. Set screen, receive the ball here again. Do it again. You go under. Okay, now, hand off, hand off, shoot the ball, sprint over there, receive on the low post and shoot the ball. Pivot, shoot, and I will pass to you again. Okay, shoot the ball. I want you to go out, so go under, boom. Okay, time, let's go guys different options you choose option according to your according to your offensive system you break down your offense and you decide I'm let's go let's go hop pop out quick hand off let's go hop quick hand off hop shoot the ball bravo very good very good let's go hop bravo very good shooting super go on bravo very nice okay Guys, I need you. Guys, can you make, can you help us in one drill? Yes or no? Yes. Super. Let's go, everybody including you. Everybody in the middle, move that chair out. Go over there. Now you become, you want to be coach, huh? You become player now. Okay, guys, uh, give me one more con. Okay, and try to put two cones over there on the same position. You have already, you have already, you have already cones. I like very much this drill. This is advanced drill for shooting and extra pass, so free throw line extension and corner. Okay, go. First, get closer here on the line. First two players without the ball. First two without the ball all other guys with ball. Okay, what we are going to do? Be ready. This is intensive drill. Everybody should run. Do you have ball? Take ball. Go faster, go faster, guys. We have five minutes more and we are done. Okay, first player, second player, you are running here under. Okay, you touch here, you go here, you go with him. First player is coming here. You pass to him, you receive the ball, you pass to him, shoot the ball, you receive from second player, shoot. When you pass, you go opposite side. Okay, so we receive on the wing, extra pass in the corner, everybody are shooting. Take your own rebound and move back, move back on the end of, at the end of the line. Be ready, I'm, I'm guys, let's go, hop. Pass, extra pass, shoot the ball, next pass, go, next, bravo. Super, very good. 
extra pass, left hand, hop, pass, shoot the ball. Try to meet the ball, hop, opposite side, bravo. One pass, second pass, go on. Very nice drill. Running, extra pass, everybody are moving. Six, seven players, perfect number. Two teams, one team here, one team here, competition. Let's go, let's go, hop, go on. Stop, stop. Okay, now you know drill. Now let's think about technique. I'm here. How you will pass? <laughs> yes, not like this. Okay, you pass here. After passing ball to him, okay, let's think that I'm passer. I don't want you to wait, to wait for ball. You pass, go to meet ball. Okay, make one step to the ball. Be ready, shooting poke and be ready to shoot. Okay, go back. Let's try from now. No problem, you can run. Okay, let's go. Full speed, guys. Full speed. Come on. Ivo, full speed. Run, run, run. Target hand. Left hand pass. Meet ball. Meet ball. Bravo. This is shooting. Super. Ivo, next. Go on. Pass. Right hand pass. Meet ball. Meet ball. Meet ball. No meat ball in the dish. Meat ball. Like meat ball over there. Not meat balls on the plate. Bravo. Good. Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on. Extra pass. Pass. Bravo. Very good, guys. This is good. Run, run faster, be ready to shoot. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. When you arrive to run, start, stop. Go on, go on. When you pass, stop. Okay, okay. Next option, pass to him. Okay, now we are doing with handoff. So you are going to make handoff to him. One dribble shot. After handoff, you move back and you receive and you shoot. Try to do it from the beginning. Okay? Shoot from hand. No, everything same. Be without the ball. Be without the ball. Be you without the ball. You are first. Okay. Okay, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Hop. Pass. Hand off. Hand off. Shoot the ball. Go here. Shoot the ball. So everything same with hand off. Come on. Let's go. Two players shooting. Let's go. Let's go. Pass. Pass. Hand off, hand off, go under, shoot the ball. Next, go next. Bravo, guys, very good. Don't tell me that we cannot do this with under 14, and don't tell me that this is not nice drill for senior players. I like it very much, you know. Very good, super. Then we can make with drive and kick on receiving, so we have million options. Okay, guys, it's enough. It's enough, couple of drills. Now, who can do this? Who is ready? You. Okay, I need you and you under the basket. Everybody can sit. You don't need ball. Stay on the free throw line. I find out this drill when I was player a million years ago. It was really good for me. So what you should do? Defensive slide to touch cone. Touch cone here. Go in the middle circle here. Sprint here. Touch cone here. Shoot the ball. Then you go opposite side. Okay. Okay, let's make six shots. Okay. Okay, so one's left, one right. One of you is passing, one of you is catching. Okay, pass you, pass you. If he is in the trouble, you pass. Let's go, full speed, bravo, go on, go on, hop, sprint, target hand, hop, bravo, shoot the ball, go left now, go left, left, bravo, hop, slide, go, slide, sprint, pass, bravo, good, go on, go on, go on, go on, so this is two, go on, bravo, I'm on, let's go, this is four now, this is fourth shot, let's go, hop, go on, Five, go, boom, sprint, super, one more, bravo, go on, go on, okay, super, this is good, okay, it's difficult, huh, it is, you pass, higher level, if you miss, shot, you are doing just slide and sprint without shooting. So, okay. if you miss, you make double slide and then shoot the ball. 
Okay, I will pass to him now. Okay. Oh, if you don't trust in yourself, you know, if you do like this, we can finish practice immediately. Show me that you are good. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm, I'm trusting to you. Let's go. Support him, guys. Come on. Hop. Go. Sprint. Shoot the ball. Okay, now double. Double. Do it. Sprint. Sprint. Again. Bravo. So if he misses, we punish him. Let's go. Hop. Shoot the ball. Okay, you score now. You can see. Bravo. Again, again, change side, change side. Don't shoot every. Go now left. Go now left. So like this, we don't want to kill him. It's okay. Like this, we can do. Okay. I didn't make it. You make one. Okay, one more. Come on. Hop. Go on. Go on. Okay, it's enough. So it's enough, guys. Thank you. So uh, believe me, when I was a player million years ago, I finished practice every time with this drill, but 10 made three-point shots in a row. Very difficult coaches, but it's possible. So, if you are working every day, it's possible to do this. Okay, I need two guys who are jumping well. Who would like to show me something? Who is jumping well? No, don't ask him. He was, he was outside. You and you, come on. Give me one chair. Be scared again. Don't scare, you can do it. Don't worry. Jump over. Bravo. So, so as you can see, they can do it. They can do it. So, no problem. Let's go. Keep a teaching point, coaches. To be safe, always put chair like this. So if they are touching chair, chair will fail like this. If chair is opposite, it's problem for them. They can make injury. High knees, high knees, I will pass ball to you. Bravo, easy, without any problem, they can jump. Bravo, bravo, go on. Go on, bravo. Go on, go on, bravo. Okay, super. Pass him ball. Okay, next option. Try to do same stuff with ball. Jump over and shoot. Let's go. Jump over and shoot the ball. Bravo. Uh, okay, what is the idea, coaches? We are doing this not because we want to kill them. We want to teach them to use same effort with legs when shooting as they are doing when jumping over the chair. So this is idea, you know? Okay, try to do it. Don't, don't shame, don't scare. Bravo, jump, shoot, without second jump. Just land and take shot. Just land and take shot, nothing else. Hop, land and take shot. Bravo, very good, super. Give them ball, give him ball, give him ball. Take your ball, give him ball. You have your own ball, let's go. Hop, jump, super, okay. Now, one jump. When you land, give me a ball. When you land, one jump here and then shoot the ball again. Okay? So, I will stay here, verticality of jumping. Let's go, in front of me. Hop, one empty, shoot the ball. Bravo. Let's go. We are using legs. Hop, high knees, jump, shoot the ball. Mobile phone, five hours screen time. Extend thumb out. Oh. Thumb out when shooting. Vertical jump over me. Let's go. Hop. One, two, jump. Bravo. Oh. Bravo. Let's go. Hop. Vertical jump. Vertical. Don't jump on the side. Look here. I don't want here. I want your hand here. One more time. Okay. Super. Thank you, guys. One more drill to finish. You go on this basket, take ball. You stay under the basket over there. Clean everything. Just pass to him. Just pass ball to him. Okay, guys. Two point shots. Coast to coast. Competition between you. Who is going to score free in the row? Two point shots, free throw line. Coast to coast, sprint, rebound, boom, boom, boom. Free in the row. Let's go. Let's support them, coaches. This is last drill. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 
zero, one, one zero for him. Let's go. One, two, let's go. <laughs> zero, let's go again. Come on, go. So, try to create some traffic, some house on the court every time. Let's go, guys. So, end of the game, end of the practice, we must score in the row. So, this is important for us. Try to finish, guys. We have, I have flight at 11.30. Let's go. Come on, guys. With under 16 national team, I'm doing this seven three-point shots in the row. So, they can finish. Don't worry about it. They will finish. Two, huh? One, only one. Two. Let's go. Okay, three, bravo. So, coaches, please big applause for them. It was full working time. Bravo, guys. Bravo. Let's come, everybody, here. Bravo. Okay, get closer to the coaches. You should come here. I should ask you something. Let's go, everybody, here. Let's go, everybody here. Don't worry. It's not, we are not in the school. So at the end of every practice, especially with kids, I like to ask them something. Okay? Think about one situation, on one thing which you learned today. So you were here with us eight hours. You must learn something for eight hours. Tell me what you learned. One situation. Steph Curry finish? I don't know what is Steph, Steph Curry, Curry finish. I don't know what is this. Opposite side, no. Oh. This is not Steph Curry. You miss. Oh. Oh, oh. No, this is not Steph Curry. No. What is Steph Curry? Yes. Show him. Give him ball. This is Steph Curry. Dribble on one side, jump on opposite side. Okay. What you learned today? Step back, how to do? You? Uh, step, uh, how do I say? Give me some easy technical teaching points. Okay, everybody are looking for highlights. You know? <laughs> Give me something easier. What you learned today? What you learned 15 minutes ago? Uh, the way we, uh, the grips. Okay, grips. What else was very important what I say to you? Drive and kick game, when you are moving, what you should do? Slide or sprint? sprint? Sprint on the drive kick. This is enough. Uh, Steph Curry, something else. Uh, Tell me something else, come on. I learned. Uh, you are not in the school, come on, relax. Something you must learn, seven hours you are here with us. <laughs> Nothing. No, I learned something. You have 30 seconds more. <laughs> Tell me you. Uh, that we need to practice the... Left hand. <laughs> okay, guys, give me something. Go straight to some problem. When is someone driving right, you have to go. Okay, this is good. It's enough. Rondo fake. Huh? Rondo fake. Rondo fake. Rondo fake. Okay, what is Rondo fake? Uh, oh, they are looking NBA. Too much. Right, guys, only this guy is black, you know. Look for some. <laughs> what, is, what is Rondo fake? <laughs> fake here and go. Huh? Extra pass. Extra pass. Okay. How to make extra pass? <laughs> Technique of extra pass. Like a, on left, left hand, on right. Hand away from defense. He don't relax. He do like this. Okay, super. He learned that he don't need to show weakness. It's enough. Do I have to jump straight up? Uh, super. This is good. Teaching point. So, thank you very much, coaches. I hope it was good. So, thank you again, guys. Bravo. So uh, I already sent to Ivana, uh, she will share